lovely jewellery makers. It's Sunday. And it's, I don't know about you, but it's bucketing down here. Absolutely bucketing down. So I'd stay indoors, stay indoors in the cosy warm with us because I'm joined by the very lovely and actually officially for the first time together. Is that right? The first time this year, I think we did one show maybe last year. Last together. year, I was going to say. Yeah. I was saying to the guys like um, yesterday, I was like, I'm sure I've done one show with Natalie, I've but not only met one... anybody else. She said she felt like a newbie this morning because <laughs> she didn't know anybody. It's Natalie, Hello. everybody. Hello. How are you doing, honey? I'm doing fabulous. Are you doing fabulous? I'm doing absolutely fabulous. The Hello. guys are just saying. To be fair, you've probably worked with them loads of times. They're just forgettable. Oh, that's not the case. That's absolutely not the case. You made me feel no. very welcome again this morning. No, it's not true. There's a, they're a lovely bunch. <laughs> they are a very lovely bunch. Very yeah. lovely. And I'm very excited about today, Natalie. I'm very excited. A little bit nervous. Why? I don't know. It's, Is it because it's, it's your collection? This, it's my baby. It's your baby, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And really, it's what start well where it all began yeah. i suppose yeah, the reason why i'm here <laughs> yeah absolutely well for those people that don't know um do you want to sort of talk through how yeah. your collection manifested yeah so i um somewhat foolishly and rather overzealous thought you know what i'm gonna give that a go i see an advertisement for the competition and um, it was the first time jewelry maker had done britain's next gem and i thought oh what have i got to lose so i applied and then I shortly got an email back saying, you know, we um, would like you to, to come down to the studio and have some meetings and some kind of screen test. And then it all became very, very real. <laughs> um, and then I took part in the competition. It was, it was probably over a year, really, of yeah. like rounds and things like that. Um, and then by some miracle, I won. <laughs> and I got to make my gemstone garden collection. Yeah. So I'm delighted with it. They're absolutely, if I do say so myself, they're gorgeous. So yeah, they really are. They are um, silver sterling and they are 12 um, gorgeous little unique birth flowers. So as well as having a birth stone, you have a birth flower as yeah. well. So each one is individual shaped like a gorgeous flower and you've got a, a beautiful birth stone to adorn it um but the way i've designed them is they've got a little loop on the back yeah so i wanted them um to be <clears throat> as versatile as possible in in any type of jewelry making so for me obviously it's, it's wire work is what i love to do but you can put them on a stretch elastic bracelet you can metal smith with them i've done some chain mail with them i've done macrame with them yeah. you can do I think anything with them. I've not found something yet which I don't think you can't utilise. There you go. So they are perfect, designed by a jewellery maker for our jewellery makers. Yeah. So those are coming up at what mm. time's your collection? From nine. Nine, nine yeah. o'clock. And then at twelve o'clock. Ooh, then we've got um they're lovely, they're like little carabiners, like yes. little carrier charm clasps. So We've got some gorgeous ones with lovely little charms on. The charms are really, really sweet. And they come with the most beautiful coloured cord. Wow. And then we've got another lot which haven't got the charms in, but you can add those charms on. Um, and again, they come with gorgeous coloured cord as well. And you get, I think it's five of, of those. So you can do whatever you like It's a big them. trend, isn't it? The carabiner class. Yeah. Massive trend, because we launched something similar actually quite recently here at Jewelry Maker and they absolutely Absolutely flew. So those are coming up at 12 o'clock today, jewelry makers. Now, your deal of the day today, I'm very excited to actually launch um, because they're simply exquisite. I've said it so many times before here at Jewelry Maker, and I apologize for sounding like a broken record. Um, but our pearls here at Jewelry Maker, you know, I tr we could take all our pearls to the pending Hong Kong trade fair. If this is how we did business, it's not how we do business, but we could take them to the forthcoming uh, Hong Kong fair and sell out within a day. We know this because the pearl market we know has dramatically changed over, particularly the last few months. Um, so we could do that. That's not how we do business, thank goodness, because we're all about obviously our viewers and if we did that with every gemstone then quite literally it wouldn't be a jewelry maker show so but as long as we convey the message the pearl market has hugely changed They've, they're calling it um pearl mania basically where the prices of all varieties of pearls be that your south sea your tahitian pearls your uh, um 
Akoya pearls, your freshwater pearls, your Baroque pearls, your ripple pearls, they have gone skyrocketed in price. So it is quite literal. We could not buy these for the price that you're going to get them today. Now, ripple pearls, one of the hottest trends in the pearl market, basically where we're celebrating those beautiful folds of nacre, that natural precious material that of course produces your amazing pearls. The folds give you the most amazing orientation, the most amazing display of colors, um, because you have got, what you can guarantee with ripple pearls is an abundance of nacre, so therefore an abundance of luster. So these are your deal of the day. They are truly, truly remarkable jewelry makers. So um, they're coming your way at 10 o'clock. Um, a bit different because obviously with Barock, with ripple pearls or Baroque pearls or Keshis, they're all they're all unique, aren't they? So um, they won't. No two will be the same. We've also got a strand slightly smaller, more spherical, but still come under the ripple umbrella. Um, because look at these, oh, unbelievable. So we've also got the round ripple. So you can have Baroque ripple and you can have round ripple. If you love pearls then make sure you are watching at 10 o'clock this morning because it is a deal not to be missed. And I have to be very cautious in, in using the word, the I word, you know the word? I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what is going to be and what is going to accrue income, shall we say. However, however, this is definitely um, a gemstone that I will be buying for the foreseeable future. You're not well, you know what? Not it. even for the future. <laughs> not even for, even right now. Yeah. Even right now, I'm buying them because I know my children won't be able to afford these. Never mind in ten years, twenty years, they won't be able to afford them now. So there's no better place to be buying pearls from to be frank um other than jewelry maker and ultimately gem Porter. so those are at 10 o'clock we've also got these which i'm very excited about jewelers rolls they're a bit fancy aren't they're they? very fancy very they're professional very much so i mean you know if you're going to, if you go traveling or um and you want to take your jewelry with you this is the great the best way to actually sort of carry it because it means your chains aren't going to bunch nothing's yeah. going to scratch um so we've got the jewelers rolls they used to sell these in the jewelers that i worked at almost identical ross almost identical yeah oh. i love them colors <laughs> he's like oh i have another part today um, they, uh, I'm sure, will be would have been a lot more than what what you're about to say. Now we can't do it just yet, but in the nine o'clock hour, we will mm. actually. They're amazing, aren't they're they? They're lovely. Yeah. <laughs> we will. You will <laughs> be able to pre-order in the nine o'clock hour, and you can guarantee your favourite colour. Mm. Um, they're amazing, aren't they? So you just loop chains, bracelets. You've got Gorgeous earrings. Colours. Place for your earrings as well. Can you see that there? There you go. So you put all your jewellery in there, there's lots of pockets and roll it away. Like, I, I, funny enough, I was telling the team, the, the guys know, um, I'm going to be in a hotel for the next three nights, not tonight, as of tomorrow. Um, so, but not only that, because I'm going to be out of, the, out of the house, I do want to take my jewellery with me for yeah. safekeeping, obviously. So I need these. I need these as opposed to literally carrying a jewellery box. So I need to take them in those. Um, anyway, you can guarantee your colour in the nine o'clock hour and of course an amazing jewellery maker price point. Your early bird this morning. Ooh. Now, how often do you see magnetic clasps? Regularly here at Jewellery Maker? It's definitely one of our essentials, I would say. Not like this though. Because how many of you have thought, love a magnetic clasp, particularly for bracelets, they're so much easier for bracelets. But sometimes they're a little bit big for a bracelet, maybe, mm. yeah? Like you couldn't put a 10 mil on it. Well, you could, I suppose, it's up to you. But for me, a 10 mil might be a little bit big to go way around the wrist. Problem solved, because we're bringing you the smallest magnetic clasp that I've seen here at Jewelry Maker. These are five millimeters in their size. There's two there. They're coming up. The silver are coming up in the next hour. Come on now. They're always, they always misbehave. Um, but you can shop ahead on the rose and also the yellow gold. Um, in terms of quantity, oh, that's good. Um, the rose, we've got 55. Yellow gold, we've got 85. The silver, mm, we've got 155. I would have hoped for double that quantity, to be honest. Because they're not going to... They're not going to be in the way. They're not going to spoil the design, especially if you're wearing them on the wrist. They're a really nice shape. But yeah, that's it. When you, Especially for me, because if I'm making and I'm working, 
or even if you know you're typing or something you, yeah you do tend to you position your wrist down on the desk yeah. don't you so you want something that's not too bulky which is quite comfortable and i yeah. think they pay a fair well they're already going on pre-orders so clearly we're not alone in those sentiments um, um ignore the price that's on the website because they are going much 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 lower than that um so drop your messages into the studio we would love to hear from you this morning um, come and say hello to our lovely natalie um come and say hello to all the team actually um shall we get cracking shall we get cracking with some beautiful himalayan beryl stunning absolute this is goshenite it's goshenite the purest of all beryls how often do we see goshenite on our show a perfect name because it does make you go oh gosh oh gosh <laughs> it's the purest of all beryls so no impu uh, no other elements present if it had a it should be called pure beryl i agree because if it had iron it would be of course aquamarine if it had manganese it would be of course morganite so uh yeah your beryl as a gemstone family when it's completely pure forms in these wonderful white colors and wow. it's called goshenite 24 pounds and 99 pence hmm <gasps> the gasp gosh Natalie you've got to you've got to you've got to practice your Frank Butcher voice right now sorry okay ready it's a band it's a band it's a band, it's a band. you don't have to do it just Thanks. be honest <laughs> it's, just, it's not in my contract pants pants that's ridiculous goodness me <laughs> Adam wants to be back. You could be, you could be whatever you want to be, Adam. Uh, black obsidian cabochons. That's over here. Amazing, and they come in little display case as well. You get the little case. I love um, those little cases. I know. Well, the little case alone. I'm just saying. Just saying. Black obsidian, beautiful, amazing, natural, genuine gemstone. Um, definitely a favourite amongst you Game of Throners. Because this is dragon glass, isn't it? Are you ready? Burns! <laughs> Burns! <laughs> Spurns! How beautiful! Uh, did I just hear Ross go, right, 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 right? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were literally giving it your full London accent then. Amazing! For the case alone, I think, for a pound, that's absolutely yeah. incredible. You can't, what can you get for that price? Uh, um, bag of carrots that's about it not a genuine gemstone i was uh, my little one has recently lost his first tooth so we were talking about the tooth fairy and what does she bring um for the first one and i said well going forward it will be a coin yes. because it's a special first one yeah you can have a five I yeah it. we did so, the same said to my husband what's he going to be able what's to get with a pound i know <laughs> There you go, you can get some obsidian. He'd there you that. go. He'd love that as well. Exactly. Amazing start. His own little gemstone collection. He's already he? on it, don't you worry. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. lovely. Make sure you're checking out lots of multi buyers and drop your messages into the studio as well. We'd love, love, love to hear from you. You're right, though, there's not a great deal. A pound doesn't get you far these days, does it? No. You couldn't get that box for a pound. No, exactly. And that's thrown in for free. Amazing. Dawn, Dorset, hello to you, Irene, Claire, Debbie, Mark. Margaret, hello to you, Terry, Alison, Essex, Lisa, Rachel, loads of you getting involved, amazing. Oh, here she is. Here she is, the light of the, uh, the light of our lives, bringing coffee. Oh, thank you, Lauren. She's a good egg, isn't she? She's lovely. Bringing us our coffees. <laughs> um, amazing. Right then, if you go to the website, you'll find lots of pens deals. <laughs> like, I shouldn't do it because I get a sore throat from it. Um, lots of one pound deals. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, scroll down and you'll see a beautiful plethora of amazing goodies this morning. Some are priced accordingly. Some will go lower. Um, just shop ahead and you are guaranteed to get the most amazing jewelry maker price tag, of course. But um, they also set there's some pound deals. Look, sterling silver, this and space. Oh, look, sellouts there also. Yeah, it's worth looking at the website. And remember, this does also time out come nine o'clock. So um, definitely, definitely do shop ahead on these. Lots of sellouts, Roscoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, he says, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all in one of those moods today? 
<laughs> it, it, today is basically our Friday, by the way. So we get our weekend, don't we, coming up. So that's why we're all a bit, a bit excitable on a Sunday. <laughs> Always, because like, yeah, we get a lie-in. Or rather, those of us who uh, um, ha don't have children get a lie-in. <laughs> yes. I was going to uh, say, I'm not off tomorrow. I'm still working. Yeah, yeah, I'm still up at the same time. But I'm time. still in a funny mood. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, let's do what, sorry? Which one? Yeah, which one? You get the two. Oh, it's very good, isn't it? Amazing. I was like, I put it on my white piece of paper, but it's not white. Hang on. Look at these. They're like little carved pumpkins. So you get one white type A Imperial Jedi, and you also get one type A green. They're sweet. How sweet are they? Right, hang on. Let me pick one up for you. Because you, oh, oh. Because you can see the drill hole then. There you go. Oh, that's quite a substantial drill hole, that as well, isn't it? Very sweet. And when you look at it like that, that's a flower. Yeah. But obviously, sideways on, it's like a little pumpkin. It's a little pumpkin, yeah. Little pumpkin. Hand carved, type A jadeite. We're going to do a massive closeout deal, even though the jadeite mine, the Burmese jadeite mine, closed in 2020. That's 800 years of history gone. Um, so yes, it would make sense for our price to be going up, not the opposite way. Now, even here at forty nine ninety nine, to get jadeite for twenty five pounds, frankly, is absolutely incredible, um, and that's essentially what we're getting, aren't we? Yeah. One type A jadeite for twenty five pounds. Now, what was that? Sorry, two years ago, this would have been the price. Absolutely, yeah, a hundred percent. Um, and, and actually we say that, you know, because it was difficult to get hold of, so it makes sense for those price tags. It's not easier now. It's not easier to get hold of now, because if it were, then obviously we'd understand a price drop, but the mine's closed. The mine is closed, so it's even harder again. And the popularity of Jadeite has, has, uh, has skyrocketed here in the West. What is that? Ross, we love you and all, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's a fiver? See, I think there's, there's not really very often with, with something of this quality and this rarity that you'd be like, I'll multi-buy that. No. But for 9 99 I'm thinking, I'm getting two and I'm making earrings. Earrings, absolutely. <laughs> oh, you can put a big like tassel of them. You can just use them on leather cord. Um, that is a big closeout deal, which makes zero sense whatsoever. Um, Adam said it would go amazing with your design. Do you know, I've seen a few people um, been really lovely people who have, have bought the collection and, yeah. and have shown me what they've done with them and a few people have set them into like high goos like yeah lovely and things like that oh that's a lovely because idea because they've got quite a substantial size hole and you might even be able to fit the loop into the back and place yeah. the flower on it amazing amazing well done everybody congratulations make sure you stay where you are um, we've got a message coming into the studio um, and this is from Sue J. Hello Sue J in Suffolk saying good morning lovely jewellery maker. I have some of your gorgeous collection Natalie and wear my garnet flower um, on uh, daily. Uh, would you show number 14? Yes we certainly can. There you go. Where is it daily? Oh that's lovely isn't, isn't it? Isn't that? It's been so lovely people saying to me why they've chose the flowers they have. Yeah. So obviously with them being birthstones usually tend to think it's going to be for a birthday but a lot of people have bought them as um, commemorative pieces for like families and like members and things so it could be that like oh my dad particularly loved this flower or he was born in this month or whatever so it's been really lovely to hear the the sentiment behind why people have chose them so thank you so much for, yes. for letting me know it oh. means an awful lot to and see where they've gone <laughs> if you missed that launch then don't worry get a second chance at yeah. nine o'clock today with natalie bringing that collection once again so very exciting now sujay you asked for number 14 i have there is one this is the one that you'll be getting if you check out wow. they are totally natural again i know i'm repeating myself um, the quality of our pearls truly is exceptional. It it won't take you too long to find pearls of this grade at a real investment price tag elsewhere. 
Now, oh, these are so totally nice. natural colors. Sujay, you can do it, but I'm just giving you a heads up. There is literally one, and it's this one um, that you'll be getting. Just full of amazing luster. Um, if you love ripple pearls, if you love Baroque pearls, if you love fireball pearls, um, <clears throat> they are the hottest trend at the moment, and I can, for obvious reasons, um, they are priced up. <clears throat> Sujay, you can do it, but just so you know, I've got Margaret, and I've got Tyne and Ware, and I've got a telephone caller on there as well. Have they gone? Well done, well done, they're absolutely amazing. Well done, that was incredible, at £199. Unbelievable, well done. Um, okay, Shout, don't forget we've got those magnetic class coming up as well. Now, next up, let's do the gold love hearts. Now, Natalie, you were eyeing this up. They're really, really lovely. Oh, they're bracelets. Oh, I'm, I thought they were lengths of chain. They're actually bracelets. So, 925 sterling silver. Um, Ross is saying in my ears, like, Elle, I can't believe how low these go. It's another one of those, Ross says, that... And you'd, he'd, have, he'd have been looking at the price, he'd have thought at minimum 20 pounds, yeah. Well, you get two, sorry. I'm making a right hash of it. But if you get two, maybe you could join them together to make them you a could. chain. Right, so they are bracelets. I couldn't bother hold, oh, doing the other one up. But They'd look lovely other. layered up though as well, wouldn't they? <gasps> look how pretty they are. Or one to keep for yourself and one for your mum for Mother's Day. Ah, oh, lovely. Mother's Day's around the corner as well. 10th yeah. of March, isn't it, this year? Or yeah. your best friend, yeah. yeah. Um, or your partner. Yeah. That would be amazing too. Um, each and every single link, I hope you can see that, is a little love heart. So they're connecting together. The nice open links as well. So you could very easily attach to these literally just by opening and closing a jump ring or wrap looping onto them. Um, we used to do these by the length. I've never actually seen them in a, in a, in a sort of complete bracelet before. Times two. We're at £39.99. You get both of them, so you haven't got to decide. Let's just see what it would look like. Just imagine it was done up. But look how pretty that is. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Mother's Day, birthdays. Yeah. Dare I say, put it away for Christmas. Why not? Don't you shake at me, your head at me, Dad. He's shaking his head in this. Like, she just said Christmas. I like to be organised, okay? That's £10 per bracelet. These are not base metal. Um, it's gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Now, oh, okay, Ross is just saying that, that is the absolute rock bottom price that I would have expected to take these two. Seven and a half millimetres. We've got 17 of them left. And by the way, we do have them in the silver as well. But apparently we're going even lower. How much would these be in a jewellers? How much would these be, even for one, if they were base metal? I've got to say, if you were to go somewhere like, I don't know, Topshop, Zara, yeah. Dorothy Perkins... It, I think £20 for one at base metal prices. They're not base metal though. They're gold plated sterling silver. You get the two of them, complete bracelets. As jewelry makers, you can reconfigure it. You could add some of Natalie's amazing collection to it. You could add your own charms. You could bubble style directly onto this as well. But, ah, oh, he's, 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 he's got, what, what's this? You're flabbergasted, aren't you, Roscoe? Flabbergasted. He says, I can't believe how low they go. We didn't launch them. This is why we're surprised. I'm intrigued now. I've got I've got a figure in my head, and I and, and I think I can tell why. You're flabbergasted. Yeah, that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's what six pound fifty mm. six pound fifty for a gold plated sterling silver chip bracelet. You say if you'd gone the supermarket. I've had a little look at the jewellery there. Yeah. I'm looking at like base metal ones. You'd be paying more than that. Probably like your plastic stretchy bracelet. In fact, you go to that uh, um, Claire's place. Oh. They're so <laughs> expensive and it's all plastic, isn't it? Yeah. It's all plastic, whereas this isn't. It's precious metal. We've got 17 available jewellery makers. So again, make sure you are checking out. We've also got the silver colour too. So if you wanted to layer them, I think that would That'd be pretty. Be um, as Natalie said, there's nothing stopping you connecting these together if you wish. Um, wow, £6.50 for a gold-plated sterling silver bracelet. I've Stunning. got a friend's birthday coming up and I think she'd like them, so I might try and see if I can... Well, I'm not going to nab that now, am I? Because of the time... This happens to me every time I'm no, on the show. I get what, so Natalie, annoyed that I'm missing out. Just bring your phone in, it's fine. We won't tell. 
yeah yeah just do it then i shop along all day all the time you just you just uh, just in fact sometimes i'm not even discreet about about it am i am i ross quite blatant quite blatant about my I shopping i love being here but yeah. every time i'm here i'm like oh if i was at home i'd have all that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Ross said to you, don't worry, you're on here with Elle. She always shops. <laughs> always. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If you want to buy these, you can. Uh, £6.50, well done. I know. Do you know, though, I've never been pulled up on it. I've never. They've never said, Elle, Famous please. Famous last words. <laughs> That's true. Have I? Have I? Have I just, have I just chose? <laughs> Yeah, no, I've never been pulled up she's on it, you know. reported. Yeah, they report me. <laughs> look at what she's doing. Um, look at these. <laughs> Sorry, I've just automatically picked up the... Yeah, there you go. I read your mind, look right. Look out. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? I think they'd look lovely together. Yeah. If you had the gold one and used that mixed metals, I think they'd be lovely. So beautiful. Now, if you thought twelve ninety nine was great, and bear in mind they are two bracelets, two. This makes no sense. How many have we got? Tell me this quantity. Twenty nine available within the vault. See, this is why you need your phone, Natalie. There's only twenty nine available, so you're going to need to be quick. They'll be gone within a minute, says Roscoe. Do it, do it, do it, Natalie. Quick, quick, quick. It's a fiver per bracelet, look. A fiver? Uh, <laughs> nothing to see. Nothing to see. Just checking the apps. Yeah, working she's just okay. checking the weather. That's all it is. <laughs> um, good luck, everybody. The phone lines have gone crazy. Jan, Margaret, Essex, Mary, Anna, uh, Cheshire, William, hello to you, Debbie, Helen, Pamela, Deborah. Uh, make sure you're checking them out. Rachel, you're there as well. Now, what I would normally say, remember, everything disappears come the top of the hour. However, this is going to sell out within the next 30, minute, uh, 30 seconds. Um, so good luck. I can see you there, Natalie. You just got to check out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> check out um, that Hayley Carroll well done Margaret in Inverclyde they're so pretty so beautiful you get the two of them let me also show you on the reverse that you've got a nice bolt ring clasp there that loops directly into um, the little heart link as well so very discreet do you do it have you got it, it I'm just <laughs> is it is it have you got the the the, the, the wheel of doom I've got to verify it with my mobile banking app. <laughs> oh, typical, isn't it? But once I've done it, then it's super quick for the rest of the show today. Yeah, just there you go. <laughs> there you go. Well done, everybody. I'll leave those last few with you. Congratulations. Nothing to see. Nat Nat Natalie's just checking the weather. Um, amazing. Um, there's still a couple available, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Come on, folks. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's, that, it's that wheel, isn't it? You're like, Come on. <laughs> Um, don't forget your early bird as well, the five millimeter magnetic class. So um, the silver will be available on the other side of the eight o'clock hour, just because we've got a bigger quantity. So we want to keep them available um, for the entirety of the show. But if you are a gold or a rose gold person, then get them now. Um, they are within this hour. The first time that I remember, well done, Natalie. First time <laughs> that I remember us doing a size, this, this size, because normally they're much bigger and circular, aren't they normally? Yeah. Um, so shop ahead on those, everybody. Um, keep those messages coming through as well. We'd love to hear from you. Ooh, what should we do next? Let's have a little look. Sterling Silver Detail Connectors. Um, yeah, these were launched not that long ago. Not that long ago. They're very beautiful. I brought, uh, it was not, not this weekend. I think it was last weekend when I was moonlighting with the other shift side. Um, <gasps> yeah. Um, we, we launched these. They absolutely flew so beautiful they are very alhambra actually very very alhambra you know beautiful little connectors so and if i turn it side profile look at the amount of sterling silver that's within them uh, opportunities obviously with the details for you to anchor on there as well if you wanted to, to make it into a four-way connector um so you get five of those but you also get the jump rings to go alongside it Ooh. all sterling silver see this is what i always think is worth having in like your stash to make things with yeah because i'll always have something so lovely like that that is precious metal then i'm like i don't have any silver sterling yeah jump rings so then i'm making them and i never feel like they're quite as sturdy as yeah. if i'd if i'd got them if you'd actually yeah them. yeah yeah no i get that i don't i certainly wouldn't be able to make them um 
not 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 perfect spherical ones yeah. anyway um well you get them you get the jump rings also five of these beautiful connectors they were only i think these are only actually a week since we originally launched them and they were so popular then again i can't remember the name of the designer but they were inspired by a certain collection that was of course thousands of pounds as many of our sterling silver elements actually are they're inspired by uh, um designs or, or versions of designs that might already be out there 39 pounds and 99 pence is very good for the grand white of silver that you're getting they measure 14 by 8 millimetres, but 19 pounds. Four grams of solid sterling silver. I'd be making that into a little bracelet. I'd just do little yeah, rows relinking with it. Gorgeous. Little gemstone in between. 19.99. But Natalie, we're not even stopping there. You could put, I've got some of the most amazing jadeite to show you. This strand is incredible, by the way. Imagine these in amongst. I'm very excited about them, wasn't I? They're stunning, aren't they? I know I want to buy these. Color. I'll be putting some of my little faceted jadeite okay. strands. These are coming up. I want to buy these too. They're so pretty, aren't they? They're stunning. Three millimeter. And it's a meter long length strand. Um, yeah, I'll be putting some of those in there as well. Or you could put some of your lovely ripple pearls in there too. Um, amazing. 19.99 for four grams of sterling silver already. Absolutely incredible. However, it's not your closing price. Um, just one, you know, you could actually have one sort of asymmetrically. And I'm trying to think of the design house. Um, but it, theirs was a bracelet. And it was a bracelet and then they had a bit like the Alhambra actually, alternate motifs. Mm just literally connected together by um, your precious metal amazing deal at 20 uh, 20 pounds 19.99 but not where we are closing again you get the jump rings as well that will fit beautifully within your connectors uh, pack of five 12 pounds and 99 pence these absolutely flew when we launched them last weekend absolutely flew and um, we can't have many of them left actually surely I thought so, yeah. Less than 40 of them left within the vault, everybody. So um, they make such little, little elements like this, Natalie, I think make such a difference to your jewellery. You might overlook them initially when you start, think, oh, I don't know what I'd use that for, but it's little elements like this yeah. transform your jewellery. It's a subtle little element, as you say, and I think it can really finish a piece mm. and make it a little bit more special. High end. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're high end elements, high end components. Um, Alison, Lavinia, Weldon, True, Cheryl, Debbie, Patricia, Deborah, Lucy, Patsy, Sarah, Hello to Nottinghamshire, Janet in West Yorkshire. Morning, everybody. I just heard in the gallery that I can like Sundays. I like Sundays, I do. I like a Sunday, I do. <laughs> I work on Sundays. We do, though. Sunday's a good day. It is a good day. Um, last Sunday that I worked, I went home to a roast dinner. Ooh. Oh, I know it's like, yeah, you've just made my Sunday. You could just give me a roast potato and I'll be happy. Just the potato? I love a roast potato. Yeah, they are good. They are good. <laughs> They're like the best, one of the best bits of a roast dinner. Little gravy? Sauce. Yeah. Yeah, go yeah. have gravy. Yeah, Yorkshire nice. pudding. <laughs> hey, Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. Lovely. Mm. <laughs> um, hands up if you're having roast dinner today. I don't know actually. Well, I wasn't. But <laughs> now you've had to, yeah. Now you are. I've made you crave a roast dinner. Um, well done, twelve ninety nine. Congratulations, Carol. Good luck. You can do it. Remember also, what time are we on? Is that clock right? Um, thirty four minutes past eight. So remember, you've got what twenty six minutes until everything disappears off the system. So make sure you do uh, check them out. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, not long to wait until. I bring you your early bird um so if you're looking for the silver they're coming up in the nine o'clock hour we do that sometimes just you know tippy them over um and that's basically because um, if you've got a bigger quantity they can be available all day then um so those three colors you can get the gold and the rose gold right now um we've got what sorry a meter strand of canadian nephrite this is insane the translucency of this nephrite is absolutely incredible um nephrite jadeite under the jade umbrella. Um, nephrite's the oldest variety of jadeite, thousands of years of history of mining. These are exceptional, truly, truly, truly exceptional. Now, in the world of nephrite, and it does form very uh, differently, to, it forms differently to your jadeite, but in the world of nephrite, you're still looking for the color and the translucency, that fine crystal structure. You know, we talk about imperial green with your jadeite. 
Well, spinach green is what the term we would use for nephrite. So it's that wonderful deep, look at it from there, that lovely deep, I always think quite a luxurious forest strand. green color. This strand is amazing. And personally, all I would do is put some spaces in there and just have it as an old over the head necklace. Now, what would have been logical, all things considered, you know, Cotan nephrite jade on the verge of depletion, Burmese jade, already you know no longer be in mind you've got places like this you've got places uh, um, a few not many um, around the world that are still producing jade you know when you've got the two big locations either run out or not mining the price everywhere else goes up this is the millennium jade you've heard of it millennium jade boulder that absolutely gi giant spinach green boulder that was discovered from this location but it's got the translucency as well we should have cut this strand the meter long length strand into four say maybe even less than that five probably we have five of them left in the vault and instead of cutting the strand we're going to cut the price look at that translucency look how gemmy it is Normally, I wouldn't use this terminology, and it's probably not the correct terminology to use. However, some of these have got actual clarity. Do you know what I mean? Normally, when we're talking about jade, it's translucency, because we expect it to actually have a level of opacity to it. But these, some of them have got complete clarity. Now, in 24 minutes, these disappear. You can get hold of it on your split payment. It's a meter long length strand. I have five in the vault. Four nine nine was not your price. Should be, absolutely could be elsewhere. Today, uh, cr I knew it was that. You know when prices stick in your head because it just doesn't. The dots don't connect. Ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence for for nephrite spinach green nephrite jade. If you have a jewellery maker friend, you could buy it together. Because you've got that much and half your strand. Yeah, you've exactly. Ab absolutely. You've got your not percent interest split payments. There's only five of these available. Again, this is a location, and I've shown it you a map, almost a very uh, quite crude diagram, I guess, um, which shows this deposit, and it shows ninety percent of it going literally directly to China, and they will only only import jade that is of quality to like like Burmese jade, for example. They'll only import it if it's of top quality. Um, and the remaining 10 pet percent actually goes uh, to the likes of Van Cleef and Arpels or, or Tiffany's and Co um, or Cartier yeah that's the other one um, now this is what you need to be mindful of one collector has got two in their basket which is pretty much half the quantity isn't it because I've got five available and so, and you know what Sarah do it check out your basket make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity the quality is absolutely remarkable it's got that spinach green color um anna you've done it congratulations to you but it's also got some of the genuinely some of the finest translucency that i've actually seen in any variety of jade be that jade eye or nephrite again a nephrite is almost think about a family tree um so if you think jade is the umbrella surname and then you've got jadeite and nephrite being the siblings very different they've got chem different chemical compositions nephrite is the older of the siblings um that's what talks about the thousands of years of uh, of history i've got three of them left allison you can do it as well i'll leave it with you um in fact with those connectors that we just have would be incredible wouldn't they yeah. now last absolute last of stock not just of this strand but of this parcel It's the ice Peruvian Amazonite. Look at this colour. I've never seen Amazonite that colour before. No, it's insane. And, and it's natural. It, it looks dyed, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's so vivid. It's totally natural. I've never. I don't think that's coming across as vivid on camera as it is in your hand there yeah. in the studio. It is so blue. Natural. That's beautiful. This was launched by Dave some time ago we got one parcel and one parcel only um and of that parcel you know we've actually kind of filtered it into the show this is the last of it the very last of it 
What's amazing is Amazonite as a member of the Feldspar family is usually very opaque, isn't it? Mm. Very, very opaque, usually quite mottled. Looks a little bit like your your sort of uh, um, your green jadeites, doesn't it? Mm. In many ways. Yeah. Much more of a pastel hue. Whereas this is more paraba, more paraba colour. So in nice. fact, this isn't just paraba colour. This is Windex Blue paraba, which is the most sought after of your of, of your paraba tourmalines. Now, if this was a strand of paraba tourmaline, you'd be talking tens of thousands of pounds, probably even more. But to be honest, tens of thousands, probably six figures in actual fact if it was paraba tourmaline. Um, but this is totally and utterly natural Amazonite, and this parcel in our well 20 years across the par, uh, across the par, uh, partnership we've never seen anything like this before it's the very 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 last chance to get hold of this parcel the quality is amazing it's blown our minds i mean again we sent it to as we do with all our gems so we sent it to our gem lab test it you know is that surely so like you you'd be like surely it that's sounds, died yeah. surely it's treated natural totally natural absolutely incredible now your first price crash is 99 pounds and 99 pence. When you say last of stock, Roscoe, how many have you got? Six, okay, yeah. Uh, six left within the vault. It, you will notice this strand of Amazonite from multiple meters away. I love that Amazonite normally, you know, the more I, sound, I feel like a, I'm uncomfortable saying it, but you know, the more generic colour. In fact, I think you've got a piece of Amazonite behind you in that boulder. Can you see that? I think this. that's Amazonite. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's completely yeah. different. Shall I pick it up? Yes, please. It's Can you show our, our dad? It's completely different. That's what Amazonite normally looks like. It's much more pastel. Much, tone, much. Lovely. Very but pretty. I love wouldn't it. I think it was the same thing. Look at the difference. This is the finest grade we've ever seen in probably 20 years of us broadcasting. And I'm not just talking here at Jewelry Maker, I'm talking across Gemporia as well. In seven seconds, though, we are taking it lower. We've only got a handful of them available. Yeah, that's what we, we know Amazonite to be like. It's absolutely beautiful, very pretty, much more opaque, much more mottled, much more patterned. Doesn't necessarily have the translucency. However, this, uh, like I said, it's a, it was a wow. I didn't even realise that Amazonite could form with such intensities of colour. £69.99 pence, jewellery makers. Again, make sure you are checking out your baskets. We've got seven of them left. It would be, um, we, we not only because of the scarcity of this parcel, but also there is one of the big designers who actually bought up the remaining of this quality. Uh, David Yeoman bought the remaining of the, uh, um, uh, the remainder of your uh, Ice Amazonite from this location. So it's in his collections, but as you can imagine, they're quite considered. They're usually in 18 karat gold. So you're talking hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. Um, so we can't buy it for that reason as well. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I've got a very pretty strand of aquamarine. Oh, not just any aquamarine. This is Santa Maria. Um, now, Santa Maria, originally, it, that de terminology described the location, which honors some of the best azure blues. Um, it, it mined out. It was actually mined out. Now, we use Santa Maria as a description for um, the quality as well, a bit like we would say D to a diamond or quad A to um, a tanzanite. However, this is from the Santa Maria mine. So you are looking at that location, that depleted location, and you can see it, perfectly color matched, amazing summer's day sky blue, absolute perfect matching on every single one, eye clean clarity, which is rare. When it comes to aquamarine, you usually have to make some kind of sacrifice. Um, what I mean by that is you either, if you love the clarity, then you usually lose some of the color. Um, if you love the color, then you usually lose some of the clarity. However, not the case here. Even here, Roscoe at 499, that's an amazing deal, isn't it? For Santa Maria, I would get my, I would highly recommend getting your certificate of authenticity because it will say Santa Maria and it will say Brazil. And it will also say natural. Totally natural, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate. 69 pounds and 99 pence for a staggering 90 carats of Santa Maria Aquamarine in your perfect six mil rounds. Natalie, I'm a very basic jewelry maker. I am, it's true. I would knot this on silk and I'd probably put one of your early bird magnetic clasps. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I think on that video where it's recording of it, you could really see the clarity. It's just beautiful. Isn't it's it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous blue. 
I think you described it perfectly with a, a summer sky. It is. It really is. It yeah. is. Summer's day sky blue captured in a gemstone. Yeah, you know, right. and we always say it, like, Aquamarine is, no, is the number six of the big five, isn't it? In fact, it was in the big five. This was the gemstone, really, that, um, that, that was used for engagement. Yeah, it's well, one of my oops. favorites. Yeah. Sailors used to use it for yes. safe travel and they things, did. isn't it? Like a bit of a talisman. They used to throw it into the sea to yeah. give them safe passage. In fact, when I, um, when I first entered the competition, they asked us to design based on a theme. Um, and I chose fairy tale as my theme and I used um, The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen and I wrapped an aquamarine with like a big fishtail veil and it oh, was wow. based around that stone. I love it, it's gorgeous. Amazing. One of my Loving that. Amazing. Now, speaking of the big five, here's four of those big five. So you are looking at Amazing, tanzanite, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. And you're gonna get all four of them as well. Now, for me, put those on a slider bracelet, job done, you're making high-end jewelry. Yeah. Look at the quality though of that tanzanite, vanadium rich blue. Look at the quality, the intensity, I always say that vivacity when it comes to your emeralds. It's not so dark that it almost becomes like a forest green. Look at the vivacity of your emerald. Look at the glow of your beautiful natural ruby. And then look at that, well, iconic regal blue that you get within your sapphire. Not imitation stones, genuine gemstones. Four of the big five, and you don't have to choose, you get them all. 79 pounds and 99 pence. Let's start by getting these down to, yeah, I know, <laughs> Natalie's laughing because you just heard the price. £10 a strand. But we're not done and we're actually nowhere near. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It is. Silly. Silly prices. You think this is a birthday deal? Do you know, we don't make our own job easy. And what I mean by that, sometimes you can, and Dave touched on this yesterday, didn't he? We can, you can, I think in any retail or business, you can undercharge. And by undercharging, people have got that little, that seed of doubt going, yeah. oh, well, it's got to be imitation. Yeah. It can't be real. Let me just sort of uh, um, uh, address that. If you are new to our channel and you don't, you, you've not yet heard how we actually shop, we go direct to mine where possible. We also, it's a partnership, a very big partnership where we've got multiple channels. So we will buy our gemstones alongside Gemporia as well. We buy big. Steve is, and again, Dave touched on this yesterday, a big, one of the world's biggest gemstone buyers. And that's how we bring those costs down. We also don't work on 400% margin like your average jewelers. You know, you've got to remember, we've got a quantity of how many do you say? Eight, okay, eight o'clock hours a bit different. Say when we launch this, we'd have 100, yeah? 600 were bought, there we go. We're down to the final 18. So we can work on small margins. Do you want to know why 600 of almost sold? Because you get all four for seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence each. I'm reaching for my phone again. I know, I know, I know, I know. I I often get um, told off by family and whatnot for undercharging, and the way I tend to work out my price when I make jewellery is I will work out how much of my materials have I used. So how much do my materials cost? And then I'd add like an hourly rate and I never charge for the time. And then that's how I work it out. Most people would say you take your materials and you times it by three yeah. and I don't. So that's why I always you end up, I know. What you need to start doing is not just thinking, how much did I buy these for? But how much would it cost me to replace them? Yes. So when I've sold this and somebody else wants one and says, I absolutely love that ruby bracelet you've made me could I have one? Well, you can't because you've already used them. So you're going to need to buy that stock in again. So how, how much is it? That should be how you work out your price. It's more than £4.50. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, which is basically what these are working out at. £4.50. Not just for one carat either. That's for 45 carats across all of them. Make sure you check it out. We bought 600 of these. 
faceted too. You've got to remember, and I spoke about this the other day, we have to mine the gemstone, we have to yeah. grade the gemstone, colour match the gemstone, facet the gemstone, strand the gemstone, uh, transport the gemstone, broadcast the gemstone, and then we do that for £4.50. It is madness. I do understand when people are like, no, don't so be so silly. It's only a little bit more than what you posted, just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, well done, everybody. Janet, Cynthia, Ken, Mariska, Catherine, he uh, Hina, uh, Patricia, Cynthia, Jane, Janice. Hello to you, Sarah. Make sure you're checking out, everybody. Don't forget as well your magnetic class uh, early birds that are literally imminent. April in West Yorkshire, you can do it. Susan in Barnsley, you can do it. I only had 17. <coughs> do you know what so I would do with them? I'd get little featherweight silver sterling ball yep. pins. I would split them up. So I would put just a couple of each one on a little pair of silver sterling earrings. Lovely. How many pairs of earrings are you going to get out of that? Yeah, How ruby much? earrings, yeah. sapphire yeah. earrings, emerald earrings, yeah. which everybody knows, don't they? Tanzanite, everybody knows. But at that price, you could even use them as spaces. Yeah, like, exactly. Who in the right mind would I'm just going to use sapphire spaces. Yes. <laughs> casual, <laughs> casual. Um, okay, it is time, everybody. I know that the magnetic clasp has been certainly one of our staples here at Jewelry Maker for some quite quite some years now, actually. I think it's going back, oh, I don't know, 2014, maybe? Maybe even uh, before that. Anyway, um, and they're a revolution. This, I think that's what I said when I first launched them. They're a revolution. How many of us struggle to do up certain clasps? bolt rings lobsters toggles whatever it might be a magnetic clasp eliminates all of those issues but not just here on our sister channel and pretty much every magnetic clasp that i can think of has come with size haven't they so if you're wearing something quite delicate it can be quite weighty around the neckline it's going to work its way to the front at wrist it's going to be quite well in the way i suppose intrusive however I don't know if this is the first time, but I think it's the first time I've actually seen them. Five millimeter, so it's not gonna be the focal point. It's gonna do its job and it's gonna do it very well. I'm bringing you the yellow gold and I'm bringing you the rose gold. The silver is available in the nine o'clock hour. It's your early bird and it's next. the trusty magnetic clasp but it's true and I think you ha you pointed out uh, perfectly Natalie if you work on a computer you know what you wear around your wrist is actually going to be is probably quite something you're mindful of yeah. um, if you uh, are wearing a fine necklace maybe with some of the more delicate stones say those three millimeter jadeites for example last thing I would want to do if I was re-stranding something like this, this, these are stunning by the way, they're coming up in today's show, uh, meter long length strand. If I was literally re-stranding this to wear as a necklace, because not everybody likes chunky jewelry. Last thing I would want is to put a big eight, 10, 12 millimeter magnetic clasp. It's just gonna spoil the look, isn't it? Mm. And that becomes then the focus. So if I wanted to keep that consistency of delicacy, I would far sooner put a small magnetic clasp on there they're a lovely shape they are aren't really they really unusual shape do you know what I mean if there was a 10 mil magnetic clasp on this it would look daft wouldn't it unless that's the look you're going for uh, it would become the feature become the pendant whereas this is doing its job doing its job as being a magnetic clasp but it's not so heavy so bulky that it's gonna uh, um, spoil I suppose um, that feminine design it's all down to what you look you're going for but if you want something a little bit more petite then to my knowledge anyway this is the first time we've actually done smaller magnetic clasps um, usually the smaller your clasp is the more fiddly it is as well yes, so if true. you've got a bolt ring or even like a lobster claw shaped clasp when it's small you struggle to get it, well I struggle to get it on a little bit more so the fact that you've got it as a magnetic clasp yeah. you're literally just gonna clip it on super simple look really and easy. it's gonna be even easier for you when it's in the finished piece of jewelry because obviously you'll have something to hold on to yeah. there as well but look there you go oh you missed it sorry Adam right here we go ready it's a nice strong clasp right, hang on turn him over on the side come on to be fair he'll probably find his way anyway right ready 
that shows how strong that clasp magnetic you even heard is. It, didn't you? It's a cool clasp. You even that heard distance. it. Now we get we're, you get two. I don't think people are just going to get one of these. I think it's going to be one of those opportunities. We're like, oh my goodness me, yes. You know, not everybody wants the big steak. They're lovely, the big ones. Don't get me wrong, I do like those. Um, but if you're looking for something a little bit more petite, particularly for something around the wrist, yeah. then I think these are going to be much more suitable. Now, we've got the only issue, jewelry makers, I've got 85 of the yellow gold, and people have already shopped ahead on these. Um, I just thought that lovely strand of jadeite would be a prime example of where you perhaps wouldn't put a big clasp on there. And you're getting two, so you've got matching necklace and bracelet. Matching well. necklace and yeah. bracelet. Now, now for a magnetic class, normally here at Jewelry Maker, ten pounds. Would we agree? Here at Jewelry Maker, ten pounds there or thereabouts. Um, there we go. We've just done it. Ten pounds each per magnetic class. Um, they're almost like a bullet shape as well, so much more linear in their design. Um, so many of you have taken the initiative to shop ahead on these, um, probably because you're thinking the same thing I am. We've not done these before. Don't remember actually having these before. Not this design and not that size either. They've always been, to my knowledge, and like I said, I can only reflect on what I remember, but um, eight mil, I think usually is our size. Eight mil, 10 mil, or even 12 mil uh, for your magnetic class. I don't remember them being anywhere near five. Um, now, never mind 10 pound per gold plated sterling silver magnetic class. How about eight pounds each? Oh, How about that. we go lower again? <laughs> uh, stock up on these because I've never seen them before. And I think it is going to be one of those go-tos in your stash, isn't it? I think that shape's going to complement so many different... Yeah. Like, if you've got like rondelles, yes. that's because of the shape of them. They're lovely. So pretty, aren't they? Right, here you go. Imagine. There's that bracelet. Ignore the cord. Just ignore the cord. See where I'm coming from? Lovely. It's complimentary of your more delicate beads. Perfect. Amazing. Perfect. We are going lower. These will sell out. No doubt about that. And even though they're smaller, they've still got the strength of your usual magnetic class. So that's why I demonstrated it on the board. Literally just hold them in the same vicinity and they find one another. We are at eight pounds per magnetic class. Lorna's got four, Maker's got two, Geraldine's got four, Angela's got two, Charmaine's bought three, Anita's bought four, Nottinghamshire's bought two, but the reality is it's double those quantities because you get two in a pack. Um, everybody pays the final low price tag. Jewelry makers is not just one, you get the two of them. Wow, £6.50. £6.50. In sterling silver. In silver. <laughs> we could have separated these, maybe, yeah, separated them and doubled our quantity, couldn't we? Yeah. And I think 9 99 would have been a fantastic jewelry maker price tag. They would have sold out at that price, but no, we're all about the deals, aren't we? They would have been more than £6.50 if they are on on their own, wouldn't they? We know that. But we've bundled them, bringing you an even better deal, jewellery makers, at £12.99. Um, the phone lines, the web, the baskets have gone crazy. Uh, my only wish was that we had more than 85. Um, you can get the rose gold. You can shop ahead on those um, as well. They're in this hour. Silver is coming up just after the break, just because we've got a bigger quantity. So we want to try and make them as available um, for the entire day. Look at you all there, though. Yorkshire, Catherine, Samantha, Susan, Alison. Um, hello to you, Merseyside. Hello to you, Sue. That's a Susan, lot of that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of multi buyers there as well. Hello, Brenda. Hello to you, Linda. Uh, Lorna, new customers. Janet, Geraldine, Angela. You, oh, it's hard to read your names when it's set. They're selling this fast because it the literally bounces. Won't, it's, yeah, it's, it's so still. hard. Um, now, if you see your name on this side of the screen, you need to check them out. They're not guaranteed to you if they're sat in your baskets. Um, we only had 85, and that might sound like a a big quantity actually for a Sunday definitely definitely not um, okay we'll keep this auction open simultaneously alongside the rose gold and I'm gonna give you a little heads up the rose is almost sold out I love rose gold it's lovely isn't it I absolutely love rose gold here we go right we're gonna crash the price 60 seconds on your screen and that's to close not just this auction but the entire hour and then we'll do the silver um, on the other side. 
on the other side um, of the break. So there they are. There's the rose gold. Yeah, look how pretty that is. That strand's perfect for it. They go it, isn't with it? everything, though, then, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Amazing. Twelve ninety nine. Everybody, these are very close to selling out. You've got a minute everyone a minute to, uh, until we move on from this and that's to close the whole hour out mind so that's the yellow gold magnetic class it will close those out the rose gold magnetic class everything that i've brought you so far the nephrite the amazonite the aquamarine um the big four of course those amazing pearls the jewel uh, the jewels rolls are coming up yeah everything that we've brought you thus far and all the other deals that are on the website um they will disappear coming up after the break we've got natalie's amazing collection so very very excited about that because i've not seen it in person so very excited <laughs> um and we even have messages in from this uh, from from viewers at home um so make sure you're with me on that make sure you're checking out your baskets the silver of these magnetic class will be on the other side of the break um the gold's very limited the rose gold what is 11 left of what of the gold okay so extremely limited check out your baskets everybody and don't go anywhere because we've got natalie's collection coming up after this <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalie Patton and I'm a guest designer on Jewelry Maker TV. I'm going to be back on the show on Sunday the 18th of February with the return of the Gemstone Garden Collection, which I'm really, really excited about. So if you missed your first time round on the launch, please come and join me. Um, the collection features 12 unique lovely little birth flowers that represent each month and they are adorned with a matching birthstone so we've got black diamond we've got opal sapphire ruby emerald they're absolutely gorgeous and they are 925 sterling silver they've also been designed so they're really versatile for you to use with any jewelry making technique so whether you're a metal smith a bead stitcher a um, macrame maker, a wire worker, you can use these to create some lovely personal designs. As well as this lovely little um, plantable wildflower seed card, this time round it's also going to come with a PDF on how to create a lovely adjustable ring. So you can use this to create um, a piece of jewellery that can commemorate a loved one, celebrate a birthday or a special moment or occasion. If that's not enough, we've also got the launch of some really lovely um, carrier charm clasps with gorgeous coloured cord. And in the masterclass, I'm going to be showing you a variety of different macrame techniques that you can use to make some very lovely jewellery. So please come and join me on Sunday, the 18th of February on Jewellery Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Monday the 19th of February with the most beautiful projects. In the 9am, I have these incredible Malachite projects with matching connectors and there's also an amazing pearl one, absolutely stunning. I'm going to be showing you how to make this bubble style pearl necklace. And in the masterclass, I have the most amazing Laramar earring kit so all of the findings are sterling silver and there's lots of really interesting earring findings and the Laramar is just beautiful so I hope you can join me on Monday the 19th at JM are you new to jewelry maker well we want to help you on your jewelry making journey when you purchase with us for the first time you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. 
jewellery maker. Create, wear, share. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back everybody. Now, it is time for the silver. Hopefully you've managed to secure, to secure the yellow gold, the rose gold and all the other amazing goodies that we've brought you thus far this morning. But right now for the silver of your magnetic clasp, which we all know this historically is the most popular color of your precious metal, not just here at Jewelry Maker, but globally. Um, now, Funny enough, Natalie just said to me, oh, there's a bracelet here that I've included with the collection that ideally I'd have preferred one of these class to go on there. Um, do you know, this is a thing, but they've not been available to us up, nope. until, up until now. Um, they are smaller. So again, they're not going to sort of be as intrusive, I suppose, as your larger sizes. But also it's about that continuity. And I think that's really important when we're choosing what class we put alongside our jewellery. Not just with magnetic class, you know, whether you're considering a toggle or a, a bolt ring or a lobster claw. It's, you know, you're not going to all of a sudden put a gigantic class. Well, let's, that's part of the design, of course, maybe alongside your micro faceted gemstones. It's all down to the look that you're going to and having that consistency. Um, well, the first, going by the first two colors, which absolutely flew, I think this is gonna be no different. Now we have 155. You've just seen how good it, the deal was on the yellow gold and the rose gold. Here's the silver. Go, 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 go. I touched on this this morning. I wish we had double the quantity. To be honest, on a Sunday morning, which is one of our busiest shows, Natalie, on a Sunday morning, I'd prefer to have double the quantity. However, it is what it is. We've got 155. Just don't, don't, no resting on laurels, please. You need to be checking out nice and early to guarantee your success. Um, you saw the deal earlier on with the gold plated and the rose gold plated. This is the fastest selling colour always, repeatedly. Again, it's that strength of magnet, which I can show you again if you wish. Um, I should mention as well, if, uh, if you do wear a pacemaker, then obviously do avoid uh, magnetic clasps. Um, this one is actually quite a strong magnetic clasp too, which would, you would want in an ideal world, but um, avoid them if you wear a pacemaker. But again, this is why they're so revolutionary. Rather than messing around with is, say a bolt ring class trying to find the opening or and you're doing it at the back of the neck or under the wrist line it's tricky isn't it with a magnetic class you literally just hold them in the same vicinity and they find one another now you don't just get the one you get the two you get the two um, we're not messing around loads of you are there trusting the process knowing the deal knowing that yeah knowing that 155 is not nearly enough Remember, we were at what pound each? Eight pounds each, which would be amazing if they were individual. If we were, if we were bringing these on air individually, eight pounds for a magnetic class, sterling silver magnetic class, unbelievable. We're not stopping there though. There's a, less than 100, 99, just tiptoed into the double figures. Um, Erica's got two, Renfusha's got two, Janet's got two, Susan's got two. Erica's got four. Yeah, Susan in Barnsley's <laughs> got two, uh, Nottinghamshire four, Sue in London's got two, Irene's got two, Helen has got two, Samantha in Coventry's got three. This is the thing, people will stock up on these. £11.99 pence each. We have gone lower than the yellow and the rose. These are precious metal jewellery makers. Um, so you're not talking about base metal here. 
11.99 hilda well done brenda well done the they are a revolution aren't they and i, I mentioned this you know when um when i was working on our sister channel you know if ever if you've ever wondered um if you've ever wondered um, if you ever wondered what, why or how the presenters on our sister channel change their necklaces and bracelets so quickly, it's because they're on magnetic clasps. It's, that's how. It's like a, a super swift costume change. It's because of the magnetic clasps. Um, they are a revolution and they do make your jewellery wear a lot easier. You know, you could, as, as jewellery makers, you could attach these to existing pieces. I did that when we first introduced magnetic class. I actually swapped a lot of my necklaces and chains over to magnetic class just because it's easier. You know, last night I popped out for dinner last night with my husband. Um, it was a delayed Valentine dinner, so I do apologise if I smell a garlic. Um, <laughs> smell a lovely hammock. Oh, bless. <laughs> um, but no, it's it. So we popped out, and I'm trying to put my necklace on, and it's got a bolt ring clasp, and it's really difficult to do. Whereas if it had a magnet. Job done in seconds. Well, that's it. In you seconds. usually have to do it at the front. I do mine yeah, at the front and then pull, like, pull it round. <laughs> it's like I always say, could you do that to my husband? Can you fix this? And he's like, oh, yeah. just come here, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I know. You end, or you end up not wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got how many? 67 left. And that was not your price. We don't need to dry, drop this price. They've all, already pretty much sold out. But if we get a great deal, you get a great deal. I've got three full rows of names already. Check them out though, because we have 67 left. Fours, threes, twos. I can see Lorna's got four. I can see Nottinghamshire's got uh, four. Um, lots and lots and lots of twos. Sue in Norfolk's got three. I don't blame you. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. There's 67 though. Sunday morning is one of our busiest shows here at Jewelry Maker. That's because, you know, a lot of people, not all, not all. I know some people work on the weekends, obviously, us included. Um, but some people are off on a Sunday. So, you know, they can chill out, they can put their feet up, they can make their own jewellery, they can get amazing deals like this. So it is historically one of our busiest shows. We're not stopping there because Ross has promised you're gonna get you're gonna get the two 925 sterling silver magnetic glass for under 10 pounds this morning that's amazing we've got natalie's incredible collection coming up in a few moments time make sure you secure these sit back and enjoy 9.99 a fiver a fiver that's silly prices it is if i was bringing you one on air they wouldn't be they wouldn't be five pounds they wouldn't be this is why we say with a bundle you get some of the best deals. It would be five pounds each. We'd bring you a great deal, don't get me wrong, but not five pounds. That's absolutely amazing. And it is about that balance, isn't it? It's about that continuity. You don't really want to put, well, you might, it's up to you, of course. But personally, if I'm working with, say, those faceted three mils, the black spinels or the rubies that we had yesterday, I'm not gonna wanna put a big, big, chunky 12 millimeter magnetic clasp on there. You want there. something delicate. Yeah. Something a little understated. Absolutely, but still do the role. Oh yeah. Uh, still still be able to actually have that function and strong enough to hold the piece together. Well done everybody, this is very close to selling out. Jenny's got three, Sue in Norfolk, you've got four, Alison's got three, uh, Janet in Norfolk, you've got three, Kathy in Derbyshire, you've got three. Um, honestly, there's so many names. Angela in London, Tracy, Anne, Leonie, Catherine, Janet, uh, Nottinghamshire, uh, to County Tyrone. I don't I can't. think there's anybody there that's just got one loads of multi buyers yeah. loads and loads and loads of multi buyers 90 oh there we go 90 percent of bidders have actually multi bought on this i don't blame you i don't blame you at all right i'm gonna leave that with you congratulations everybody that will be a sellout for sure now this is exciting Very because exciting. we have first time that us as a team are actually seeing your beautiful collection I'm so, so delighted with them. I really, really am. And any time I, I make with them, I just, the sense of pride that I get Good. is just, I, it's so lovely because I, you know, I, they started off as like, I'm not the best drawer, but they were like little sketches. Mm. Um, and then to see them become reality, an actual usable component is just, 
it's a dream come true and every time I look at them I just I just love them well I mean you can see here you've got 12 beautiful little flowers and and I never knew Natalie that we had a birth flower <laughs> well you, you often have m more than one birth stone as well don't you really yeah um, so there's usually at least one maybe two birth flowers which are attributed to the month as well um, right. so I've picked the ones which I thought were the prettiest and the um, most different from each other so for example I'm December so um, I wanted something to do with holly but I didn't want like a holly sprig so I chose a little holly flower for that one ah. um, it, it was lots of fun researching actually but I think when it comes to flowers for thousands of years through lots of different cultures people gift flowers yeah. as as a meaning of sentiment so it could be for various different regions that you, that you give flowers and i love nature whenever i'm making something i always try and draw from nature whether it be looking at the gemstone and thinking about you know the geography and the geology behind that stone and where does it come from and and what does that look best with when I'm starting to make something um, if I ever have a, like a little bit of like a men mental block I love to go for a little walk outside or might go for a walk in the woods <coughs> or whatever yeah. um, so nature for me is something that I often kind of draw inspiration from um, so I wanted to to make the collection which you could gift it to somebody but mm. it's going to be um sounds a bit cheesy but i said it's the sentiment that lasts a lifetime like i got lovely flowers uh for valentine's day um me and my husband often like love tulips so i've got some roses and i've got some tulips off him and they will sit in my vase in the kitchen for maybe you know a week or two maybe at a push yeah this is this is going to be something that should last a lifetime absolutely absolutely well funny you should say that because didn't carol have a recording of one of our um promotions she was actually saying uh um flat what's it flowers flowers die <laughs> but jewelry lasts forever it's true though <laughs> well I, often, I know it's it's crude but it's true i often see people um have been sharing especially i say over valentine's day people say I don't want flowers, I don't want chocolate, I want jewellery, um, yeah. or I want gemstones. And I think, well, this is combining. You've yeah. got your, your jewellery, you've got your gemstones, and you've got your flowers. Yeah, so. well, the, uh, do you know, I totally agree with that. I've, and I think I said this the other day. I was like, it's the one day of the year I always say to my husband, don't buy me flowers, yeah. um, as in a bunch of flowers. Because they're so expensive, firstly. <laughs> you know, get it the next day, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. But like you said, these will last a lifetime, won't they? In fact, you know, generations to come. Um, now, not only do you get this lovely little component, which Natalie, you were saying, you want it to be, you, you were, in designing this, you didn't want it to be for a particular skill set or medium or style. Yeah. So it will go across your macrame, your wire work, your seed beading, all of those. Anything, yeah. Um, I don't silversmith, I'd love to. That's something that I'm gonna, you know, hopefully we'll learn, you know, new year, new hobby, new skill, things like that. Um, but you can use them, I think, in, in any design. So um, I've done a little macrame bracelet and I've mm. used it as a button. Um, so you can see how, you know, that's you lovely. That to attach. I've used it in wire work. I've done chain mail with it. Um, often, People don't really want to use fancy, nice stuff on a stretch elastic bracelet, but I thought, why not? So I've got jade on this. Yes. <laughs> um, so there's there's all sorts. Um, I've combined a few of them together in the pendant because I thought, you know, you could have um, your children's birthstones yeah. and birth flowers. It's a nice idea. You might want to have um, your mum, your dad, yourself, you, you and your partner, whatever. Um, so I think they look nice to use together, but I wanted to try and do as much as possible really with them. I've got my earrings in as well. You'd need to get two if you want matching earrings. Oh, let's have a little look at those. Um, I've, sorry. It's all right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, I forgot my earrings this morning. I was like, I'm going to put these in. I don't um, blame you. And I've worn them loads, so they, they could do with a bit of polish, to be honest, because I've worn them constantly. No, well, that shows that you them. love them. And what I love about it is I'll go out and people go, oh, they're pretty, and I'll go, 
Well, not only did I make it myself, I designed them myself Amazing. as well. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's something to be proud of for sure. Now, everything from Natalie's collection is available on pre-order Jewelry Makers. So have a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, scroll down and you can see each and every single one of those beautiful flowers. Um, not only do you get the sterling silver and the gemstone and those wonderful designs, um, which are exclusive as well. They're exclusive to uh, um, Jewelry Maker here. Not only that, they also come beautifully uh, packaged and also with the little little bag of seeds so you get the little bag that they come in like so very pretty and then it comes with this little description card yes which has got um, wildflower seeds in it if I turn it over you might be able to see some of the seeds in the back of it oh I see so you can plant this and you're not gonna have um, you know the same flowers necessarily as whatever charm you've bought but you've got wildflowers as well so you do have something to plant so you can get some actual real flowers as well and this oh, time how round, lovely that they're in the car cute isn't it yeah um, amazing this time around it also comes with a pdf okay so i've made um a pdf instructions for an adjustable ring as well and that will talk you through it step by step I've even put um, little tips on there as well so you can see mm. like you know how to work out how to um, measure your ring finger but they are adjustable so um, they're really good if you do want to make them as gifts because you don't have to be precise in knowing somebody's ring size but also you f my fingers change shape just throughout the day so I might well not shape size <laughs> so I might have like you know if I'm feeling a little bit warmer my fingers yes. might yeah, swell yeah. Um, so I've made it kind of adjustable and also there's a technique you can do where you can kind of get it to rotate so if I can be really annoying and just bring this one so this one here um, oh it's a spinner ring it's not a full spinner but it does it helps me do like a little fidget so I'll often sit and wear when I'm wearing that and just just play with it a little bit so it's fully secure but it gives you some kind of maneuverability as well very beautiful we were speaking about spinner rings yesterday actually yeah, with the lovely Yvonne, the Yvonne on, didn't you? um so yeah you could you could incorporate well you could solder these as well yeah, couldn't you yeah, so absolutely. nothing stopping you doing that so not only will you get natalie's beautiful element you'll also get the seeds you'll get it beautifully packaged and you'll get your uh, your instruction now they are all on pre-order so you can shop ahead um, I'm gonna start with a black diamond yeah we didn't just go for like you know oh anything goodness. common we went for the best so I've got um, I've got peridot ruby there's black diamond in there there's amethyst there's aquamarine mm -hmm. um, red garnet emerald white moonstone opal oh. there's there's all sorts in there they're, they're beautiful well I've got it here you go they are absolutely beautiful. You're right, Natalie. Um, and then you can obviously the, the the individual flowers that these are. So this features a little black diamond in the centre. So that one's a little daisy, and that is for April. Ah, for all of you April babies. So it's the birthstone, birthstone, and, and the flower, and the flower to rep them oh, represent lovely. the month as well. Amazing. And if I just flip it over for one second, you can see. Um, it's this which makes it you know very easy to incorporate into your jewelry it's quite a big loop as well um so you know if you're doing stitch beading you easily get your needle through there um if you're i've done um just general bead strung mm -hmm. bracelets and necklaces with them as well when i've made them for gifts for people um so i would just use my my beading thread like my tiger tail yeah and i would bring it back through and yep. that that stops it from flipping and falling down as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, you can get, um, I'll be doing the ring with it, so you can get one mil wire through there really comfortably. So, um, do you know, do you know yeah. something's just dawned on me? Because do you remember when we brought you those seed bead components? I can't remember for life and remember what they were called. Whereas the seed, they, they were something that would sit on top of a weave. Do you know what I'm talking about? They were sit on top, but because the 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 the, the, the component you basically stitched into the weave, so it was a kind of like eleven o size. So you could, you know, while you're doing a stitch, drop a C bead, put one of these on as an alternative to an eleven o, and it's going to sit on top. Do you know what I'm? I can't remember what they're called. Ah, uh, symbols. Were they symbols? 
symbols. So you could <laughs> put those on top of your seed bead uh, um, weaving as well. Sorry, it's just dawned on me. But that, again, you were, you, you know, that's something that you were very passionate about, Natalie, is actually having something that would work across different designs and different mediums. Yeah, because, you know, I wanted these to be for everybody. Um, I say I love wire work, but I know not everybody does. Um, and sometimes I see things and think they're beautiful, but I haven't got that um, I haven't mastered those skills yet so mm. then it kind of alienates me in terms of thinking well I won't buy that because I haven't got that tool or I don't yeah. know what to do with this so I think I wanted them to be as as accessible essentially to, to everybody um, Oh, mate, well, they certainly are. Now, we're at £34.99. There's a big amount of silver. And, of course, you've got your black diamonds in there as well. You can solder these. You can knot with these. You can seed bead with these. £19.99 for, for a black, black diamond. diamond. An over a gram of precious metal. Years ago, when we used to have the jewelry maker shop in the same studio, I remember it was the studio here and the shop was just outside. Lots of our audience will remember that. I bought myself some little black diamond stud earrings from the shop um, and I paid, and I'm going back over 10 years now, over 10 years because I was in the office. Uh, they were like 55 pounds staff cost and they were smaller than those much smaller i was just being cheeky to be honest because i thought well this might this opportunity doesn't come around very often so yeah. i'm just going to be really cheeky and i'm just going to be asking for oh, the best diamond. Stuff. yeah i don't blame you <laughs> amazing <laughs> natalie that's absolutely beautiful and again remember how they come they come with the seeds they come with that beautiful little uh, little uh, pouch as well um now we've got the ruby this i've got to be honest this is one i gravitate towards is i that love the, one that the you ruby like? is it I'm not a July baby. My daughter is, but um, I do love. I the love ruby. the shape of the the water lily with that one. Um, I love the shape of all of them. As I say, they are all all quite different. Um, and I I think as I say, I'm not I'm not <gasps> the best at drawing. So I was so grateful for the team to kind of take my very basic <laughs> sketches. I did bring a couple here, but I don't think I'm going to show them. You, Natalie, I've just noticed you've got a Burmese ruby in this. Oh, I know, yeah, I told you. Um, I asked oh, for the best. <laughs> Burmese ruby. Look at the colour of it. It's so pretty. It's pigeon blood colour. My goodness me, at £20, that's amazing. £19.99 pence only to get hold of a, a, a genuine Burmese ruby, which is on the verge of depletion. Pardon? This, this closed even lower? Wow, and there it is in Natalie's beautiful wire work. Burmese ruby set in sterling silver, an element that you can absolutely incorporate into multiple different mediums. And, it, and yeah, you know what? You don't, it doesn't have to be your birthstone. You, oh. I, I mean, who doesn't love lilies? I've and who doesn't love rubies? Say, well, my daughter was called Lily, so I've yeah. got all my daughters called Daisy, or yeah. actually, my, my mother in law's called Rose. It could be the fact that, um, yeah. you know, you just like the flower. Yeah, exactly. Um, and like the gemstone, because, I mean, let's be honest, that's a pigeon blood ruby from Burma. That's pretty amazing, Natalie. And we go even lower. Um, how many have we got then, Roscoe? Is there quantity? 30 available. This is It's quite exclusive. Again, just to show you on the reverse, you've got that um, effectively a jump ring, haven't you? So that you could absolutely, uh, you know, uh, why work? not onto this macrame i like that idea simply add it to a stretchy bracelet i think would be absolutely beautiful um with yeah stretchy. with the stretchy bracelet would be amazing there's only 30 though pamela linda samantha lorraine nikki elizabeth cornwall london sharon um, people on the phone as i can't see all the names as of yet what i need to add my miss in my <laughs> gonna just maybe add some to my basket <laughs> on the high street that is a piece of jewellery is at least triple figures at least you know if you were to go to someone like Pandora how much it, in fact you wouldn't get Burmese ruby in Pandora would you it would probably be an imitation they'd say ruby coloured wouldn't they yours is a genuine burmese ruby look how beautiful they are you can solder onto these if you wanted to turn those into earrings oh they'd be lovely studs yeah they'd be lovely stud actually. earrings you could almost create as well with a chain 
You could create like a floating, have a, like a floating lotus flower pendant. Ah, oh. you could have, um, like, say maybe the month we met, the month we got married. You know, you can, you oh can incorporate all different sentiments and meanings into them. They don't have to be birthdays. Um, you can, you can do whatever you want with them. Amazing! I'm loving that. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. They're flying. Like I said, these are very limited now because we only had thirty of them anyway. Alan Essex, Janet, well done. Linda Cornwall, London, Samantha, Lorraine, uh, Pamela, Jenny, Cheryl, Natalie, uh, Swansea. New customers, Andrea. Loads of you have it in your baskets. Aloma, make sure you check out. Remember, I've only got thirty. There's eleven left. Amanda in Warwickshire. Press your option one key on the phone lines, Kent, and you'll be able to get involved as well. From Ruby, I'm going to step into some amazing tanzanite. Okay, let me just find it for a moment. There it is. Oh, this is beautiful. Sorry, I'm just adding things to my No, bus. you're all right. Don't you worry. You no apologies. What, what are we doing the tanzanite one? <gasps> so is this December? This is mine. December. This is the holly flower. Holly flowers are pretty, aren't they? Really, really pretty. I say I didn't really want to do um, like a holly leaf no. as such, but... Um, and at first I was like, does holly even have flowers? But it does. They They're do. Very little, little white flowers, aren't they? Yeah, little delicate little things. Very pretty. Very pretty. Look at that. It's amazing quality. Put, uh, you know, look at the quality of that tanzanite there. Look at the facets of your tanzanite. Yeah, you could turn that into a ring, couldn't you? I'd turn that into a ring. Have you? <laughs> yeah. That very, this very piece? But yeah. Um, can you see if they're there? You ah, go. beautiful. There's only 30 of these as well. Um, and this is an exclusive limited edition collection as well, isn't it? It's not yeah. something that we're you're repeating, is that right? I'd love to, but I don't I don't think I'm going to. No, I think this is it. This yeah, is... well, you can move on to your next one. Ooh. Move on <laughs> to the next collection. £14.99 pence only. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So beautiful. It is that perfect tanzanite blue as well. Obviously, I mean, this is what um, I think, Natalie, that when you're putting your name to a collection, you want to make sure that the gemstones are of the best grade, don't you? Yeah, and, you know, the team were just so wonderful with me. When when we come up with things, we, we, we looked at the design. Obviously, I've not got that ability to kind of to manufacture in, mm. in that sense on CAD drawings and things like that. That's completely out of my remit. Um, but, you know, we, we looked together at what worked and one of the things I didn't want to compromise on and what the team didn't want to compromise on was, you know, the shape of that flower. Yeah. I wanted to have that shape, that standout shape with those lovely gemstones. And we did um, look at different designs and we got some samples back and i'm just so proud and pleased with the team because they just said they're not up to our standard and the fact that that just meant an awful lot that yeah. you know yeah back to the drawing board start yeah. again well start again they just went let's go back to what yeah. she originally wanted yeah and let's make it because i was like well it's got to be i didn't want it as just a bead you know yeah. so we looked at maybe well can we do it with the loop and make it more of a charm absolutely um, but just the expert like knowledge that the team have got and for me to be able to to kind of utilize that was just lovely oh well you've done an amazing job um let's move on to the aquamarine oh, now this one is my little boys he's a march birthday oh. so it's the little daffodil oh here yeah oh look i love march it was my sister's birth uh, my, um birth month as well so i've got it's one of my favorite months of the year oh this is beautiful and also daffodils are one of my favorite flowers it's spring isn't it it's yeah. like new beginnings oh, easter no. Yeah, it's just positive. I think yeah. March is such a positive month. It's a happy, happy flower. And the yeah. yellow's a cheery colour as well, isn't it? Things, so. Beautiful. Now, we're going to do this in one price crash again. I'm holding on to the loop at the reverse, so you can see. This is very, very, very popular. Um, and again, we've got 20 left. So uh, we're going to do this in one price, uh, one price crash. Good luck, everyone. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Goodness me! Look at the quality of the aquamarine. Big individual round brilliant cut stones. Again, that detailing of your, oh, your joyous daffodil. 
they are they are like big smiley faces aren't they and again like you said you might it might not necessarily be about march it might just be a case of okay i love aquamarine absolutely beautiful i love daffodils i love them it springs my favorite season yeah so it might be for that reason yeah it's just a really positive um a positive uh, uh flower well done now we're going to dive into the demonstration remember all of natalie's collection are available on pre-order um so we are also everybody half an hour from your deal of the day which i briefly uh um, spoke about first thing this morning we all know the situation of pearls don't we they call it pearl mania it's just the world's gone crazy for um for pearls and that's not just your salt water pearls that's fresh water that's uh um from whatever the location might be um we've sort of shown a photograph recently didn't we of dave actually holding some pearls that he saw um in tucson and they were eight hundred thousand dollars re uh wholesale not retail so yeah that's that's what's happening there's a lot to do with influence uh influences uh sorry over in china um but also a little bit of an issue as well with the supply of your pearls because obviously pandemic now they're coming up we've got ripple pearls one of the hottest trends um in the pearl industry they're brand new they're coming your way at 10 o'clock today but first so what are you going to demo now? i'm going to show you how to make um the adjustable ring so um shall we use one i've already Which, done yeah so pa pass us whatever's closest to time tonight why not why not you know <laughs> you know so all i'm gonna do is i'm using um you can use a 0 0.8 or you can use a one millimeter wire um i'm using the one millimeter here because it's a little bit more sturdy um so you can use whatever you want whatever you feel comfortable with now in terms of getting the length i'm gonna need what i would usually do is i would take um a scrap piece of wire or a little bit of um, cord or thread or something and I would wrap it around the finger that I wanted to wear it on or even maybe around my, my ring mandrel so I've got that size and then I would measure that against my ruler so for example the circumference of my finger might be um, six centimeters and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double that because essentially if I can just take this off actually and I will show you what we are going to do is we're going to double that up because we are doubling the wire over essentially so i'll be using one length of wire and that's going to create my shrank my shank on my ring so this is all one length of wire um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double what i think i'm going to need and then i might add an extra inch or so on and that's just going to enable me to create little swirls and little design um, however I see fit so what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to slide on whichever of the gemstone garden charms that I want to and I'm going to slide it on to the middle now you can see at this point it flips mm -hmm. it's not going to stay in position if you've got a 0.8 um, wire you might be able to bring that through and lock it so you might be able to bring that wire through that loop on the back twice um, but with the one millimeter wire you're not going to it but it's going to fit through nice and comfortably and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the wire around so I've got it in the middle I'm going to bring that wire around I'm just using my fingers at the moment and I'm going to bring it all the way around to kind of lock it in place so it's just going to sit in this little loop here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tools and I'm just going to give it a little press together just that wire just to bring that round now you can see now when I tighten this depending on how, how tight I make that loop will give me uh, more or less how much movement that charm is going to have so that's going to enable it to be like a fidget ring and spin a little bit can you see here that will now kind yeah. of move around if I want to if I want to completely lock that in place I'm just going to pinch that wire down really really close and really um, closed and then all I'm going to do is again with my fingers I'm going to bring these wires and I'm just going to pinch them in together so I'm using my fingers and I'm using my tools just because I want these wires to run parallel next to each other 
and nice and close because this is going to be what my ring shank is so let me just position them up close to each other so now I've got my flower and I'm enabling that to spin a little bit if I want to so these are now going to sit nice and close together if you've got wire straighteners and uh, maybe your nylon coated pliers then they're always good I'm just going to pinch them right in close together but I am going to leave a little bit of a splayed end here and that's just going to allow me to bring in my weaving wire so in terms of your um your weaving wire I would use a, a 0.4 or a 0.3 a 0.3 can give you kind of a little bit of a finer finer weave and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap three times onto my bottom wire here now what I tend to do is I wrap towards the end and then I will just slide it up and I find that's a little bit easier so I'm just gonna wrap three times to kind of coil it around I'm trimming off that little tail end of the wire there and I'm just gonna fix that down because we don't want anything scratching um, or catching on, on our clothes or our skin and I'm just gonna push that wire right up here so it's hiding underneath that petal and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wrap. Now you can do whatever wrap and whatever weave that you fancy. Um, we've got two wires, so two base wires. So you can do whatever two, two wire wrap you would like. You could do um, a figure of eight. All I'm doing here is I'm going to do two over the top and two around the bottom. And I'm just going to keep going with that until I've got the length of which I measured my finger or I measured my um, ring mandrel to get my size so as I say it might be six centimeters you're going to want six centimeters from your flower to the end of your weave whatever it is whatever size you want I would always suggest you do a little bit more because of course these are going to be adjustable so you can um, you can you know open these up essentially a little bit um, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my, my wrap. I'm not going to do it all now because we've not got very long, but I will show you in general how this works. So I'm just wrapping two around the bottom, two around the top. And what I'm going to do every now and again is I'm just making sure these wires are close together and parallel. And I'm just coming in with my pliers and I'm just giving it a little push down. And that's just compressing my weave just so that my weaving is nice and neat and my my shank on my ring the band essentially looks pretty so what you want to do when you're wrapping is I'm just bringing it over I just want them to sit nice and close next to each other those wires I don't want to um, overlap them I just want them to sit nice next to each other so once I've got my my length essentially of what I want and as I say, we're not going to have time to do it all now, are we? Because I don't know how long I've got to demo. I could speed up, <laughs> but I, I want you to see how easy it is. You can do any two, two well, while wire we're, While we're watching you, we can swap over the graphics for one of okay. your next pieces if you like. Yeah, let's do um, that. Because this one, I'm not going to lie, I've gravitated towards this one. It's very one. beautiful. The garnet. Ooh. Very so pretty. We got red garnet, carnation January, is that wow. right? Wow. It's <laughs> so beautiful. I said to my husband last night, I'm going to have to practice to make sure I know what's what. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, they, well, it's beautiful regardless. Also, it could be a rose, I suppose, couldn't it? Especially wild roses look yeah. a little bit like that um amazing so look at the quality of that beautiful garnet in the center again if i show you if i turn this backward you backwards you can see big amount of sterling silver and some lovely folds um within each of those petals so again comes packaged in the little pouch comes with the seeds as well which i really love and a little write-up from natalie 12.99 amazing and we're looking this is the one that you included in that stretchy bracelet there yeah yeah i think um that's got the um i think it's nanhong 
agate Ooh. with that and then Very nice. a little bit of jade some little silver steel in spaces um very nice the, you know i know it's a stretchy but i just thought why not i know how to do my stretch um elastic bracelets and know how to make sure the knot's nice and secure um there's there's something for everybody um so yeah i think um i just love the color of that red garnet it's 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 so vivid really lovely keep on dialing through on that one um well, white, I have to bring white moonstone to wear because this is very popular as well on pre-orders, Natalie. So is this the rose? Is that this one? Rose and June. So it's... Oh, that one. That, that one, that one, one, that there, one. Yeah. Sorry. I picked up the first white gemstone that came to me. There we are. Oh, my goodness me. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's gorgeous. They're my earrings. That's what I've got in my earrings. Oh, Okay. So if you're struggling to find, well, where is it? Uh, this way. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> shall, I, shall I wrap with my head to the side? <laughs> yeah, I'd be impressed if you could do that. I Showing can't. the earrings whilst demoing <laughs> as well. Um, so we've got to bring these to air now, uh, because they are very popular on your pre-order as well. Twelve ninety nine, amazing. But again, all the others um, are on the website as well. So all coming your way at amazing deals. Back to you. So as I'm wrapping, when I first start off, I'm keeping my finger essentially over that little flower and that's just keeping, giving me something to hold on to. And then as I'm moving up the ring um, band or my shank, I'm just holding my wire a little bit closer to the end. So I'm gonna make a teeny tiny one this time just to show you. When I get to my length that I'm after, again, I can come in with my um, pliers and I can just give them a little bit of a compression and kind of neaten that up. And then I can just continue to wrap around the bottom length or the top length. You don't have to do this. You can cut off if you want to at this point. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a coil. So all a coil is, is it's just continually, continuously wrapping over and over and over and over. And I'm going to do that for a couple of centimetres. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that into a nice little twirly bit here, if you can see. So I'm gonna get the length that I want. I'm gonna add a little bit of a coil. And then when, I've, when I'm happy with the length, as I say, this one's gonna be a small one. This could be a little pinky, pinky ring. Um, I'm gonna come in with my cutters. I'm gonna cut off my weaving wire. Again, I'm gonna make sure that it is tucked in. So there's nothing that's <coughs> gonna catch. And then I'm gonna take my ring mandrel or my finger and I'm just gonna start to get the size that I'm after. So because I just wanna get a small one here, I'm just gonna bring that round on the tiny bit. So I'm then gonna just shape it to the size, get that round shape that I want in. And then all I need to do is just play around um, with with the ends, obviously, you probably won't have this length because I have made a tiny ring. So I'm just gonna use um, my round nose pliers just to kind of shape where I want. Now, I can lock this in place. Again, I've still got that movement on the flower at the moment, um, but if I wanted to, I could wrap that round and I could lock it. So if I wanted it to be a full ring, which isn't adjustable, then all I would need to do is just wrap that wire right around the top and kind of lock it in place. If I wanted that adjustability, then you can see here, I can open it up. Um, it's, not, it's not fully closed. So it's just a case of um, making little spirals and making little swirls. What I am gonna do just to finish off, um, and obviously this is just going through the basics with you, but if I was wanting to make a perfectly lovely spiral, what I would do is I would take my round nose pliers and I would make that little curl. And then with my cutters, I'm just gonna, can you see there's a tiny little bit there which isn't fully, fully curved. It's just a tiny little bit of a straight bit. So all I'm gonna do is cut off the very, very finest part of that little curl, which is like a <coughs> millimetre. And then Sorry. when I put my round nose pliers back in, I can make that curl and that swirl perfect. And all I wanna make sure I do when I've, when I've created my ring is make sure that those curls essentially 
curling on each other. Uh -huh. um, so if you can see the one that I've made there, those curls fully curling on each other, which means it's not gonna snag, it's not gonna catch on any clothing or anything like that. Um, and I, I have done a very quick demo today, but in that PDF, it will break it down yeah. every single step. There's photographs at every stage as well. Um, if there's anything there that doesn't make any sense, then by all means, please send me a little message. I've put the gauges as well. Some people work in gauge when they talk about wire thicknesses rather than um, millimeters. So the gauge is on there as well for you. Um, mm. But hopefully that that will make sense so um with every purchase that you've had from uh, natalie's collection you will get this uh you'll get this pdf as well it'll be available in your order uh, upon dispatch of your items now um they, they well funny enough we're moving into the peridot which is what you've created this beautiful ring with yeah. natalie um so pretty to see it in finished jewelry i've only got 30 left so for august it is yeah and it's a poppy flower uh -huh. um so although it is for august you know you could get them for remembrance day yes. as well if that's something that you wanted i think th i think they'd make lovely cufflinks to be honest yeah very nice um, or even maybe like a little uh, like lapel kind of pin, pin. or something like um wow um, um what a lovely them. idea yeah if you need cufflinks and you need it to be a good price don't you good job we've got that covered 12 pounds and 99 pence only Honestly, again I am so delighted pretty with the price. like i think it, it's lovely that you know i think people can they're affordable yes they are and they're and they're precious metal as well um again you can see if i just tilt this one over there's the jump ring uh, or the loop at the back rather that you, means that you can incorporate them into multiple different mediums not wire not just wire it nope. you can macrame with these stretchy bracelets you can put them into um sea beading even amazing 12.99 and that's a natural peridot that you can see there in the center it's a lovely color um, i love peridot as well lucy lorna jenny hello to you uh Natalie, I can see you there. <laughs> Sheila, Allison, Maker, Eileen, Sharon, lots of you getting involved. Well done to those of you that have shopped ahead. Somebody's asked me, can I make earrings for them using it? So I was like, I'm going to have to get some when I'm on the show. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, but people have been really lovely. They've messaged in and they've, um, you know, they've told me what they've they've made with them. And That's as I say, nice. people have put them in like high goos and yeah. set them into like donuts Lovely they're idea. gorgeous um which one next sorry the white opal oh no i picked this one up earlier yeah lovely in a high goo this is your cosmos flower um ah. and I, I love cosmos we have cosmos in our garden my um father-in-law grows them for us and well we get to we get to plant them and take all the credit cosmos. and the glory <laughs> i couldn't think i can't think what a cosmos flower looks like. like well they look like that <laughs> they're like really big and bright and colorful um we tend to get kind of pinkishy ones pink yeah. and white colors um but they're lovely i, I really love them um, wow and as i say you know that to me that reminds me of my father-in-law but oh. that's not his birthday it's not his birthstone but that flower kind of oh, represents that to me sorry i've just done a little bit of a google there aren't they pretty ah i had to do a little google then have you so got, got like little frilly kind of corners to the petals um very lovely, lovely amazing 12.99 well done i might have to get some cosmos flower seeds are they easy to grow um, they need, they my need father in law does them i just take uh, <laughs> just take them once they've started to flower yeah they need to be for me what to you look need after to do them. with them then you need to deadhead them so the more you cut them the more, the more they, they flower grow. okay yeah. right now i can do that which one next the opal sorry sky blue topaz rather this one's pretty i was looking at this earlier on Oh, that's gorgeous. So sky blue topaz. So, this so November. Is, yeah. Chrysanthemum. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> chrysanthemum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're very structural flowers, aren't they? Chrysanthemum. So yeah. it's perfectly depicted. Look at that detailing. Again, if I turn it like so. So that's the one I've used on the chain mail bracelet. I've done like a little um, Byzantine or Byzantine. I can never quite pronounce it. A little weave. Oh, very and I've nice. Just, just hung them off. They're That's just gorgeous. So shiny. Um, I was doing like a little reel, and I literally just panned my camera, my phone across it, and just the sparkle of yeah. it was just. 
Oh, yes. Well, they're the they ultimate. They do film them quite as well as the team here, but... <laughs> uh, they are the ultimate for brilliance and sparkle, for sure. And I know chrysanthemums um, have got lots of meaning behind them, too. Off the top of my head, I can't remember it, but I know they do, because they're quite frequently uh, included in things like tattoos, aren't they, chrysanthemums? Yeah, well, the Victorians used to uh, assign kind of meanings behind flowers. So if you would gift certain flowers or you would gift certain colours it would mean different things so yeah. you know you could send something which meant like platonic love or friendship or yeah. whatever ah lovely um on to your amethyst now this collection was launched back in september technically today you're actually getting a better deal today on this next one because it's also february oh yay so if you use feb 20 Oh, I didn't with use this that piece. In my basket. <laughs> oh, did you not? When you phone up. I'm gonna have yeah. <laughs> So because you'll get twenty percent off. There are forty left. Forty of you are gonna get or less if you multi buy are gonna get it at the lower price than the original launch. So Feb twenty is the discount code to use, everyone. It's Zambian amethyst, of course. It's chocolate box purple. Oh, <laughs> look at that colour. That's amazing. It is lovely. Amazing. So um, this is for February, obviously. So this yeah. month, um, what flower is that? It's a little violet. Ah. Um, oh, do you know what? My Willow's best friend is called Violet. I need to get well, one of these. Um, for this price, with that discount. With that discount. So that's an additional, what is it, at £2.40. That'll cover your postage almost. Wouldn't it just? It? Is it two forty? About that. Two fifty. Two f off that price tag. So it's taking it under £10, if my maths is right, that is. Um, I'm hitting it a little bit more so you can see it here. So I've just done a little bracelet on this one and um, used more amethyst for... It, it was hard to find amethyst in that colour because yeah. it was so lovely out yeah. of the beads that I had in my stash. Well, it's a very bright, rich, like I say, textbook, isn't it? It's textbook amethyst. Yeah. Loads of you getting involved on this one. Uh, Utilising, of course, Feb 20, that discount code. Thank so make you. sure you are checking them out. £12.99, but it's not, is it? So what, hang on, it's what? £2.60 off that price tag. So That's good, isn't it? Today, just over, just over ten pounds. Sorry, my maths was rubbish. Um, just over ten, ten pounds, ten forty for this beautiful detail. How amazing is that? Um, loving it. I think it's going to sell out as well. Now I've got two more to bring you. Emerald, and then we're going to finish with the sapphire. Now these are limited. There's less than thirty of them left. The emerald again. I I I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Brazilian emerald, lovely flower as well. So this is my mum's and my sister's, so I've had to multi-buy these a Oops. few times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're really, really lovely. It's a little hawthorn flower. Um, the emerald's just beautiful in it. It's such a, such a perfect green, I think. Ah, oh, amazing. So month of May? Yeah. Month of May, look at the green reflecting on the sterling silver unbelievable a little hawthorn did you say yeah so hawthorn what i love flower. about this one particularly is the the way the petals kind of frame it almost yeah. like a little halo so it does give that um oh, that's pretty it's like a satellite effect really the way it catches the 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 color of the gemstone beautiful and again hawthorn flowers are very pretty aren't they you see them in hedgerows and yeah. things um, really lovely i love how you've got that detailing how they almost widen at the end of the petal um within this design amazing look at the quality of your brazilian emerald um 12.99 for brazilian emerald of this quality and it is all about that incredible vivacity this one i would have absolutely expected it to be a higher price tag yeah because look at the quality of the emerald now the finale the last one um, is yes. um for you september babies i'm a september baby so this one's for you then Burmese blue sapphire uh, and the flower is morning glory oh <laughs> so I've included that in the pendant um, and this one could be your something blue as well for a wedding that's true yes um, so 
they I just think they're very very pretty oh look at that and absolutely of course beautiful. I've added extra sapphire in there from JM of course um, <laughs> um, so yeah I think they're, they're just I love them. I really hope you do too. Fine. Uh, I've got to Google to what they look like now. I'm not, as you can tell, I am not, I'm not, um, be careful what you search for. I, I will make sure I mention the word flower. Um, so yes. Um, amazing. Here we go. Oh, oh, they're stunning. They look like a, like little trumpet. But, but are, they, are they petunias? They look a little bit like those. Or are they petunias? How beautiful! <laughs> they look very similar. Oh, yeah, little trumpets. And yeah, I think I wanted to, when I draw them that I struggled to kind of get the angle of it because obviously it, it needed to sit so you could see the yeah. full front of the petal. So I think, like I say, if you've got that top image there, that probably shows it a little bit yeah. better. Yeah, well, they fan, don't they? They yeah. fan like almost like Cinderella's dress. Yeah. Amazing. Very, very beautiful. Natalie, um, I mean, Congratulations, it's a lovely collection, Thank it really is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again to the team for, for letting me do it and letting me make so many because I thought, well, if you you can't not have 12. <laughs> no, well, exactly. Yeah, that, so, that, well, it's a fantastic thing because we so do much. get more. Um, now we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. This is natural Burmese blue sapphire uh, that glows. But we're going again. Do you know one of the things I absolutely love that you suggested, Natalie, is actually having, you know, you could have all your family's uh, birthstones at these kind of prices. They're much more affordable, yeah. aren't they? But also I really like the idea of, you know, say the month you met, the month you, um, that, you, that, that you went on your first date or child or marriage, all those things. I think it's, they can represent anything that's meaningful to you. Um, so when, when we launched them, it was quite a sad show to be honest i was um i launched the mazina and we had just so many lovely comments people messaging in about um people they'd lost and yeah. their family anniversaries and i say it was quite sad but yeah it was so lovely that people would be mm. so kind enough to to want to commemorate a loved one using the collection yeah um but you know i had others messaging in saying i want one for for my three children yeah, and i'm gonna absolutely. have one for each of them so um, you can you can do that adapt it ha as you yeah. oh well, you interpret it I suppose. Um, hello to you is that Tracy in power? Hello to you Tracy. Um, bought at the launch uh, for four generations of women in our family and just had to get myself another to make a ring. Absolutely stunning, Natalie. That's lovely, That's lovely isn't it? Four generations of women. Yeah, I just and it's a it's like a secret meaning yeah. to you, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hello to you Nora in Tyne and Ware saying thank. Thank you, Nat. You always work with the not with knowledge. Uh, not everyone has an understanding of jewelry. Of, of jewelry speak, we appreciate it. Oh, thank you. That's Bless a you. lovely, lovely comment. Thank you so much. Oh, there's lots. There is lots going through. Uh, Miss Miss Janet in East Sussex saying hi, gorgeous girls, and Team JM. I was lucky enough to get several of the pieces from this collection, and they are beautiful and lovely quality. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, can, I totally concur with you there. Um, a message coming through from Charlie in North York. Hello, Charlie. Say morning, girlies. Hello to you, lovely. Uh, love your collection, Nat. Um, your demos are so clear. I love watching you. Big hugs, uh, she says. Is that Charlie? That's our is Charlie. That Charlie. So, you know, vote, vote for your two contestants yes. in this year's competition because they both work so hard and you're enabling them to make their dream come true. I know it's, I say, it sounds corny, but the fact that you know for me i'm gonna get a bit moach again now but oh, bless you like i make jewelry i love making jewelry i love designing things that people would want to wear i love designing projects that people would like to make themselves but i would never in a million years like jewelry making is new for me i've only been doing it for like three and a bit years so the thought of being at this stage now here in the studio with you lovely lot and having my own collection is just unreal oh, so please you. please vote doesn't matter who you vote for but vote for them make their dream come true as well oh, how sweet of you to say that 
Yes, I know. That's amazing, isn't it's it? Good real. luck to both our contestants as well, Charlie and Carol. Now, well done, everybody. I mean, we've been bombarded with messages, my sweets. We'll have to show you those during the break, and we will do that. Um, coming up after the break now. Oh, speaking of dreams come true, this is a strand of dreams. Um, we are about to step into the wonderful world, the folds of nacre, the silky like luster, the just amazing natural palette of color that just sings when we're talking about ripple pearls. These are launching for the first time um, in a few moments time. We have a quantity However, not a quantity I think that won't sell out we, because I know where they're going to as well. Rip, I mean, look at those. They look like solid gold. They are that lustrous. They look like solid gold. Now, as a deal of the day, you know, you might be thinking, okay, so they've got 200 maybe. No, I don't. Not with Ripple Pearls. I don't think that's ever going to be a quantity that we'll be able to speak of Ripple Pearls. But we do have an amazing 87 and that will reflect on the price points. Um, over the break, Ross has just said, you know what, Al? I'm going to put them on pre-order. There's 87 available. You don't know how many times I've said this. I, could, I couldn't tell you how many times I've said this, but our pearls here at Jewelry Maker genuinely, I think, is one of our greatest strengths, particularly now when the world is going crazy for every single variety of pearl that's out there, in particular, Ripple Pearls. Now, good luck. They're on pre-order. Don't go anywhere. Join Natalie and I after this. Hi, I'm Natalie Patton, and I'm a guest designer on Jewelry Maker TV. I'm gonna be back on the show on Sunday, the 18th of February, with the return of the Gemstone Garden Collection, which I'm really, really excited about. So if you missed it first time round on the launch, please come and join me. Um, the collection features 12 unique, lovely little birth flowers that represent each month, and they are adorned with a matching birthstone. So we've got black diamond, we've got opal, sapphire, ruby emerald they're absolutely gorgeous and they are 925 sterling silver they've also been designed so they're really versatile for you to use with any jewelry making technique so whether you're a metal smith a bead stitcher a macrame maker a wire worker you can use these to create some lovely personal designs as well as this lovely little um plantable wildflower seed card this time round, it's also going to come with a PDF on how to create a lovely adjustable ring. So you can use this to create um, a piece of jewellery that can commemorate a loved one, celebrate a birthday or a special moment or occasion. If that's not enough, we've also got the launch of some really lovely um, carrier charm clasps with gorgeous coloured cord and in the masterclass I'm going to be showing you a variety of different macrame techniques that you can use to make some very lovely jewellery so please come and join me on Sunday the 18th of February on Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker we only charge 1 PMP throughout the day you can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Monday the 19th of February with the most beautiful projects. In the 9am I have these incredible Malachite projects with matching connectors and there's also an amazing pearl one, absolutely stunning. I'm going to be showing you how to make this bubble style pearl necklace and in the masterclass I have the most amazing Larimar earring kit. So all of the findings are sterling silver and there's lots of really interesting earring findings and the Larimar is just beautiful. So I hope you can join me on Monday the 19th at JM. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to jewellery maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the jewellery maker handbook which is filled with 35 different techniques as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome everybody. Such a privilege to be able to bring you these. And 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 the days of us being able to bring you pearls, I mean you must have noticed noticed it. Like pearls were used to uh, would be probably, I don't know, 25, 30% of our auctions maybe in any given day here at Jewelry Maker. And now you see them maybe once in the entire show, if that, if that. But there's pearls and then there's these. Because as with all your gemstones, whether you're talking diamonds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, tanzanites, whether you're talking about jadeite, whichever it is, there's always different deg degrees of quality. We will always strive to bring you the very, very best. I mean, we have succeeded and then some with this opportunity. Now, pearls are the biggest jewelry gemstone trend in the market right now bar none probably you know over the past few years we've seen we called it jade fever didn't we here at jewelry maker we've seen how the west have suddenly woken up to that amazing gemstone and we're learning more we've got this insatiable appetite for this gem but what has by far exceeded that is the global demand for pearls and i guess it was something that I'm sure we mentioned and actually had foresee happening to a certain degree, not quite to the scale that it has done, but you know, in the middle of, of the pandemic, pre the pandemic, certainly just afterwards, we were learning the fact that, oh, hang on a second, you can just walk away from a diamond mine. You can just walk away from an amethyst mine or an aquamarine mine, but something, a gemstone you can't work, walk away from is pearls because they are quite literally harvest. So if you walk away for the period of time that we had to, didn't we, in the middle of uh, the pandemic, basically meant that they lost, in total, I think it was like three or four harvests of pearls. Now, literally just washed to the sea. A shame, isn't it? But it's not a case of then, okay, lockdown's over, get back to it. That harvest, has to be developed, has to be matured, especially when we're talking about pearls of this size. Again, something we've mentioned previously, 
Smaller pearls are much more accessible because a smaller mollusk can produce those. However, something that is reaching or exceeding 10 millimeter size, then they're gonna need to have matured, um, grown, aged effectively, sometimes in excess of two or three years before they could even start that amazing process. But again, lots of news in the pearl world and it's certainly something that is very current i mean literally as we speak right now the hong kong gem fair that is coming in a few weeks time i think it's next month that it actually happens um our team are going across there what is already out there it, in amongst sort of the existing traders that will be going over over there particularly the pearl suppliers they are well aware that they will do their business in one day, possibly even half a day, possibly even an hour. They know for the first time ever this year that the pearl suppliers, it's gonna be turn up, here's my pearls, we'll buy them all, job done. Because the pearl market has never, ever, ever seen the global demand as it is right now. On top of that, if you add to the demand that appetite for pearls, the fact that these are the hottest trend. You know, pearls come in many different varieties, don't they? You can get rounds, you can get your white pearls, you can get um, you can get your salt water, you can get your freshwater pearls. Now, salt water, fresh water doesn't really make much difference. Back in the day it did. You know, salt water pearls absolutely commanded the high price the highest prices. But now we can't get hold of them, can we? Remember, the first, the force, uh, force coming 10 years has been bought out entirely. So you and I don't stand a chance of getting hold of South Sea Pearls, unless of course it's maybe through, uh, no, in fact, no, it's not, we're not gonna get them. We've been told this directly. We can't bring you, that's why Charlie Barron isn't gonna be doing any shows uh, uh, in the next, well, foreseeable. He hasn't got the pearls to offer us. He's, he himself, sixth generation pearl harvester has had to diversify from pearls into your diamonds into your emeralds into your sapphires because he hasn't got the pearls so add to that demand the fact that right now your baroques your fireballs your ripple pearls your naturally colored pearls are the greatest demand of all i found an article and this isn't my words but it's talking about the demand for ripple pearls, which is what you're about to see as your deal of the day. And it says your new favorite, there you go, rock your pearls, Kasumi style. Um, new freshwater ripple pearls coming soon. Now, this was written relatively recently. However, I need to point out it was pre-pearl mania or whatever they're referring to it as. And sorry, it's quite wordy, but it's definitely worthwhile reading. So. And they say, two weeks ago, um, I promised you a small primer on the newest, hottest pearl trends in Hong Kong, ripple pearls. Ripple pearls are also known as Kasumi style, freshwater pearls, which I personally prefer, but the name can be a bit confusing um, as actual Kasumi pearls come from Japan. Anyway, these Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese freshwater pearls, sorry, were uh, once very famous and very, very uh, covetable. They were the only Japanese freshwater pearls on the market and known for their intense metallic luster and array of dazzling natural colors. Unfortunately, Kasumi pearl production ceased in 1980s due to extensive pollution uh, um, of that area. I believe that has been uh, um, replenished. They spent millions of pounds um, actually restoring that location. So I do believe Kasumi pearls are actually back in production. But she, they go on to say, currently there are only three pearl producers working hard to bring back Kasumi, uh, Kasumi pearl production in Japan as we speak. And I wish them all the luck in the world. Their pearls are stunning. So this is like the legacy of Kasumi, which I hope, I hope I'm right in saying that I think the production has started again. However, prices through the roof, through the roof. Back to ripples, they say. Q 2009 and the Chinese pick up a Kasumi pearl torch. Using secret grafting techniques and especially hybridized freshwater pearl, uh, pearl muscle, a combination of, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce those, um, <laughs> a select few freshwater pearl farmers began experimenting with creating a Kasumi style. 
This involved inserting an actual bead nucleus into the gonad of the freshwater uh, pearl mussel, similar to how saltwater pearls are actually nucleated. These pearls quickly picked up the name ripple pearls due to their heavily textured surface. What we need to remember when it comes to ripple pearls, that rippling is, is an abundance of nacre. That abundance of nacre, effectively those folds, is what's bringing you that amazing high luster, high metallic beauty, beauty and amazing colours. Um, here's an interesting photo. Now, these are your classic white pearl, uh, um, ripple pearls, but you can see here, you know, the actual folds. And I was looking at them going, they don't fold that much, do they? They're actually very, very lightly folded. However, they are beautiful. The intensity of the orange is just astonishing. And that's what you can expect from ripple pearls is an amazing intensity of luster and orient. Violet, magenta, flashes of blue shimmer over every bit of surface um, on each and every single one of the pearls. Debuting in Hong Kong jewellery shows in 2009, so not that long ago in actual fact, the initial harvests were priced sky high. The original lot I picked up showed pink and peach body colour and intense gold and aquamarine flashes um, were in the high hundreds into the thousands depending on the size and the surface quality. But let's face it, uh, this pearl necklace is simply stunning. Yeah, and you remember if she bought them at Hong Kong, that's trade. That's not retail. That's not what she's selling them for. Now, take a little look at that and I'll read that sentence again. Let's face it, this pearl necklace is simply stunning. And I'm going to say the colours. This original lot I picked up showing pink, peach body colours, intense gold and aquamarine flashes were in the high hundreds into the thousands. But also let's not forget this. That was pre Pearl Mania. That was pre-COVID. So when the supply was as, is dramatically down, but the price now has skyrocketed. And I know I mentioned this earlier on. Dave Troth, who was in the studio yesterday, but it will be going to Hong Kong. At Tucson recently, he held a necklace. Beautiful. It was amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. South Sea Pearls. $800,000 wholesale. That pearl necklace would retail for millions. Crazy. It's, we have never known pearls do that before. The market has changed beyond all imagination. Let's talk about just quickly the supply, um, the supply of pearls. Because again, it's quite hard to fathom, I suppose, how much of a reduction though, surely, uh, it's it's a colossal reduction. So from the year, if you look across the set across the across the bottom there, from the year two thousand and fourteen, yeah, ten years ago, to twenty twenty one, it's less than halved, even probably more than that. I'm not great with my percentages. The scale of pearl farming has declined dramatically. In a bid to protect the ecological environments, China has reduced the area of pearl cultivation, resulting in a decline in the yield of freshwater pearls from 90, uh, 9, 1,979 tons um, in 2014 to 400 tons in 2001. But again, that's like obviously COVID. It will take them years to recover because you've got to you've got to mature those mollusks before you can even start your production once again. So what does that do in terms of price? Skyrockets it. And then you have a, 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 an influencer. It's not a big deal to us here. It, it, I don't think so here in the UK. We're not as or certainly I'm not. I'm not as social media savvy, but in the East, social media is absolutely huge. One influencer has taken Pearl's stratospheres high. Um, but again, COVID-19, there's an article here talking about the impact due to the pandemic. Many workers couldn't promptly arrive at major Pearl pro uh, processing hubs. Um, only a small number of local employees were able to work uh, normally. During the pa pandemic, 
pandemic, sorry, many workers found jobs in their hometowns, which are understandable, um, and no longer chose to work here, resulting in a sharp decline in the number of workers. This led to a rapid increase um, in wages, uh, which grew from uh, 3,501 per month to 6,000, so again, almost doubled, and hiring workers uh, remained challenging. The entire processing hub was unable to sort and process enough pearls in time to meet market demand, impact in pearl jewellery, wholesale businesses, pearl suppliers, and even pearl companies' uh, direct sales. Every aspect, every angle of pearls, the market has been affected hugely. So it does make sense. Add to that one final thing, jewellery makers, and then I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get into your Ripple Pearl opportunity. The high demand in pearls, and I've touched on this earlier on, with the rise of new live streaming and purchasing agents in China. Have you, you, you must have seen them. How many of those videos where you see people opening the mollusks? Mm -hmm. And often you're like, gosh, that was so planted. But people you're knowledgeable about pearls if i was to show this uh, show my best friend for example one of those videos she wouldn't be able to decipher that wasn't that pearl never existed in that actual mollusk and it's all very much staged but yes there is a sharp incline in that in 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 um those streams um pearl styles have become more fashionable and are loved by the younger generation um they've quickly become a new favorite in jewelry in the jewelry world some young chinese uh, chinese girls have told us that compared to the previous vintage styles pearls are now seen as youthful and fashionable the sales of pearl jewelry from 6 billion in 2021 to 24 billion in 2022 there's just not the, 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 the supply chain to sustain that insatiable appetite. And you might be thinking, why are you talking to me about China, Elle? Why, why, why China? Because if China have an, have an appetite for pearls, it makes it incredibly difficult for us. They're vast, aren't they? As a, as a population, they are vast, almost a third of the world. So if China want this gemstone, it makes it very difficult for the West to get hold of it. And the prices are still climbing. Um, Tucson was just a couple of weeks ago, hence why we've got the Tucson highlights behind us. They are not looking like they're coming down. Um, there's an update here about pills at the AGTA Association, which is like the Oscars, by the way, at the Tucson. Um, it is, it's like, it is. To get into the AGTA is like, is like the red carpet. Um, and they say, pearl update. Prices are still climbing due to Chinese demand and limited production. Now, again, let's go back to the fact that these are also the biggest trend. You get an abundance of nacre, which gives you that beautiful luster, that metallic brightness. I mean, even from here, you can see they literally look like liquid gold. All those colours, the magentas, the aquamarine flashes, the gold that, that article wrote about. Wrote about back in 2009. I have 87 available. They have been on pre-order though. The reason why I've spoken to you about that, it's really important I think we know what's going on in the industry. You know, for us to bring you these still is amazing at any price point. But to be able to bring you these at a price, quite frankly, which was like 2010 deals, is, is it is unfathomable quite frankly i do not know how genuinely i do not know how our team are making these prices possible again lastly our team are going to hong kong dave's going jake's going there'll be quite a few going they could take this deal of the day they've got 87 Stand outside the equivalent of the AGTA in Hong Kong. Ripple pearls, they'd be gone in an hour. And make a huge profit on. But that's not how we do business. We do that with every gemstone parcel that we get. Or harvest of pearls. We don't have a shopping channel. But as long as it's important that you know just how amazing these deals are. And it is irreplaceable. At these prices. I'm not saying we can't replace the pearls. It's irreplaceable at the price. Liquid gold. Can you see those ripples, those beautiful folds? That's what a mate catches the light. 
Look how golden they are. Again, that first article that we wrote, she's like solid gold, flashes of aquamarine blues. This is all totally natural and it is the abundance of nacre that gives it that wonderful colour performance. Are you ready? I'm going to, wow, look at that. Adam, sorry, I'm just looking at your recording. Um, for a deal of the day, this is very limited. You've got to remember, what, this time last year when we didn't quite have, well, there wasn't anywhere near the appetite for pearls. It was still high, don't get me wrong, but it's, 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 we, nobody can quite get their head around just how much the pearl market has changed almost overnight. Yeah, a year, what, a year ago, Ross, do you reckon? We'd have probably still been able to do, what, 200? You remember doing 200 auctions of pearls like this? Yeah, okay. I've got less than half of that available for you today. For what it is, the size, the quality, the color, the fact they are ripple pearls, the fact that literally everyone in the world wants pearls right now. You know, this morning when I was saying, look, I'm buying these, not just because I love pearls, and I genuinely think that this is one of jewelry makers' greatest strengths. How they do it, I generally don't know. I generally do not know. Did they buy them 10 years ago, five years ago? I don't know, possibly. Thank goodness they did though, because if they hadn't done that, we wouldn't be able to do the price that you're about to see. I buy these for my children, knowing that they will not be able to get hold of these, never mind 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, they won't be able to get them today at the price you're about to see. I wish you all the very best of luck. 60 second clock is counting down to open the graphics. The quality is exceptional. Remember the five virtues, everyone. Remember we talk about the size. We talk about the shape. That's all down to the eye of the beholder, which one you prefer. We start talking about the colors. Could they be any more abundant and rich and vibrant, the flashes of colors that you're seeing in this amazing necklace? It's not a necklace, it's a strand but it's crying out to be the most beautiful necklace. Remember, we start talking about nacre, nacre. Nacre is key when it comes to um, pearls. And that is why you're seeing that high orient, that high luster. You have seven seconds, the graphics will appear, and there's 87, that's not enough. I've got so many pearls that I've bought from Jewelry Maker, particularly over the last few years when we have been working with the finest quality, a quality that exceeds, let's be honest, quality that exceeds grades that we've ever seen up until recently. Am I gonna regret those purchases? Most definitely not. Remember a couple of days ago, I had the, I, had, I was sharing with you a conversation I had with a friend of mine that who works um, in Hatton Garden. I used to deal with her in my old job in Hatton Garden. That was one of my jobs, was literally transporting, runnering it. I was a runner, basically. Um, high-end jewelry to another high-end jewelry house. High-end jewelry to another high-end jewelry house. I literally spoke to her, who still works on Hatton Garden, and she was saying, "L, we can't get them for thousands of pounds. We know that we have jewelers who shop with us frequently, not just here in the UK, internationally all around the world. People in Hong Kong, people in San Francisco, people in Australia, all around the world. Look at the sheer quality. Look at this here, liquid gold. Absolutely, that orient, that brightness. But there's only 87. Already though, Marion, Pamela, London, Cheryl, Hazel and London, well done. You're not alone. You've got yours though. Sit back and enjoy. You won't believe the deal that you're about to see. Teresa, London, Marie, Maker, Joanne, Samantha, Patricia, Christine. I'm gonna show you the first price tag. But we all understand, firstly, no reflection of the true value or worth. And we all know that moving forward, we aren't, we cannot purchase them. We, we aren't going to Hong Kong to buy pearls. We won't buy pearls. We can't buy pearls. They'll be, they'll be sold out within the hour. That's the reality. We know that's, they're already saying 
they're taking that supply they've probably sold them already they probably already <laughs> had that conversation they're just g going to hong kong just handing them over handing that it. doing that exchange <laughs> exactly for, for the first time probably ever this year at hong kong they won't our team and the gemporia partnership won't buy a single pearl for the first time probably ever because what i remember of hong kong it was all about pearls pearls you'd get amazing pearls not this year the first price is already irreplaceable. We cannot buy them for what you're about to see. We can't buy them. Outside of four figures, we can't. We saw purple pearls in Tucson wholesale. Not ripple pearls though. Lovely, don't get me wrong that were back in 2020, when I was in Tucson, that were $1,250, yeah? And I remember nudging Dave, thinking, that's a very good price. I thought they were inexpensive then, for wholesale, for pearls of that size. That strand of pearls right now, a week ago, I think it was about a week, wasn't it? A week, two, two weeks? Now 16,000 16, pounds. Wow. We can't buy your ripple pearls. And ripple pearls are arguably more expensive as well. We can't buy this strand for £999. Already confirmed, Jenny, Janet, London getting two, Marion in Middlesex, Pamela in Devon, Samantha in Coventry, London, Hazel in Hampshire, Cheryl in Merseyside, Maker in London. You're not alone. There are so many of you with more in your basket as well. You are about to see the baskets, the web, the phone lines completely light up. And I need to warn you once again, this is irreplaceable, jewelry makers. We can't, if the globe has woken up to the beauty, we knew it anyway. We've always loved pearls, haven't we here? Always. And hopefully we've all made hay while the sun shone and got hold of deals like what's gonna happen in a few moments time. But we are not exempt from the appetite the world has for this pearl. Well done to everybody who has pearls. There is only 87 available, I wish I had more. Those days are so far gone, <laughs> so far gone. And that price is still climbing. Watch the phone lines, watch the web, watch the app light up. 87's not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Look at the golden colours. £299. Plus, remember, you've got your 0% interest split payment. They are totally natural. It's the abundance of nacre that gives it that beautiful golden orientation, that wonderful flash of colour intensity that you don't get in other pearls. But jewellery makers, I'm getting all excited and shouty at £299. We've gone from 999 to 299 and we're still not done. We couldn't buy them at Tucson for less than four figures. There is a mini queue on the phone lines, but that is gonna change. All I will say is jewelry makers, that was, that was 2020. That photo was 2021, sorry. 2021, sorry. Three years ago, but that three years, what has happened in those three years, nobody could have ever foreseen. We're not stopping there. We're going lower than 299. These will sell out. They will sell out. We've got jewellers shopping with us right now. I know which, which jewellers they are. Well done, I don't blame you. 40 people have confirmed already, well done. That means I've got 47 left. This was not your deal of the day price. This is why I kept saying, it never was, neither was 299, which would have been amazing, even if it was, if we did stop there. We couldn't replace it at three figures, at 999. Good luck to every single one of you. At, I can't, it's unbelievable that jewelry maker, little old jewelry maker in the, little, in the middle of Britain 
you know we haven't got the fancy spotlights we haven't got security on well we have got security on the door, actually <laughs> but that's not true but not the same we, we haven't got the, we haven't got place vendome <laughs> and we haven't got hatton garden or knightsbridge all those places it's just little jewelry maker in the center of uh, in the center of uk that are bringing you these amazing luxury high pearls for 199 pounds only it's crazy to think that we're doing that amazing but as you know that's why like i said all around the world shop from us you you save yourself the ticket to the hong kong gem fair save yourself because to be truthful our team are going there and they'll give you live feedback if you follow dave on facebook you'll hear it from him it we're expecting they know it's going to sell out within the day every pearl supplier why? Because of the global insatiable, uh, insatiable appetite for pearls. And not these aren't just any pearls either. These are your beautiful ripple pearls with that abundance of nacre. That's why they look, I mean, this recording is absolutely stunning. Look at the golden colors. Look at those golden colors. And that's because you have that thick nacre, that wonderful orientation. We had 87, your split payment is what? 49 pounds and 75 pence. We've got, uh, like I said, jewelers getting involved. So many of you with it in your basket. Do not wait. Now, Ross is just saying in my ear. Are you sure about this? Sorry, Ross is just saying, when we were given this deal of the day, um, the powers that be upstairs said, for the 87 that we have available, 199 pounds is an absolutely unbelievable deal and it is they're not wrong that's the most amazing it's incredible it's beyond amazing it's incredible but ross i'm repeating what producer ross is saying in my ear he said but he made the point that what this time last year we'd have had 200 he said 87 is not really a big quantity no well normally then that means it's a higher price than ross But Ross, always fighting your corner, by the way, can he take it to a 200 quantity price point? Wayne said, we could do it only if you guarantee selling them out. But can I just say, Ross, in their defense, and I'm not about to influence you on this, you know, I'm all for everybody at home getting an amazing deal. A year ago, these, I would, they would have been 299 pounds. A year ago how we're even lower I don't know do it if you've had the nod there's 22 left okay but that means everybody gets this discount as well this I can't believe I'm saying discount with pearls of this grade <laughs> okay Ross says I will take every single pound off that price tag apparently Wayne said do 189 then the thing is, though, you're saying, oh, we don't have a lot of quantity of these. Well, I think that's a little bit complacent in the sense that you've, you've just been explaining how rare they are, yeah. how sought after they 87 are. 87 is amazing. To have you're right. 87 and to have it at that price is, is unbelievable. It, it really is. It really, you're so right, Natalie. You're so, so, so right. We are complacent here at Jewelry Maker. And, and that's because... Look, 20 odd years ago, I, in the jewellers that I worked at that had Piaget, Rolex, you know, Cartier, those expensive brands, they'd have had one of these if they were lucky. Let me count how many you're getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 ripple pearls. It's amazing. One of those should be 199. Mm. Do you know Honestly. when I first started um, working with Jewelry Maker, my mum said to me, oh, now will you get to work with real pearls? And oh, I said, her. not just real pearls, mum, JM pearls. The best pearls. Because you wouldn't get them, and you shouldn't get them anywhere else no. from here. Because no. you've got the best price, the yeah. best quality, the best information as well. Like, you know, I didn't know much about 
not much about anything to be honest but I definitely didn't know much about pearls Neither until I started we. watching and learning all about Neither them. Neither did we and I think it's something that definitely you know relations that have formed over the years yeah. um, um, <clears throat> and, and the fact our teams do go not just to the trade fairs they don't that's not they're busy do, uh, traders are busy at tra it's hard work yeah. hard hard work but our team travel you know Dave's going to China and he's not staying in a hotel, he's staying with some of our suppliers. Mm -hmm. That's how relations are formed and that's how these deals happened. Now we have 18 left. We do need this to be a guaranteed sellout though, says Ross, if we're gonna take a single penny lower. Can I just point out though, that that's already unbelievable. 999 was unbelievable. I'm not saying it's not a small amount of money, of course it is. However, for what we're looking at right now, this is like the pinnacle in the jewellery world at the moment. Pearls, pearls of natural colour, pearls of size, ripple pearls all the, uh, all the more. What we're just saying is we would be happy stopping here. I'd have been happy stopping let's be, at 299. I'd have been happy stopping at 499. If you'd have said to me today, Ross, L, you know the situation of pearls. Now, a strand like this has to be £999. Okay, it is what it is. We, we, we can't avoid what's happening. So it is what it is. If you want them, they're £999. Today, though, I, this can't, we can't continue with this, though. It's not something that we can sustain moving forward. It's not sustainable. So make the most of deals like this. Make hay while the sun shines, whilst we do have opportunities. That's why I buy them. I have. I can't use the I word. I, I'm. I'm not a financial advisor, but I can see demand, and I can see when a price is far too low, but in a good way. No reflection of the true value. Put this with your 18 karat gold. What, Ross? <laughs> Put this, this is why I say we should have 18 karat gold here at Jewelry Maker because of necklaces like this. We should have 18 karat gold. How much is that per pearl? Six pounds. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, six pounds. Sorry, five pound 38 is ridiculous. It's insulting to be honest. It's actually in <laughs> it is though, because these little guys, if you were to take them, not so little by the way, no. if you were to take, they're Edison ripple pearls as well. Sorry, I'm getting all shouty in Welsh. But if I was to take <laughs> these to Hong Kong in a few weeks time, there's no way on this planet that we would ever be able to pick them up for 149. Unbelievable. You need to get your authenticity card. Definitely. And you need to also look at getting them insured. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, on the back of that, I know people message me about the insurance. I'm so sorry. I've just been so busy this week. I will get back to you. Yes, get them insured, definitely. And make sure it's a reputable jeweler as well that keeps up to speed with the market. You know, I, I, again, I can only talk on per personal, uh, personal experiences. The jewelers that I used to work at had amazing pearls but he didn't really keep his ear close to the ground of what was going on in the market of that, uh, of that gemstone. Now, everything has changed, so, and it does bear. Remember, you get things insured, yes, because of the safety aspect, but it's, it's a replacement value. That, you know, your insurance is how much it would cost you to replace them. You will not be able to replace them here, okay? Because we can't bring the, replace them here. It's gonna be, what they would cost actually at retail elsewhere. So yeah, it's so important. You're right to point that out. Quantity that remains. Look at that split payment, sorry. Seven. <laughs> 37 pounds and 25 pence. Friday night's Chinese night in our house. <laughs> we spent more than that on a Chinese. Oh my goodness me. They're just timeless though, aren't they? Like I think any age of person would, would look beautiful in them. I think they complement, I always say it with pearls, complements every skin tone yeah and do. i think you look at you know the 20s when we had vintage week um yeah. weekend we i've looked at you know them throughout the history throughout like the 50s looking at audrey hepburn wearing them you've got harry styles wearing them now like they are just timeless and in another hundred years 
they're still going to be worn and they're still going to be loved. But I love the fact, though, that the pearls, these are the modern pearl, though. Yeah. They're the modern pearl because they had to literally, they had to, they're hybrid varieties. So there's that biological, uh, amazing story behind them, too. Um, um, hello to you, is that Angela? Hi, Angela. Um, hi, Eleanor. Our local silversmiths, uh, they do pearls with handmade silver class necklaces, start at £3,000. Amazing. And they're not wrong, Ange, are they? They're not wrong in those prices. It's us. We're, we're, that, we're wrong. Yeah, we are. That's right. Adam's just said we're the wrong ones. We are, though, because we're at £149. One shouldn't be that price. No one well amazing for you and that's why we do it and that's why i also took the time to say look we know that we could go to places like tucson we opened a booth in tucson this year for the first time ever um and there we sold at the trade value there we did so all of our jade would have been sold at trade price but to you guys if we were to do that then we wouldn't have a shopping channel so that's why we do business so differently. The final two opportunities. Can I just say, if you if you are Joanne, Kathleen, June, Catherine, Maker, Surrey, Maker, Carol, uh, Yorkshire, Jennifer, Maker, Devon, Jenny in Nottinghamshire, Kent, Catherine, Anne in West Midlands, you need to check out. Um, hello to you, Wendy. Thank you so much, Jewelry Maker, for allowing me to be able to afford these amazing pearls. No one can beat you on price or quality. Thank you, Wendy, and I totally, totally agree. I couldn't, I'm so, have they sold out? Yeah, amazing. I, 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 I that's why I always mention this is our greatest strength. Right now, when, like I said, I'm not saying that's going to be our greatest strength moving forward because we can't avoid the inevitable. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Truly amazing. And you know what? It doesn't just end there. When you get these home, that's when you see them in person and they look a whole lot even more beautiful. Yeah, you're even not going to be disappointed no. opening them, are you? I'd keep them in a little box and every now and again just open them just, up just to, just to please myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and you might not work with them straight away. No. You might, you know, I've got pearls that I've bought from Jewelry Maker. I haven't displayed those very well. Um, I've got pearls that I've bought from Jewelry Maker. Nothing as golden as these, though, I have to say, um, that aren't yet on silk, aren't yet on a clasp. But can I say it one more time? We need to be selling 18 karat gold clasps for opportunities just like that. And then send me it as a project so I get to play with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on, I've put those back on there. Well done. Because ripple pearls, pearls, full stop. One fireball pearl looks very different to another fireball pearl. One Tahitian pearl looks very different to another Tahitian pearl. Might be a, a sort of fluctuation in colors, might be a fluctuation in shape, nacre iridescence all those things one ripple pearl as you've just seen can look very different to another ripple pearl if we go back to that article roscoe at the very beginning when we when that lady was saying uh was talking about the demand for ripple pearls here we go that's it look at the photograph the folds of nacre Ripple pearls, your new favourite. You can have really folded nacre, or you can have just delicate folds. What I'm about to show you is like that photograph on there, the more delicate ripple. And it's all down to personal preference. Regardless, they are the hottest trend. A it's little like... bit more of the classic style. Yeah, it's like silk just being kind of draped that, that yeah. delicate ripple with it i'm showing my age here i hope i've displayed those centrally but i'm showing my age here do you remember the cadbury's flake advert or was it ri ripple it might have been ripple was it cadbury's flake where they used to throw that sheet at silk sheet in the air yeah was it flake yeah and it used to fall down because they were quite seductive, actually, for adverts. But we were a bit braver back then, weren't we? It was the girl in the bath, wasn't it? The girl in the bath, seductively <laughs> eating And then, her. wasn't it not Melanie Sykes with the... Put a flake in that love yeah, with the Pottingtons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you remember, the silk being thrown into the air and literally falling down, 
those beautiful delicate folds that's what this necklace is all about it is a little bit more nod towards the classic pearl but with very gentle ripples oh my goodness me look at the luster that's why i love ripple pearls i think what i often forget is when when you see the pearls here you think you know you go on about how different an individual they all are but they're so perfectly color matched yeah. you know someone must have spent hours matching the five five you know the five virtue matching yeah. matching the size or oh, this is graduated but so it's, perfectly it all matched. just comes on a strand and we yeah, go yeah. oh it just naturally just happens to all look yeah. like that no. you're right you're so right in saying that and if you think about stanley you and i know this is a different gemstone but stanley you was talking about the fact that there's nothing more uh, there's one thing more expensive than a jade bangle and that's a matched strand yeah because it takes the time to actually like you said to match them and again actually uh, um natalie that we talk about the five virtues actually there's seven in according to the gia one of them is matching right and that only really applies to necklaces or strands like this look how perfect they are but they've got the subtlest of ripple oh my goodness me these are amazing look at that remember it's the abundance of nacre that forms the ripple but that abundance of nacre is what gives you that mirror-like orient are you ready how many do we have ross is there really there's only 39 i'm not gonna lie i was gonna want to join you on this one they're absolutely stunning aren't they that that is if we were to go to any high-end jewelers yeah you know the ones you have to buzz in yeah <laughs> those are the kind of pearls that i would expect to be there the ones that won't open the door to yeah. me <laughs> or me are you ready for this a beautiful graduation adam i you could you've literally hypnotized me with this recording three two one i could stare at that recording all day i could look at them though they're sheer perfection and i'm yeah. always really cautious using the term perfect pearl because they're organic they're organic gemstones that we should expect there to be the odd anomaly but actually we're embracing those anomalies otherwise we wouldn't love fireball pearls we wouldn't love baroque pearls we wouldn't love keshis and beewas and we certainly wouldn't be loving the ripple pearls it's about ripple pearls now these are perfect perfect round ripple pearls we have 37 available opportunities i actually don't know what you're taking these to today ross but i i know it'll be irreplaceable I know that in a couple of weeks when I'll I think it's a couple of weeks, I think it's the end of March actually, so maybe a bit longer. When they go to Hong Kong, what? First. Okay, time is ticking, Ross says let's not mess around. <laughs> we can't buy them for that. We'd struggle to buy them at 999. Do you want to see another price that you're not paying today, says Ross. I like it. You sound a little He's bit... He's teasing, isn't he? He is. He sounds a little bit cocky, <laughs> doesn't he? Not paying. Oh. Oh, can I put these up? At the... There's only 39. I think that just makes them all the more special. If I was one of those 39 people, I'd be yeah. like, there's only 38 other people who've got these. <laughs> oh, look at them. They They're beautiful stunning. on you. Look how bright they are. That is those classic pearls, aren't they? And I know they're described as ripple, but for me, they're more like the classic perfect round pearl. And they've got, the beauty of it is you've got that abundance of nacre. That's why they're as bright as they are. 39 available, I wanna join you on these. They're absolutely gorgeous. As beautiful as you are, you do look a whole lot more classier. <laughs> you look even more beautiful now wearing them. Thank you. <laughs> That's what the team say when I put pearls up. <laughs> Where's Elgar? They're stunning. One... 
<laughs> one, four, nine. Not stopping. Oh. All chance and hope of me getting these as well. Ross is just about to fly out the window, isn't it? That's incredible. What I love is how they make you look extremely expensive and yet they're not extremely expensive. They should be, they're not. No, 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 no. Genuinely, uh, genuinely something like this, like, if you had a zero to the end of it, that would still be a great price. Yeah. Still be a great price. Just remember, cast your mind back to those pills that we saw in 2021 at wholesale yeah. at 1,200 and something. And that was an amazing price. Now to work out your Judas price, it's times by four plus VAT. That's what we always used to do. Is it? Times four plus VAT. So if ever I saw a piece of jewelry that I wanted in the jewelers, which we could save for, it was divided by four plus VAT. Wow. That was the price. You know, so actually you're talking what this would have been, what do you reckon, closer to 5,000 pounds. Yeah. Um, rightly so <laughs> oh my goodness me 129 is no reflection of the true value or worth my goodness margaret samantha christine devon pamela leslie catherine janice london alan uh, sally candy uh, candy um eleanor and dorset that's not me sadly um heather <laughs> well done maker swansea ian um hello to you county antrim tracy cheshire christine london you can do it ian you can do it sarah uh, samantha you can do it sarah in buckinghamshire you can do it how many do we have left 14 okay okay 14 there is still time look at the split payment i was gonna say look at that split payment i can get both <laughs> for less than 70 pounds is that right is my maths right or there or thereabouts with split pay that's right isn't it it's about 70 pounds split payment to get both oh my goodness me we're in the single figures well done everybody tracy in west midlands ian you've done it margaret you've done it cheshire you've done it. these will sell out they are nothing short of perfection absolute perfection and again i have to, sorry to start uh, you know harping on about this but i buy pills here at jewelry maker it's a little little shopping tv channel that just happens to produce an offer their amazing audience some of the finest pills available in the market at hands down the best prices hands down you know genuinely you're more run of the mill you know the affordable pills we used to do all the time they wouldn't be 129 now. No. They wouldn't be 129, let alone of this grade. Denise, congratulations to you. I've got four of them left. You can still do it. So if you've been watching and you're as hypnotized by um, these pearls um, and the ones previously, I think they've sold out, so wish list it. Um, but don't wait. Do not wait. There's just three of them left within the vault. Make Paul wants two. You best get a move on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they're just sat in the baskets. They're not promised you, by the way. They're not promised you. They're just literally, you're showing interest, but not necessarily committing. We are not going a single penny lower. That's already ridiculous at 129. Far lower than I was expecting Ross to be taking these today. So well done, everybody. Sorry you've done it. Congratulations. Janet's on the phone line. So I'm hoping, <laughs> Janet, you managed to get hold of one of those if you're speaking to our amazing team um look at that beautiful and it's all down to you know which of the five virtues um that you lean towards if you want the round pearls and i would definitely say these yeah. if you want the more you know modern organic fireball baroque pearls and obviously the deal of the day if you want the natural colors the deal of the day if you like the classic pure white amazing sorry's just multi-bought as well congratulations now remember jewelry makers um the jewelers rolls that i showed you earlier on this morning we've got four different colors i'll show you the black just because it'll be easiest to see maybe it won't actually they're it's such lovely colors so lovely colors aren't they um so the jewelers roll very professional these are available on pre-order as we speak and they come in the four colours. So you have pouch, pouch. You've got these to loop over necklaces, bracelets, whichever it might be. It's like a suede fabric. 
Um, you've got this here. Normally they're quite hard, so I like the fact these are a bit more flexible. You've got this fold here for you to actually add uh, your earrings, your stud earrings. Again, further loops. So if you can imagine you've got maybe a necklace or chain, just clip it onto there. Yeah, and it can drape it down. You could tuck it in that direction as well. It just stops everything from tangling up and literally just roll up. Now, these are coming up, Ross, in the next hour, did you say? Um, in the next hour, and you just literally roll it through just like that. There you go. Job done. Those are coming up in the next hour. They're available on pre-order right now. Now, amazing. Um, you know, the Pearl Market, the Pearl Market under that umbrella, if you like, comes Mother of Pearl. We le learned about the clamshell. I was talking to my husband about it yesterday, the giant clam. He was like, yes, now you mention it. I have never seen one. You only see the giant clam in storybooks and in The Little Mermaid. It's the one that she, she, you know, she literally starts singing or should start singing in, but she's missed it and she's a concert. That's the giant clam. So, oh my goodness me. But under that umbrella, also comes Mother of Pearl. The price of Mother of Pearl has gone up too. These are amazing. Now I've got two auctions to bring you. When it comes to Mother of Pearl, you are talking about iridescence. I've got a box clasp and I've got some beautiful stud earrings as well. If you wanted to put any of your ripple pearls on these, oh. the coloured or the white, they'd look amazing. They would look absolutely amazing. And they go hand in hand. That's why we're kind of squeezing them into this hour as well. Which would you like me to start with then, Roscoe? The earrings. Am I allowed to put these in? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to I'm put them in? I'm going to put them in. Um, uh, because they look so amazing in the ear. Don't worry, everyone, these are studio samples, but you know, just literally a bit of your a hypo cement glue. That's all. How am I holding that right? Um, I'm holding two. Um, that's all you need to do to actually secure. Now, there you go. The pearl. Look how amazing these are. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're lovely. So on the bottom, you've got this, the peg that you would secure into your pearl. But look at this iridescence of the mother of pearl. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? And for me, with your high-end pearls, yeah. or whatever gemstone you choose, I would feel far safer with this type of earring because they are a butterfly back. So you've got that safety as opposed to just being a loop, if you see where I'm coming mm. from personal choice look how beautiful they are you could cut that bottom bit away use it for something else and just wear these as earrings stud earrings as they are all sterling silver amazing quality look at that iridescence um natural mother of pearl the popularity of Mo mother of pearl has always been high um you know you've got big watch brands you've got big jewelry brands using it van cleef and arpels use it in their um alhambra collection rolex use it in their watch dials um pretty much every single watch company that's expensive uses mother of pearl um and you can see why i actually understand why it's stunning but again it's all about that lovely play of light that just seems to travel across the surface um, at £49.99, it's amazing. How many do we have? 80 available opportunities, I wonder. Hang on. And is that white topaz that they're surrounded they by? They are. I've got a halo of topaz there. Now, hang on. See if I can. I'll do my best, anyway, to show you. Now, I know there's going to be cord showing on this, but you'll get, you'll get the idea. How about if I do that that way? How beautiful are they going to be? Stunning. And that's one of your pearls from what did we count? 27? Yeah, 26. Something like that? 28? What do you think? Four figures? Well, we've just heard from Ange. You said that pearls with a silver clasp in her local jewellers are £3,000. That's not unrealistic. 
what on earth is that? 19 pounds and 99 pence. So I look nervous like, what on earth? What are you doing? I get multiples of these. Lovely. As you say, even if you didn't have the little peg bail on yeah. them and you just had them as just studs. Just wore them as studs. They'd be lovely too. Look at those. I, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but pound. so beautiful. <laughs> I want, the, you know, sometimes when you're making jewellery, you know, there's, you've got your classic studs with your butterfly backs. You've got your shepherd hooks, haven't you? Yeah. Um, you're kind of run of the mill. No disrespect to them. They absolutely serve their purpose. But you know, when you're looking for something extra special on the back of your deal of the day today, yeah. when you're looking for that amazing earring that will support the amazing gemstone, but also give you peace of mind as well and being able to wear them. That's when I'd be leaning, leaning towards these. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, wait a minute though. Hold up, because I'm not done. See if I can prop that up like that. Wait a minute. Come on, play ball, stay there. Oh, oh. Come on, I'll put you sideways, there you go. Very Jackie O or Audrey Hepburn, as I said before, very yeah. classic. Funny you should say that, actually. We uh, had a photograph of her, didn't we, recently? Very Jackie O, there she is, classic pearls. But it's not just Jackie O, I mean, that's an old photograph, isn't it? We could bring it up to the modern times, you know? Crosses generations, there's that same necklace being worn by the Princess of Wales. And of course, oh, sad day. Um, Audrey Hepburn, Charlotte Johansson. I think they're imitation pearls, you know, hers. Scarlet didn't look quite as no. legit. No. They? Sarah Jessica Parker, Rihanna, Rihanna, Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Uh, Katy Perry. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. <laughs> I, think she's, I think she's the most beautiful woman on the planet, I do. I think she's stunningly beautiful. She's the most beautiful Natalie you know. <laughs> oh, no. Definitely, definitely not. Um, you've got the Pharrell, Harry Styles, ASAP Rocky. There you go. <laughs> I definitely needed you're so, help. You're so down with the kids. I'm so not. I'm being filtered this information. I know Asha. Of course. <laughs> it's got a little bag in amongst his pearls. Look at him. You've got Timothy Chamelet. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got... Lewis Hamilton, is it? Lewis Hamilton, thank you. Why am I so <laughs> blank at the moment? I like this game. It's like, guess who? Uh, yeah. Jack Relish. There you go, Jack Grealish. He's a bit sozzled there. A little bit sozzled. Um, they're everywhere at the moment, aren't they? So this is the thing, the, the insatiable global appetite. It's not a, a generation. No. It's every generation. And gender as well. Yeah, you know, absolutely. We've seen loads of males, loads of females wearing that. Absolutely. Loving that. Uh, make sure everyone. you're adding this to your order, jewellery makers, and do not go anywhere. We've still got so much to bring you, including the jewellery rolls. Um, so you can shop ahead on these. They're going to an amazing jewellery maker price tag. So you can choose your favourite colours. Don't forget as well, we've got an amazing masterclass with our lovely Natalie coming your way. Um, all about the Carabina class. So um, with your lovely cords so don't go anywhere we'll be back after this hi it's debbie kershaw i'm back with you on monday the 19th of february with the most beautiful projects in the 9 a.m i have these incredible malachite projects with matching connectors and there's also an amazing pearl one absolutely stunning I'm going to be showing you how to make this bubble style pearl necklace and in the masterclass I have the most 
amazing Larimar earring kit. So all of the findings are sterling silver and there's lots of really interesting earring findings and the Larimar is just beautiful. So I hope you can join me on Monday the 19th at JM. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewellerymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewellery Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewellery Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special then why not treat them to a jewelry maker gift card simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards you can decide between posting the card or delivery by email then decide the value you would like to send whether it's for a birthday a special occasion or just a way to say thank you the jewelry maker gift card is the perfect answer Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Told you it was going to be a lovely Sunday. Massive congratulations to everybody that got hold of those pearls. They're absolutely insane. They really are insane. Insane 
you'll love them. You will absolutely love them. So I'm really, really pleased for you. Um, I can't wait to hear. In fact, do get in touch when they actually arrive on your doorstep because the reaction is going to be oh, incredible. Now, there's still so much more to bring you. Can I just take a moment to show you these on this little display? Because I don't know what the quantity is. If we had quantity, I don't know what how, Ross will have to tell me, but those three millimeter type A faceted jadeites are so beautiful. You know, we talk about like the Capri uh, Deb's Capriccio bracelet. Oh, is there 30? How amazing would that be in a Capriccio bracelet? They were the first thing I'd be lying to this morning. And yeah, I was it like, was, oh, yeah. Ooh, what are they? They're so <laughs> lovely, aren't they? A, J a type A jadeite Capriccio bracelet or a tassel or something like that. Yeah. Ha they're insane. And that's a meter strand. Um, what you see next to it, was launched by Dave himself, and they are the shades of grey type A jadeite. Oh, imagine those two together. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. So those are still to come, jewellery makers. But right now, um, it's all about the jewellery rolls. And again, I can only ever talk about my personal experiences, and um, so most of our regulars know that I worked, I started my uh, jewellery career at the age of 20 and 25 years ago um don't bless you adam um 25 years ago in a high-end jewelers and i'll be honest i was completely out of my depth completely out. i was it wasn't a comfortable environment at all because it was very luxurious the clientele were extremely wealthy so i don't find those environments nice places to be personally not saying that if you're wealthy it's not, you know you're not lovely because yeah. they were lovely but it was quite an intimidating environment is what i mean to say um anyway but they used to sell all the jewelry brands of course what lots of watches um but they also used to at the very back of the store um or shop rather where you know you'd have things like your, your the till if it, you'd have all the all the jewellery down here and it was a red carpet literally and it had lovely wow. spotlights everywhere you'd walk past the Cartier area and then you'd have the Rolex area it was a lovely it was like a long shop but at the very end was where the till was and behind the till were your jewellery boxes now even then 25 years ago a jewellery box was not cheap no really expensive it used to surprise me how expensive they were um, and actually, they're still expensive now. And we used to sell, the reason why I'm telling you this, we used to sell jewellery rolls because they're fantastic if you are going, if you're going travelling, if you're going on holiday, or I mentioned earlier on this morning, um, as of tomorrow, I've got to check into a hotel, myself and the family, for a few days while we have some building work done on our house. So I don't particularly want to leave certain pieces of jewellery there. Just for safekeeping, I'd rather take them with me. So rather than actually have to carry a box, a jewellery box, this would be much more practical. And also they're very lightweight. So if you are thinking about travel, then these would be perfect for that. Do you want to see how they work? So literally they just fold over. You've got, yeah. You've got, you undo like so, like so. And they roll out. See, they'd be perfect for me just coming down to the studio carrying with, your jewelry yeah yeah for your artisanal like, markets and things like that as well yeah when you're going from place to place what i tend to find especially if you've got things like a market stall or yeah you know you go into a craft fair or something transporting them you yeah. need to look after your jewelry and don't I you tend, like today bring in stuff down i've put them in individual bags so the chains didn't tangle with each other and yeah. it's just yeah that's it's, it's a lot more professional and a lot more practical practical yeah. yeah as well so let me just explain what each of these do because you have a little pouch just here these now if you imagine you've got bracelets or chains yeah. so you undo the popper you loop your chain in there you clip it back up and you tuck the chain or the That's bracelet clever. in there so it's not rust rustling around um so that again is necklaces or bracelets this part here is fairly self-explanatory isn't it this is for your earrings yeah, yeah? and it literally folds back down this part here comes all the way unclipped if you wish you can put rings on there oh yeah God, you so, can put so much jewelry so much jewelry yeah. so you can put rings on there too i'll show you with mine 
like so. Yeah, so you can put rings on there. You can put further chains on there if you wanted to. Um, and like I said, they clip. So again, they're not gonna roll around. Um, and then you've got another pocket just here if you did choose to use the ch it for chains and bracelets. Then quite literally, you roll it up. And this wraps around and you loop it through. It's so clever. Like I said, if you go anywhere, you might go to your caravan, you might go on holiday, you might do your artisanal markets, whichever it might be, it's looking after your jewellery. Rather than, and I'm definitely guilty of this, just putting it in a little makeup bag. And then when you get to your destination, it's all like bunched together. Did you spend I'm, most of your time just unpicking everything far yeah, from each other. I'm so guilty of doing that and it's not, it's not great. But also, like for me, I've got, as you'd have quite imagine, quite a collection a of jewellery. A lot of jewellery, yeah. And I'll make something and I'll not necessarily, you know, want to gift it or whatever, I'll keep it. And I've got quite an awful lot. And it, it honestly, I'm not looking after it. It just sits on top of my dresser. Mm -hmm. And I've got jewellery boxes and lids of jewellery boxes. And then I'll just keep things in a lid. Um, if I, you know, how many of them could you fit in your drawer as well? So oh, I could have it all laid out in one drawer and I'll be like, right, okay, that's the one where I've put all my necklaces in. That's the one where I've put all my rings in. Well, Natalie, you could colour grade them, Ooh, couldn't you? Yeah. You could say, <laughs> you could have one per necklace, one bracelet, one rings, one yeah. earrings, whatever it might be. You might say, you might have an abundance of certain gemstones, for example. I'll put all the amethyst in the purple. All the amethyst in the purple. That. You might go for your pink stones in this one, yeah. diamonds, whatever it might be. That, that's the thing. And you're right. That's a really good point. They pack down. They're still looking after your jewellery, even yeah. if they do squash a little bit, because you wouldn't have that flexibility with a jewellery box. No. And they can just go in your drawer. And also, you... because I'll have like lids open, when I slide the drawer out, it always catches infuriating they'd be, they'd be well looked after in there on the on the flip side you might not have that much jewelry and you don't want to buy a jewelry box because they take up space yeah. so whereas these think one of those jewelry rolls i can literally put it in my in, in, in my top drawer yeah couldn't i that could go on top of my socks and it's safe it's safe it's not a big jewellery box or no, a small jewellery box but sometimes i think if i had to leave the house in like five seconds how would i grab the important things obviously child included in that yes um, but something like that off you go you've Do you know there, uh, um you're right and, and obviously in circumst certain circumstances you know it should be about getting everybody out safe absolutely but there are things that if you could en route that you would perhaps reach for isn't there yeah like jewelry that that is particularly sentimental, sentimental. to us so if yeah. you can then yeah i agree and that is actually reachable isn't it yeah. very very reachable um anyway but jewelry rolls are actually pretty expensive and i mentioned to ross in the break because i was like ross have you seen the price of jewelry rolls elsewhere that's why 25 years ago genuinely they're expensive and these work, work for watches as well you can put watches in them too so Ross is like, I've just got on one jeweler's out. I've just got on one. It's called Panama. 240. Yes, they are expensive. You've not even got half as much of the kind of storage. No, it's mostly zippy things, bits, though, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Mostly zippy bits. They're not really great for chains. So I've got one and it is just the zippy bits. And if I'm if I'm traveling then I'll be like right well if I'm only gonna need one necklace one bracelet so I'll put them in the individual zippy parts but are they still get tangled up yeah they do they do that's that's a lot of money really isn't it it, 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 it is a lot of money for, for what is effectively something that's gonna store your jewelry but it's important that you store your jewelry absolutely now um, they're all on pre-order you can guarantee your color all going to the same price I'm going to say start the black because I think that's going to be the one that sells out the fastest. I think so. So the other two, the other three rather, are available. So again, I've shown you because you get one strap. So there's just this one strap. You wrap it round, and then you fold it through. It's that simple. It's that simple. Very smart as well, isn't it? 
first price crash 34 pounds and 99 pence it's vel it's like a um our graphics say velvet they're not really velvet they're more of a um more of a suede i would say more of a suede fabric it looks like a little clutch purse it does well. doesn't it very smart you could take that you could have had that at your meal last night no one would have been any of the wise no, she's just carrying her jewelry clutch. around with her yeah absolutely <laughs> you could um, put your credit cards in there as well though. yeah hey why not <laughs> but you're right if you do if you do your artisanal markets etc um then these are going to be very practical for them so again you can put i mean i've i don't know how much jewelry i've got to hand but I can put <clears throat> there we go let's put my engagement ring and eternity ring on there there you go so they're nice and safe they're not going to scratch one another even especially when they're clipped into place they're separated as well so I can do that um let me see let me see let me see let me see um I could get let's get this beautiful pearl necklace that I think was created by the lovely mark um so again clip it into place like so there you go so i know that's not going to fall out slide it in like so there you go perfect for chains especially i'll reach for a yeah. chain if i could um stud earrings you could put all your stud earrings and dangle earrings actually you could put in there you get the idea and then you just literally you roll it all so up so much in there you could you could fit masses in here and it's all in there for safekeeping. 19 pounds and 99 pence. And then when you get to your destination, wherever that might be, right, I'm gonna wear this piece of jewelry. There it is, nice and safe, hasn't scratched, hasn't got itself all tangled up. Um, I've got a hundred of each of these, everybody, but they will absolutely fly. Can I also put this one out there? Great gifts, great, oh, yeah. great, great gifts. Also, you know, before you were saying when we were talking about the pearls, you might have these and you might not want to make anything with them just yet. Keeping them in there is going to give them the ability to, to breathe. Yeah, pearls don't like being in plastic. But yeah, you, they're not going to get tarnished nope. or anything like that. So you could keep it's things. That findings. Gonna, yeah. Oh, ooh, you yeah. could put your findings in there, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you're, re you're ready and waiting now. Um, OK, are you ready for your price tag? So there's the ones, look if I move out the way, there's for your, your earrings. Again, you've got your clips at the top here, you've got a pouch there, top and bottom, and then you've got these very clever um, clip parts which you can put your further chains, bracelets, but also rings on there as well. 9.99, wow, so giftable. These are so, so, so giftable as well. But make sure you get yourself some because they're very practical. <laughs> Again, you might be thinking, okay, Elle, I don't, I don't travel that much. Um, but you're right, it's responsible to look after your jewellery. It could be your version of a jewellery box, couldn't it? Um, because some jewellery boxes are quite big. They might, you might not have the space for them. I've got a lovely one, but it takes up pretty much the whole of my dressing table. Yeah. It's about this wide and it's got a few drawers in it and like the sides open up. It's lovely, but I could get an awful lot more probably in just one of those probably <laughs> probably because it's the actual what is it wood yeah well yeah, yeah it, well inside of it is it's got like a leather kind of cover yeah. into it so yeah that, but it's I mean, still very itself. much box shaped it's big and probably heavy yeah now we're at 9.99 we've got people multi-buying on this do shop ahead across the different colors we're not even going to stop there. Look, you've got Mother's Day in a couple of weeks. I think this would be a great Mother's Day gift. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd certainly be grateful for something like this. Certainly. And at these prices, you could probably even make a little piece of jewellery to go in there. Or well, even, I know it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit out there, but Easter. Mm. I've got three nieces and they get an absolute abundance of chocolate come Easter. Yeah. And I always think... I always make them something like a little bracelet or something instead. I'll probably usually get them an Easter egg as well. But for that price, you could give them a little jewellery roll you, and you could put a little, you know, little necklace or something inside A little inside necklace, a little bracelet. Yeah. In fact, it's a great way of actually pr like presenting that piece of jewellery, yeah. isn't it? Save wrapping it yes, as well. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Amazing. And it's got use afterwards. At £9.99, it's amazing. We've got 100 of each of these, um, but we're not even stopping there. Linda, Margaret, Le Sheila, Sandra, Suzanne, Robert, Susan, Bridget, uh, Bridget London, Devon, Eileen, Gerda, David, Manchester, Margaret, 
Margaret maker. You could sell them on your craft of it, on your craft store. Yeah. Because you know, if you got these, just because you get a great deal, you know, even if you did say, okay, fourteen ninety nine, that's a great price, or even a tenner. You know, you haven't had to do anything with these. They're literally there, ready to go. You're immediately in profit. What a fantastic price that would actually be. Yeah. But even, even like I said, if, you, if you're not necessarily thinking for yourself, gift, gifts most definitely, but on your jewellery stand. If you are a business, of which we know lots of our customers are, actually gift, and here's another example of what's coming up today, oh, selling fancy. these. Add them, uh, sell them at a price. Yeah. They're non-branded, they haven't got jewellery maker logos on or anything like that. So actually sell them. Um, and I think you should definitely charge more than what's on your screens right now. Again, do shop ahead on the different colours, everyone. This is the black. Next colourway, shall we do... Natalie, you choose. Go on. The kind of suede coloured one. This one? That one, yeah. Yeah. This is nice. Um, okay, so Sand, Adam says mushroom, desert. Desert. Ad, uh, Ross said mushroom. I'm going to go for sand. Sand? Sand? Yeah, I go with sand. <laughs> um, very nice. Very nice. Now you know where we're going. They're all at the same price. But again, you can see, really practical. Just loop it out. They call it a jeweler's, a jewellery roll. It's a sophisticated colour. It is. Yeah, it is. And I think there's certainly, if you are thinking for gents. Yeah, quite neutral, isn't it? This is quite neutral, yeah. isn't it? So great. Either the tan or, or sorry, sand um, <laughs> or the black, I think. It's up to you. You might prefer those colours too. I actually really like the black one. Um, amazing. Seven ninety nine Again, so, so, so practical. But equally, if you are gifting, you might be complimenting it to the piece of jewellery or the gemstone yeah. that that person um, uh, might favour. There's a hundred of each of these. 100 you, you just because i put one necklace on these by the way you can put more than one because if i show you in that direction there's plenty of space in there loads of space so you could put multiple chains yeah. you know we used to get uh, um uh lots of suppliers obviously come to the the jewelry shop they used to either wheel them in on little suitcases which i always used to think that's so obvious it's so obvious what you have in that box, in that suitcase. You know, the ones that the wheel behind. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they used to turn up and they'd have all their gemstones and their jewellery, etc. But if you want to be a little bit more subtle, then this you could almost have in your inside pocket, couldn't you? Uh, next up, let's bring you the purple, shall we? I think the purple's going to be very popular, especially if you are thinking of gifts and birthdays. Purple is a very popular colour amongst crafters too, isn't it? It's a lovely purple. It's a very lovely purple, yeah. Oh, it's like Gemporia purple. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Very pretty. So again. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I like the purple. Purples. Purple and blue is like my favourite colour. Yeah. But actually, I'm really loving the pink one as well. <laughs> I know. They're all beautiful. It's hard to choose, isn't it? Well, it's a good job they're only seven ninety nine. Well, that's it. You get one of each. Good job. Good job. And again, really practical way of actually storing your treasures, your jewellery, your gemstones, your findings, your chains, whatever it might be. Um, you might think, oh, actually, Elle, um, you might have something else that you might put in there. Another reason. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's described as velvet, but it is more of a suede, I would say. More of a suede-like fabric than velvet. Um, either way, it's very lovely. It's nice and soft and subtle, but you need it to be to be able to actually roll. Um, and the measurements, it's 38 centimetres. So like the length of a strand, actually. <gasps> you could put your strands in there. You could. It's the length you of a strand. You put pens in there, though, and everything. You could. You could put anything you wanted in there, really. Absolutely. Seven ninety nine for the purple. Um, again, if you are thinking about gifts and say you know somebody that's a February baby, yeah. you could make a nice bit of amethyst jewellery and present it actually in the purple jewellery roll as well. Lots of lo lots of you getting involved. They are expensive jewellers rolls, what I remember. I've not looked at prices of these probably um, since since I worked at those jewellers some 20 odd years ago, but I remember them thinking, oh, they're expensive. Um, not today though. Right then, the last one is this lovely pink. Ah, oh, it's pretty pink, isn't it? It's a nice pink. It's kind of a salmon pink. Salmon. It's a sophisticated pink. Yeah, not Barbie Barbie pink. No. Yeah, that's lovely too, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. 
very nice. No surprises here, it is going again to that incredible jewelry maker price tag. I think, I think Natalie, you've made the perfect idea when you actually make your jewelry to gift, actually gifting it in one of these. Yeah, I've made you this lovely little rose quartz, such and such. Yeah. Popped it in the pink one. Yeah, and that's a jeweler's <laughs> roll as well that you can use afterwards. Yeah amazing seven pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this very 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 practical again i haven't got i know i love jewelry boxes of course um but it's not something you would really travel with is it or no. um take if you're going away for a weekend or if you're doing if things you're like on your a plane events. you're absolutely not taking a jewelry box no. on a plane are you? <laughs> with the cost of luggage and yeah. the space in your case and is they valuable. charge you now as well yeah. you noticed all airlines really charge you yeah. Yeah. if you go over that weight yeah do you remember when you used to like have to sit there just at, at, at the check-in and literally trying, you've got, you're under, so here are, you take this and you take that and you'll be shifting things. Like, why does that, look, put them all on the weighing scales together and you'll see where, but it's true, they will charge now. So keeping weight down um, is, is logical. Oh, I do understand that. No gripe actually with the airlines, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, it's and very also important, got more space. but it's quite frustrating. <laughs> yeah, more space as well. Well done, everybody. Now, what have we got coming up? Sorry, Roscoe. I'm so, I'm so excited about this Jade Strand. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got two opportunities. We've got your shades of grey. This is all totally natural. Type A, uh, Jadeite. This was launched not that long ago with Dave. We've got a few of them left, and I do mean a few. This is actually one of the rarest colours to get. Um, and then, then you have your lovely three millimetre, metre long length strand of the perfect apple blossom green type A jade out as well. I mean, how stunning are they? They're coming your way, jewellery makers, so not too long to wait for those. Of course, at 12 o'clock as well, we've got Natalie's lovely masterclass, which is all about the carabiner class. So yeah. um, very excited about those. Um, we're going to do the first replay of some jewellery boxes that I launched last weekend and went nuts for. Um, yeah, I, it was, so we, I, I worked with uh, um, the other shift side and they were saying to me, oh, have you seen the jewellery boxes? I was like, these jewellery boxes, I'm going to put this one out there, the nicest jewellery boxes we've done. Because they're pearl encrusted. It's a genuine cultured pearl encrusted. Now, some of them sold out. This is the first and probably the only replay we're going to get to do. Which one do you want to start with, Roscoe? Right. Let's start with a pendant because that makes sense. But let's put them all together. Oh, look how lovely they are. That's a cultured pearl. Wow. So you know those pearls you've just bought? Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? You know, you know, and I get proper nerdy about this, but you can really see the quality, can't you? That yeah. lovely flair. Beautiful. Uh, and we spoke about the price of boxes like this. If mm. you were to go and want to buy a, a pendant box, you know, a nice one, a really hard, not just the cardboard ones with that horrible cotton woolly type insert. Mm. You know, the nice ones, the luxury ones. Firstly, it's difficult to get because most jewellers will have their logo stamped on the front yeah. of them um, and they probably won't sell it. But to actually get one like this, I think you'd, be, you'd, be, you'd have to invest somewhat. Check this out because, and we had jewellery displayed in these. Listen to this first. Ready? That's satisfying, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> it's so sad. You know it's a quality box. They're so pretty. That's a genuine cultured pearl. See why I got excited about them, Roscoe. But then you've got the insert. Lauren, have you got any jewellery there? Yeah? Like pendants on chains or something like that. So this little fold here is so that you can, if you just put a brooch or if you put a, a pendant without the chain, you can clip it on here. You've got the tag but also if you're displaying you can have them like this that's beautiful yeah but it's that it is that pretty woman moment yeah <laughs> I, 
it, if you sell your jewellery, oh, look at the price. I've just seen the price. How <laughs> you present it, isn't it? How you present it. Sorry, you say you go really like, well, should I go really high pitched and scouts? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the price. £9.99. Oh. It's how you present it. But you are sending it. a subliminal message, aren't yeah. you? And also, it adds an awful lot to the, the quality of what you give. Yeah. So, what you could do is you could put an awful lot more onto your price tag and include the box for free if yeah. you wanted to. You could easy swallow that, couldn't you, in terms of how much you're gonna, how much value it's gonna add to when your you piece think of jewelry. about a single, I don't know, one of those amazing pearls. If you put one of those on a chain, yeah, and mm. say you're selling it for, look, what, 200 pounds? It's not unrealistic. No. Say you're selling it for 200 pounds. You can incorporate the cost yeah. of this box into that price, can't you? And also it instantly, even without the authentication card we were talking about before, it it just screams that it's high luxury. quality and it's it does. Luxury, it, yeah. it's, it's that subliminal message saying that this is this is this is high end jewellery. Yeah. Now, we don't even stop there though, Natalie. We can't have many of these left though, Roscoe. Fifth, uh, less than 50. I'm not surprised. They're gorgeous. Um, after that show, I bought a few of these. I don't know what for, but I know I gift jewellery a lot. Your pale jewellery has got to go in the pale yeah, box. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when I gift jewellery... Uh, when I gift jewellery... Thank you, darling. Here we go. Well, i tell you what. For example, coming up on Monday, tomorrow, you've got the most amazing jade carving, haven't you? The most amazing jade carving. So... If I'm gifting that, or I'm not, maybe I'm buying it for myself. I would absolutely still put it in a box, yeah. Yeah, because you want to keep it nice for when you're not wearing it. Look at how beautiful that is. And also, these are the boxes that I won't be having inside my drawer. These will be sitting lovely on top of my dresser. I'll be showing oh, these yeah, boxes yeah, yeah. off. They're very lovely. Yeah, you don't want to, These are the ones you don't You don't want to hide in a cupboard. You can see the quality yeah. of them. We are at six pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, jewelry makers, we've got less than fifty of these available. I bought these. I bought a stash of them actually across all the the ones that were still available because yeah. I think the necklace ones actually sold out. These are necklace ones too. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, literally just put them away. I don't know what I'm when or when or what or who I'm going to actually use them for. But they'll go in the cupboard for when I do. Hello, Chantal saying, could we have the jewellers boxes with different gemstones on, please? Ooh. So you want these with like garnets or. Ooh. We can sow that seed. Ooh. Don't see why not. You can certainly ask the question. What do you reckon, Ross? Do you reckon they do that? Yeah? Well, sow the seed, Chantal. I'm just going to swap this over. Again, looks well, after your chain. You know it's not going to knot. I think that's a genius idea because I want one with a matching stone for each of my collection. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to keep them in there. Beautiful. Again, just want one more. Sorry. Look how lovely this is. Again, when you're gifting, you don't want to just give it in a, in, a, in a little jiffy bag, do you? If I'm, if I'm displaying, look, look how lovely that looks. Wow. Again, if you're doing Mother's Day jewellery, then you want to gift it in something like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well done, everybody. Now, still not done, because we have the earrings box. And I like the fact that they do literally look exactly the same. So the earrings box, fairly self-explanatory. But again... You've got your little slots for your earrings, your studs, or your shepherd hooks. Again, they do sit upright so that if you are displaying, you Perfect. can have that upright yeah. I think as well. Displaying earrings are a really, really tricky one. Yeah, they because are. Because I think you tend to just hang them, or a lot of people hang them on a stand with multiple earrings on them, obviously, to save the space on your, your stall or whatever you've got. But I think 
things get a little bit lost then you don't see the quality of one pair of earrings when it's stacked against loads of others so to have them in a little box like that and for that card to kind of stay upright yeah. I yeah. think it's lovely they also as well it's worthwhile mentioning they do this comes out the insert so if you have got and there is another little fold there as well for you to tuck if you could use these for pendants too if you wanted oh, um as well you could do but again here it is ready so good look <laughs> at how beautiful these are absolutely amazing you can see the quality of them that's a genuine cultured pearl six pounds and 99 pence it's the shape of them yeah the it's fluted, and stuff. isn't it do you know what would look lovely in them the rings, the spinner rings that um, oh, yes. Yvonne made yesterday because they kind of taper out the echo in that shape. They'd be lovely. Oh, Lauren. Yeah, they would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Bear with me a second. I'm just going to uh, show you just an amazing pair of earrings. And you could, you'd obviously imagine them complete um, as a finished pair. Well, the little mother of pearl earrings before that we had on with the little um, drop. Oh, well, then there you go. <laughs> yeah, those ones. <laughs> Them exact ones, look, yeah. <laughs> look at how you elevate that piece of jewellery. I haven't got any problem with, you know, your little chiffon bags or anything like that. Yeah. They definitely, definitely have their place. But if you are try if you are thinking high-end, yeah. they're going to be in a box, yeah. aren't they? Look at how beautiful they look. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So we've still got the ring one to bring you as well. In fact, let's do that now. Um, the jade strand is coming up after this ring box, right? Hang on a minute. Oh, I love, well, both jade strands. Okay. First price crash. Ready? Look at that, the quality. There's no, there's no glue. No. Which sometimes discolors the leather you can see how perfect every single part of it is just but, the detail of that little pill just the I finish know. on it is just so lovely i'm amazed we've got any of these left to be honest natalie your ring that you demoed this morning they're gonna look beautiful even down to the internal lining just here when you opened it like that, I thought, how could you say no? That, yeah, <laughs> it's a marriage proposal. I do. <laughs> it is, but look how gorgeous that looks. Isn't it? And, and again, it's, it's how you present your jewellery. You are sending a subliminal message, how you present and display your jewellery. Oh, 99 <laughs> absolutely it's one of those you might not know what piece of jewelry you're going to be putting in that in that box yet you might not you might be thinking yes l they're great for displaying my jewelry yeah. because height and levels and rather than just have it okay which looks better yeah i mean it's it does when it's actually framed in the box itself 4.99 how many we got roscoe Less than 100. Oh, I might have to get some more of these. I thought they were much more limited than that. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations to you all. I knew you'd love them. Now, we've still got, still got the masterclass to bring you, but we also have um, two amazing strands of jade that I've been very, very excited to bring you. Um, so in which particular order, Roscoe? We're going to do the shades of grey. And then we're going to do the three millimeter faceted rounds, both of which are type A grade. You know, we've been talking about the global uh, change that has just happened with pearls. Um, a similar story actually applies when it comes to your jadeite as well. The, the West, let's just say, have woken up to the beauty of this gemstone. Um, we know that jade comes in, in, in a selection of colors. The first strand that I'm about to bring you is one of the rarest colours to actually acquire. Um, it's coming up next, launched by Dave not so long ago. I know it's limited now. They are nothing short of breathtaking. So we've... Um, 
shown you before the color wheel of jade haven't we or jade um that it's on the gia website you can look at that it's also on the mason and k website i noticed i follow them on both on instagram um and i noticed that mason and k were using their color wheel to show against some of the gemstones or jewelry that they are actually bringing um which is fantastic and i was like oh we should do that more often we should actually have it so it's sort of on the on the on the desk so you can actually show it against those but anyway it's like a color it's like a catherine wheel of color because most people um who are new to jade anyway will think jade's green mm -hmm. and it is it comes in in green comes in different shades of green actually but there is also other colors um so believe it or not imperial green jade eye no doubt about this it is definitely the most expensive currently however it's not actually the rarest color of jade so jadeite comes in yellow comes in orange comes in red comes in blue comes in uh lavenders comes in quite intense lavender colors you can get it in the purest of white imperial white and you can also get it in black and everything in between um black jadeite firstly is takes three times as long to form so you gotta remember, jadeite is one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Probably it's moved up somewhat in that, in that sort of leaderboard. And that's because of course the Burmese mine is now closed. But it's not just one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world, it's one of the top 10 most expensive gemstones in the world. And that is because this beautiful gemstone is gemologically and geologically very rare it forms in a nutshell from movements of tectonic plates those tectonic movements produce tanzanite for example um, but movements of tectonic plates and the process of, of, of that plate literally plummeting below the uh, ocean crust so that event happened very seldom and only a few occasions around the world but then of course the color um, that you get is down to a multitude of things. The only thing that can turn a jadeite black is time. It can't be sped up, it can't be enhanced, it is time. You can polymer fill it, I suppose, but that's not type A grade, it's not the investment quality. It, um, so if you think about these, each and every single one of these rounds of solitaires, they have gone through, in no particular order, imperial white, they've been peach, they've been pink, Wow. They've been uh, um, orange or red. They've been imperial. They've done all of those colours wow. and gradually progressed to your black or shades of grey. Now, up until this launch, we'd had black jadeite. Yeah, we'd had black jadeite, but we'd never had the sort of moodier colours. This is like an ombre, like a story, the progression, if you like, of those colours in one full strand dave launched these and they absolutely flew i know we haven't got many of them left it is type a grade it was a month ago that they were actually launched and brought to air so okay ross is saying we literally uh, um that quantity that we remained that we remained literally left within the vault They've been under lock and key until today and we can confirm there are 39 available opportunities. There is no other jade strand in our vault that has this colour. No other jade strand. We've got plenty of other colours. We've got lots of, you know, I say lots. We've got plenty of green. We've, all right, red we haven't got an abundance of. Yellow we haven't got an abundance of. This is the only strand that we have in the greys. And it's expensive to source because of its rarity. Take a little look at first dibs. Uh, and I really, really, really hope that some of you start selling your jewellery on first dibs, especially when we are talking about jadeite. So look, certified, it's a big carat weight, granted, 850 carats of jade. Uh, it includes, they say, lavender, green, black and grey. I don't personally see lavender. I don't actually see, unless it's those rounds at the front. Is it? Oh, okay, yeah, it's the, it's the bigger ones. It's the carved ones. But the greys are what makes the bulk of this necklace. £11,811. I was going to ask before, where else in the world would you be able to get these right now? And, uh, well, you could, but you'd be spending a whole lot more. It'd be a lot. Look at sort of the classic black jadeite. 
GIA certified natural black jadeite beads in a gold necklace. Very simple. You could make that. Also, look how many they've used. Yeah. £2,374. So there's eight beads in Eight them. beads, yeah. We're about to recap the final few in the beautiful shades of grey. It's certified totally natural. You've got blue colours coming through on this one. Um, and like I said, the only strand of grey um, type A jadeite that we actually have within the entire vault. Simply, simply stunning. We're going to introduce the graphics in a few moments' time. Um, again, we've got fantastic relationships with Bernard, Sally Hure, of course, Stanley Yu. Um, but they're not going to they're not going to continue to sell us a gemstone that they is no longer being offered to them remember stanley Yu, who's whose whole family actually they were originally jadeite suppliers they were wholesalers effectively to the high-end jewelers they diversified and said look okay well it's not being mined anymore what are we going to do what are we going to do i know let's keep the jadeite that we actually have already within our vault and let's start up our own jewelry shop and that's what they've done with iliana we, well, my point is, it's difficult for us to actually bring you opportunities like this, particularly in a colour, a soft, an amazing grey. And it's natural, it's not type B or type C. 37 of these exist. It is absolutely, most definitely worthwhile getting you getting your certificate of authenticity. Did you notice how, how GI, uh, sorry, first dibs say certified? They emphasise on the certified. So it is definitely worthwhile getting your documentation. I agree, Ross has just said in my ear, this is one of the best jadeite strands. I can't remember what we launched this at. Can't remember, I've slept since then. I, I know we shouldn't even be at 499. Really? No way near done. So again, again, back in 2020, where we could get J, which really where our J journey started, wasn't it 2020? Because of course, COVID and relationships, we always talk about that. We were contacted by Bernard and a few other Jade suppliers who were there at the Hong Kong fair. Cause it happened about this time of year, didn't it? It actually happened. And they were there at the Hong Kong market waiting to do their trade fair it didn't get cancelled, it got postponed, and then it got postponed again, postponed, postponed, postponed. You remember how expensive Hong Kong is, and they're waiting in the harbour with all their jadeite. And Bernard basically reached out, out to us and said, okay, it's not happening. The Hong Kong market is not happening, uh, trade show is not happening. Do you want to buy it all? And that's where our journey started. This is Bernard. Here he is. And he is talking about your opportunity right now. There are two types of black jadeite, both rare and valuable. There's burnt chicken skin, very coarse description, but that's what they do in China. Um, a variety is a black and opaque. And then we have omphacite black jade, which is the rarest of all. But what you're looking at right now is not, it's not even black. This is actually the shades. It's the series. It progresses into the black. Your next price crash, incredible this is. <gasps> Can you imagine the two together? Originally we had 200, which is why we took it as low as you, you're seeing. Look how lovely that is. It's look beautiful together. At £149, certified natural type A, black series. I can't believe we did that, Ross. Well, we didn't. It was Dave, wasn't it? Dave sourced this for you. It's the only strand that we have, the only strand we're likely to get. It's not coming from the ground anymore. That's why we've waited a month to replay it so we could see the exact quantity that we have available to our audience. And I'm going to tell you, it goes under a hundred pounds. It's the only strand we have in the entire business. We don't have the black series on Gemporia. What, why, what, what, no, 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 Ross, what's that though? I was here and I don't remember. We went even lower. How on earth have we got any of these left, let alone 39? 
All right, if you don't get these, I'm getting some of these. It's the only strand that we had. Oh, okay. We had 200 available, had, on the launch. Out of that, I've got 39 left. We are gonna match that launch price, jewelry makers. It's flying out already. If you love the green, it's coming up next. I agree, I think this is gonna be the last time you see a black series. We've never had gray before. We haven't. Because that black that we were describing earlier on, your site is so dark, it's like a really dark green. Mm. And then the chicken skin is, is, is black, but with patches in, if that makes sense. This isn't that. This is the cashmere greys, the stormy greys, the blues almost. Everybody pays the final low price tag. I can't believe we're doing this. There are definitely blues in there as yeah. well, aren't there? So lovely. 79 pounds and 99 pence only. Goodness me, that's absolutely unbelievable. You've got, oh, the amazing faceted three millimeter jadeites coming your way as well. They would go divine together. Alison, Devon, Sally, Catherine, Anne, Christine, Margaret, Denise, London, Sally, Janet, London, multi buyers, which is absolutely amazing. Isn't it incredible that we can afford to get gemstones yeah. of this rarity? Remember what we said earlier on, it's, it is in 4,000 different minerals approximately on our planet. This is in the top 10 rarest, possibly even the top five. How long does it take to get black? Oh, three times as long, millions of so years. So millions of years. Multiple millions of years longer. Just for me, just to be, to be able to touch something, yeah. never let alone wear something yeah. that is millions of years old. I just find well, that so exciting. Well, it would be millions of years to reach any color of jadeite, but it's millions of years on top of that to reach black. And it forms much smaller than any other color much 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 smaller so it's rare um hello to you sally ladies i'm in shock thanks jewelry maker <laughs> unbelievable I get, I, I get that a lot sally i get that a lot i know this is why you're like i can't remember us going to that price no, well, your I, body's I, gone into shock i was here sally i was there i was literally stood a meter away from dave when he launched these and i would never even have imagined that it would have been anywhere near 79.99 well done take advantage absolutely incredible now should we do it both natalie and i absolutely gravitated towards these this morning stunning. i can't believe you've got a meter of it as it's well it's stunning isn't you could it could skip with that it's that big do you know what <laughs> yeah i i i tell me this quantity ross oh can i these are gorgeous probably one of my favorite jade strands i'm gonna say i've never seen them that color before it's They're stunning so beautiful imagine these in a tassel which is what i'm aiming to do now sorry i'm not teasing you i'm doing this on purpose imagine you'd obviously design it much better <laughs> but you get the idea look at the sparkle on these they're beautiful, aren't they? They catch the light, just they're so twinkly. Oh, sorry, Adam. They do. You could you could kiss cross with these. You could loom with these. Imagine. You could oh, I mean, how beautiful is that? Just faceted to perfection. You've got a meter. Are we ready? I think this is one of my favourite strands. Yeah, I'd agree. Of jade, I, I love it. It's so pretty. Because let's be honest, jade is normally quite big, isn't it? It's usually quite big. What? <gasps> wow. It's not a 38 centimetre strand, Roscoe. <laughs> 75 carats. If these don't sell out, I'm all over it. Do you know I'm going to make tassels with these? Stop permitting. How pretty are these? So I wish I had more. I wish I had a zero on top of the quantity. I wish we had, I wish we had 300. It's not going to happen with a meter, of course. <laughs> oh, well, they're absolutely it. flying out. Listen, we're going to dive straight into break after this auction opportunity, everybody. We've got Wall of Fame and your masterclass. Ooh, ooh, that means I get a chance of getting them. David, Margaret, Oxfordshire, Leone, uh, Yorkshire, Helen, Susan, Joanne, Christine and Lanarkshire and Hilmer. We're actually... We've just gone over allocated, but you know what? You've got to check out. 
because I will go for my phone in the break, just so you know. You've got 45 seconds. <laughs> um, they're so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Like you said, the sparkle, every facet. They're just beautifully. Everything about them, the colour, the cut on them, well, We don't describe jadeite as sparkly, do we? Let's be honest. No. <laughs> it's not really a term we would describe jadeite as. It's lovely, don't get me wrong, but not sparkly. This is, well done, amazing kits, amazing projects coming your way with our lovely Nat Natalie. If you're a big fan of the uh, um, Carabiner, yeah. Um, Wall of Fame as well, your fantastic designs, jewelry makers, still still so much to bring you. A meter of jade out of that unbelievable deal, madness. Don't go anywhere though. Um, yeah, we'll be back after this. <laughs> Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to jewellery maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Monday the 19th of February with the most beautiful projects. In the 9am I have these incredible Malachite projects with matching connectors and there's also an amazing pearl one, absolutely stunning. I'm going to be showing you how to make this bubble style pearl necklace and in the masterclass I have the most amazing Laramar earring kit. So all of the findings are sterling silver and there's lots of really interesting earring findings and the Laramar is just beautiful. So I hope you can join me on Monday the 19th at JM. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewellery Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewellery Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewellerymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? 
Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Everybody. Hello. It's Masterclass time. Yay. Um, we were just having a conversation. Hey, let me just ask Adam. He's just stepped into the studio. Adam, how long do you think frogs live for? Uh, about 150 years. See, how did you guess that right? <laughs> I thought two years, maybe. <laughs> oh, were you? <laughs> oh, you were, you were there. Right, I see. You little cheater. But it's don't you think. Brilliant acting. Brilliant acting. Yeah. Though. The delivery I was, was like, spot no, on. no way. I would, have, I would have guessed 10 to 15 years for those little guys. I'm pleased because I like frogs. Yeah. They're cute, aren't they? I like there them. is a reason for this conversation, by the way. If you're just tuning in, why on earth are Jewelry Maker talking about frogs? I'll show you. In fact, you want to show everybody. You yeah. can read the first one. He's ever so cute. This is from... It's Kermit. Our fabulously talented Jan Dowding. So this is number 760. 760. My entry this week is from my granddaughters. The bracelets they have made with their Christmas presents. Mm. They've already started Aww. selling them and doing very well. They could do with a win for some more stock for their next sale. Good luck, everyone. They are 9, 10, and 11. Little entrepreneurs. Isn't that fab? Amazing. Start them early, Jan. That's what we like. Love that. <laughs> Absolutely love that, Jan. And we do like your frog. I love as the well. way they displayed them on their little eyes. I know. <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? It's lovely. They are so cute. Kirby's great. <laughs> Kirby the frog, That's he's so great. Lovely. Anyway, sorry. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Didn't well, you didn't waste time making sure you were working with this piece because it was only launched recently, and this is coming from Sharon Curtis. Sharon, this is amazing, absolutely beautiful, and congratulations on getting a hold of your South Sea pearl, mother of pearl carving. Sharon says you're number seven hundred and sixty-one. Sorry, and Sharon says hello. I would like to put this set into the Wall of Fame. I used Flexrite forty-nine. I used pearls and silver spaces for the necklace and the mother of pearl butterfly hanging on silver chain. The earrings have silver butterflies and pearls. The silver bracelet, which has been in my stock for a while, also has pearls, all from Jewelry Maker. The butterfly is out of this world. It's beautiful. I wish everyone the best of luck who enters the Wall of Fame. And thanks to Jewelry Maker, I'm getting some great ideas for jewelry. Oh, Sharon, it's absolutely beautiful. And congratulations to you getting hold of that piece because that was carved out of the um, South Sea Pearl shell. I love the way it's suspended as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. So there you go, only three entries today, so you can this read that one. This one, okay, this is 762, and this is Joe Green. Hi all, here is this week's entry. It's another hat band, denim base with a plaited leather cord and a seed bead fringe. It's not sewn on, as this is my demo hat, and they take a while um, on average. They are 24 inches long, all materials from JM as usual. Be lucky all. Isn't that oh, lovely? Very nice. Very nice, Joe. Lovely? You've still got time to enter into the Wall of Fame. Um, so all the only stipulation basically is that they are jewelry maker products. Drop us a little message as well in a photograph. The draw happens on Wednesday, so that'll be with me this uh, this week. Um, yeah, we'll try and get lucky. The it's winner. It's a really good way to inspire each other as totally. well, totally. isn't it? And share your ideas. Totally. With and when you're proud of the pieces, you know, you really should send them in. So, um, so we can, yeah, we can give your your ego a good boost as well. Um, they're not. They're, by the way, they're not chosen on merit. You know, we've we have beginners who 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 enter the Wall of Fame and the most advanced. So they'll all get shown. Um, and like I said, everyone get, gets entered into the draw. The winner will receive a hundred pounds. The runner-up will see fifty pounds credit to their jewelry maker account. It's How a good amazing is that? Prize that, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. 
It is amazing. You're and we've done to that. Second. <laughs> yeah, we've done that since the day we started broadcasting. That's fine. It's like six figure numbers we've given away on the Wall of Fame. That's amazing. It is amazing. Now, okay, now time for your fabulous masterclass. Now, I'm a massive fan of the Carabiner um, design, which is included into your um, into your pieces. Now, these come with charms. And they also um, come with a selection of carabiners, if you like, and also the cords. Um, also, with each of your masterclass projects, whichever one you choose, um, will come with Natalie's amazing tutorial. I think seven pages. <laughs> Is it? Is it really? Yeah. I couldn't help it because I thought I want to go really back to basics with macrame, but I want to show you different techniques that you can use so it doesn't matter which kit that you get you can use this technique with with any of them so i'm gonna in in it i've shown how to do um a square knot a spiral knot a solomon bar like sliding oh, wow. clasp and i've shown how to add those little extras to it so um so the red one for example with the red cord that's um just a square knot really straightforward but i've added little spacer beads in so oh, it's lovely. just weaving that um extra cord through for the blue one with the the seashells which i, I think is possibly my favorite um they've just got little seed beads so again still a square knot just adding i think they're size six seed beads to the outer cords um and then the black one has got your spiral cord and that's got um some beads just added onto the middle oh, of that. Oh, lovely. So there's all sorts you can do with it and you can and create you've got lots those, of different effects. And you've got those techniques within here and it actually says them on the front cover though. So um, so you know which ones that uh, um, instructions Natalie has included. That's some work, Natalie. It took me a little while, I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> uh, so jewelry making specialism, you can see there, uh, macrame, square knot, spiral knot, and also the Solomon bar, which is also known as a, uh, a sliding class. Um, estimated time, you can see, big Beginners um, can get involved. Can I, FYI, by the way, these are coming back in stock soon. Oh, good. The macrame, but the macrame boards are on their way. They are on their way. Um, so let me just bring the the projects over so everybody can see. There's your Thank instructions. You. Um, shall we? Yeah, do it in order. That makes sense. So starting with the blue, which you said was your favourite, didn't you? The the cords. They. They're some of the most beautiful coloured cords I've worked with. Um, I think my favourite coloured cord is probably uh, the kind of pinky one we'll get to a little bit yeah. later. Um, but the charms, I love the charms. They're in so this pretty, one. aren't they? No, here you go. So you have your. Is that a is that a charm or is that a carabiner? No, that is your carabiner clasp. So it does open by just pushing it very very gently. They are sterling silver. Let me see if I can show you that. Which means you can wow. take your charms off and on if you want to you can make this kind of interchangeable which i think is is a nice nice little way to to you know use your jewelry you could use them as general clasps but i've i've used them um so i've just done like is it a lark's head knot with them so they become like the central feature on um, my bracelet and just dangle the charms off yeah them. Well, let's show those charms because they're so beautiful. Now, this is definitely under the sea vibes, yeah. isn't it? Going back to your giant clamshell. Oh, they might be amazing with your giant clamshell purchases that you made. Um, here they are. So this includes, and I'll hold them all on the tweezers. They're really um, sweet. It includes uh, your conch shell, just there. It includes your lovely little starfish. That's very sweet. And also your little clam how pretty are they but so, the sorry to interrupt the shape of them are beautiful they're yeah. not just flat no they've got a real they're kind three dimensional of, yeah, yeah. aren't they if i turn them side profile i'm sure adam can show you then there we are they are 3d charms just so you know um there's like a different theme per project so you've got like a floral theme in the neck with the black you've got uh Oh, dolphins, elephants, feathers and hearts. And then you've got your carabiners. So if you are particularly inspired by the sea, which I know our lovely Nikki is, isn't she? Yeah, very Designer much Designer so. Nikki. Um, if you're inspired by the sea, then these are definitely up your street. £39.99, so you're getting the actual carabiner, you're getting three sterling silver charms, and you're getting your jewellery maker cord, and that's not your price. We were discussing this yesterday, but how much would it be if you were to go into... 
you know, oh, so I'm just going to say it, Pandora, and say, I want a shell charm. It's not going to be 19.99, is it? Nope. Um, hello, Pandora. I'd like a starfish charm. It's not going to be 19.99, is it? I would suggest have a little look at comparisons because the not only are you going to get, you know, your stale and silver, you're going to get three of those lovely charms yeah. which can fit onto that lovely... Yeah. You know, and each of these are, um, little kind of carabiner clasps, they're all unique and different as well, well. I think that's a great price for the carabiner alone. Yeah. Isn't it? An absolutely amazing price tag for that. Because that's all solid sterling silver as well. Mm -hmm. You've got your bamboo design in your carabiner. You've got a three-dimensional conch shell. You've got a three-dimensional starfish and a three-dimensional clam as well. And we've got quantity, Roscoe. A hundred of each. Are all of these products available on pre-order? Yeah, so you can shop ahead on these. I, I mean, we, charms are always so, so, so popular. As if we've got the purple clock counting us down again. Wait, hang on, let me just do this, do the maths on this. There's four sterling silver components, right? Yeah? So we are talking about, what, three pounds? Three, six, three pounds each, and then 99p for the cord. That's, that's a phenom phenomenal price. Three pounds per charm. They're not base metal. Um, shop ahead on the other ones as well. Again, I know we said this earlier on, and perhaps it is a little bit crude, but you could literally just buy them on as, as is. Yeah, I also... Sell them on, rather. You could... You don't have to put all of those charms onto the little carrier charm clasp. Yeah. You could add maybe, I don't know, like maybe a little aquamarine or something. Nice. A little pin, have that charm. Yeah. One charm dangling off, and then you could add the others as earrings, because although they're not going to be matching, they've got that theme, that kind of echoes through so i think you could have like a, a little set i can't believe we're at three pound per sterling silvered component no, I can't. three pounds and then 99p for your beautiful aquamarine blue cord it is a lovely cord to work with it's very slippy um so it which, slides isn't yeah it, nice? it slides nicely yeah, yeah it's Good, which is which is great for your macrame and kumahimo as well because we spoke about kumahimo yeah. the other day 12.99 we had a hundred of each of these projects but um so you can shop ahead there's one of your projects which has an elephant a dolphin a feather and a heart um which is the hearts the carabiner uh the next project has got uh, like a beaded carabiner and then flowers which are very beautiful and then you've got other cords in blue and pink which are all about the carabiner designs yeah amazing shop ahead on these all going to incredible prices of course helen bridget cheryl julie susan tracy hilda sally fiona jane sue derbyshire helen agnes carol Coleman. i can't keep up there's but a lot of people there That's there is lovely to see. yeah lots of people um shop ahead shop ahead in fact let's move on to because they run alongside one another let's do the flowers shall we oh lovely carabiner on this one too see if i can show you that first there you go. I mean, That's the carabiner link. Not to harp on, but if you've got one of the gemstone garden collection from earlier, yeah. pop that on a little jump ring, you can add that to it as Job well. Job done. Yeah, that'll Absolutely. go nice with your floral kind of theme. 100%. And look yeah. how easy they go on as well. Those um, those jump rings are soldered, so they're, they're a full, fully closed soldered ring, so you can just slide that onto the carabiner really easily. And again, they're interchangeable. So if you decide, actually, I just want one on or whatever, you can add extras on. You can do whatever you want with them. Oh, they're beautiful. So you've got like a little blue, uh, a blue bell. And then you've got, I shouldn't have put them on there, should I? Because now you can't see them. How about if I do it that way? So you've got like a little blue bell. You've got like a stargazer lily. And then you've got what looks like a little marguerite. You see that there? Very pretty. All sterling silver. £12.99. Yeah. You also get your spool. Your spool of um, of of black cord in this case. So, amazing. I think the detail on the flowers are really lovely as well. It's like ones, um, if you have a little look at the petals. 
Ah, oh, there we it go. It looks like one petal slightly missing, which yeah. you just think gives it that lovely kind of organic look. It's really well, lovely. Well, you know, nature. It's it's nature, isn't it? It's not perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. You know, and I just think that was just a lovely little detail, yeah. a lovely touch, because it was so easy to just put all the petals on as as they, you know, would be imagined. But just that little little detail is really lovely. Well, that, that that one there, the one you're talking about just here, that like a like a little marguerite daisy. Look how pretty that is. The fact that the petals, are, you know, just are shaped as well, bit. aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Ah, oh, look at that. They're absolutely gorgeous. This one here is is it a hibiscus, the Hawaiian flower? I feel like it is. I feel like it is the hibiscus flower. You see that there? I might be saying that completely wrong. Um, Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. We've got a hundred of these available as well. That's ten meters that you're getting on your black nylon cord. Yeah, there's no um, loads of cord. Okay, so I'm going to do one more project. Bring you one more project because these will run alongside one another. This. Oh, I think it's good. They're all. Uh, wait a sec, Ross. Not to be presumptuous, but is this going to the same price? So this has your heart, carabiner. Oh, look at that. So the heart carabiner opens like, sorry, Adam, like so. Yeah. That's why you loop them on. So it's sterling silver. Then you get your little dolphin. I love the fact that there's like an, an animal theme, but it's a real kind of, of mix of, of animal is. themes. You get your elephant. Saw how popular elephants were yesterday, didn't we? And then you get, lastly, oh, this is very meaningful, the feather. They're beautiful. With your red cord, straight down to it. So wait, I can get all three projects all of which are sterling silver for ch with change from 40 pounds that's what three six nine charms three sterling silver carabiners and three you, spools you're gonna have an abundance <coughs> of cord on those spools like that I couldn't tell you how many bracelets you're gonna make with, with yeah because there's 10 meters on there's each of those of so three sterling silver charms all different three carabiners 925 sterling silver all different three different colors of your or one millimeter cord um all for less than 40 pounds today 39 pounds amazing Thank make you. sure you are shopping ahead and any questions that you have for lovely natalie then do text us because we are live in the studio i've still got two projects to bring you which are i will do in a second but and i'll keep you updated on quantities because like i said lots of you are shopping across all three of the projects yeah. as we speak um what are you going to show us i'm going to show a few different techniques so i'm going to use my macrame board um you don't have to have a macrame board so if you haven't got one don't feel like you can't do this project. Um, you can use, and I've, I've included loads of tips in um, the PDF as well, but what you can use is you can use a clipboard and you can just clip it at the top. You can use um, like a shoebox lid mm. or um, a oh, biscuit yeah. tin lid's quite good because you get to eat the biscuits. And then you've got lots of space underneath so you can get your hands through like there idea. easily. Yeah. Um, but if you have got a macrame <laughs> board, use it because they're perfect. Yeah. So you can see I've st mine's absolutely battered. I've stuck lots of pins and things in it. It's got these lovely slots. It's also got this grid on it. So you, can, um, you don't have to count your knots necessarily. You can just count your squares essentially um, if you're making a bracelet then I like to turn mine horizontally instead of vertically this way around because I just find it a little bit easier to kind of work with um, in terms of preparation of your cord what I would suggest if you've got your um, your lovely colored nylon cords that you'll get in your project is just if you've got some clear nail varnish so when your nail varnish starts to go a little bit gloopy and you're not going to use it that's when it's perfect i think for oh, okay crime. so what i tend to do is i will gently coat the end of my cord and i'll only probably do maybe about an inch or so and then when that's dry i'll cut it into like a needle tip kind of point finish and then if i'm going to be adding any beads onto either my holding cord or my working cords i find that really easy um, you can also have if you've got um, a little longer 
I know this is an oxymoron, a little long eye needle, um, but you can get big eye needles, which I find are really, really helpful um, if you are threading on um, any beads. You can use any bead you want, providing the drill hole in that bead is large enough to fit your cord. So what I often find is using um, a large eye needle is quite helpful just to get those beads on and things. So what I'm gonna do, if, Elle, if you could just pass me, sorry, if I could just reach across. I'm just going to show you how I would attach um, my cord onto these lovely um, carabiner little clasps. So what I would do is just make a little, I think it's called a lark's head knot. Yeah. So all I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to slide that through. So I've made it in a loop. I've took my cord. I've found the middle part of it by just bringing those ends together. And I'm just going to pass that cord through like so and as I pull it down I have popped a bead on there just speed me up so let me take the bead off <laughs> so all I've done is I've brought my two ends of my cord together just to find the middle part like so when I found the center I'm gonna pass that through and you can pass it through whichever way you want if you want to come up through the bottom or across the top you can do whatever you want to and I'm just gonna pass those two ends of the cord back through and as I pull that down I've secured that on and I will do that on both sides so then what I can do is I can just attach that into um, into my board I often work with like a little pin or a drawing pin and I will do that on both sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show very quickly how to do um, a couple of just basic knots really so what I'm gonna do is I've chose this colored cord because I just wanted it to stand out um, against my board if I was using the black cord which is gorgeous it might get lost a little bit on the grid mm. so I'm just gonna this is now I've got two strands there but they're gonna be my um, lazy cords or my holding cords because they're not really gonna move so I'm just gonna pop them underneath um, I relate I relate to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pop them underneath. I'm also going to use a completely different coloured cord just so it shows up. Um, so to do a square knot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other cord and I'm going to bring it underneath mm -hmm. towards the centre. So the middle of my cord is going to be here. Now, when you're reading my PDF, it, it can be a little bit confusing because you often hear people talking about um, making a letter uh, number four or your P's and your Q's and it's making all these shapes, which sounds very confusing. But if I can just take you down, I'll show you exactly how easy it is. So I always find, and you will find as you do in macrame, that you tend to have a side you prefer to work off. So for me, I always go for my left. So I'm bringing the cord that's underneath, this is gonna be my working cord, and it's gonna go over my holding cord. This is gonna act as one, so the green one. So I'm bringing the pink one over from the left, and this is what we refer to as that kind of number four, or that P. Can you see that shape that it's starting to make? Yeah. So I'm gonna then take the other side, it's gonna go over the side coming across, and underneath all of them cords back through that loop. So as I pull it tight, I'm going to bring it up towards the top of um, the little carabiner clasp. And you can see here, I've now got my half knot. Now, if ever you're doing your square knots and you forget which side you were working on, have a little look which side that little loop goes across. Um, I don't know whether you can see it there, but the loop will come across that cord and that will be the side that you're working on. Um, so then I'm just gonna do the other side. So I'm bringing that across. So it's kind of that inverted four or the letter P. Um, and then I'm gonna bring this side over. That's the P's and Q's. That's it? your P's and your Q's, yeah. Bringing that up through that little middle bit and I'm gonna pull that tight. So that now is one square knot. And what you can do is you can thread your beads on um, to this holding cord or both of the holding cords, which is what I've done on the, the black design. Um, with the um, light blue coloured ones, all I've done is I've just threaded some seed beads onto this. So um, I'll do this very quickly. I like just, watching macrame. I think macrame is really therapeutic. It's really relaxing. Yeah, it's So lovely. what I would tend to do is I would do a few of my, um, in my square knots 
and then what you can do is you can take now I'm using um, a size 6 seed bead here but then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them onto the working cords and I'm going to do exactly the same and that's going to create this little effect where as I pull that down with the tension you'll see those little seed beads just kind of stick out like mm. so and I will just continue to do that now if I'm going to do a spiral knot it's exactly the same it just works off one side so for me I like working with the left and I always go from the left side so it's just repeating it's not alternating the sides from the left to the right we just continue with that one side and that's what causes that almost that, like helter yeah. skelter and it makes spiral. the most beautiful effect um, again I've popped some tips in there in that PDF so you can see um, you know what to do and how to how to work with that cord um, all I've done there is I've just popped obviously you've got two cords which are your holding cords um, or your lazy cords in the middle and all I've done is I've after I've done um, my spiral knot and it's started to twist I've just added the beads onto both of those cords in the middle um, and I'm just going to keep going with that. Oh, um, you're doing a spiral. So I'm going to do Sorry, a spiral Sorry, Adam, now, it is that yeah? one, yeah. Um, so I just want to show a few different techniques with a few different things, because you can you can make your bracelets look very, very different. You can also, you know, do necklaces with this, um, and you can do whatever you want. If you're going to do your uh, sliding knot clasp, which is always good, because then you get adjustable bracelets, they'll fit all sizes, um, then, of course, you're just going to do those square knots but you can see here now as I've done this for a little bit you can see how that spiral is starting to take shape it comes like a it's helix cool. it, I find the spiral re progresses really quick as well yeah it really it? does it really you does got to think about which side you're going on so there's loads of things you can do with it and then of course you're just going to add your little charms onto the end yeah and that's a good one amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing all good? All good, yeah. I just wanted to show some really basic techniques, but, but to show like, different designs. And, and again, if you're thinking, oh, hang on, I haven't quite got it. If you've got one of Natalie's projects, then don't worry, it comes with these instructions. Yeah. Which I was just thinking then, Natalie. I was like, goodness me, all that for twelve ninety nine And this? Yeah. And yeah, this? I mean... That, you've got forever. It, yeah, and it's going to show you various different te techniques with it. Um, which you can apply to everything. Obviously, I'm doing a bracelet here and we've got those lovely carabiner clasps. So all I would do is just make half of the size that I want for my, my bracelet mm -hmm. and then flip it around and just do exactly the same working off the other side. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, your projects have absolutely flown out the door. I'm not surprised oh, by that at all. We don't see macrame very often. And like I said, I know they're imminent, the macrame boards. Do you know we've waited years for macrame boards? Well, when they come, and they're on the show get one because I mean you can see mine's battered I've got nail varnish on it pin marks everything but I've got it now and I'll, it'll last for forever you know I couldn't tell you the amount of bracelets and necklaces I've made just using that one board so yeah. if you can get it get it but if you haven't got one just yet don't let that put you off you can use as I say a box lid is quite good because you've got that space to get your cords and your hands I working remember underneath. I remember here at Jewelry Maker before we had the macrame board Mark used to demonstrate macrame on a clipboard yeah literally on a clipboard you used to tuck it underneath the bull clip when I first started, um, I didn't have a macrame board and I, I would use um, like a little shoe box lid yeah. and I would tape my cords. I mean, it was a bit of a pain and a bit of a faff because I've got the, the slots in the macrame board. You can keep your cords yeah, yeah. in place. And, you know, if I stop now and then go and venture off and do something, I can leave all my cords like neatly tucked away and come back to it nothing's gonna unravel whereas when i'm i'm working with mm. my box i'm having to unsellotape bits and yeah, things so. yeah no i get that if you've got one use it yeah <laughs> well hopefully back in stock very 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 soon i've still got a couple of projects to bring to air as well this is all about the carabiners um now first one is the blue lovely cobalt blue yeah very amazing nice. cobalt blue that's one millimeter in which you get 10 meters of I can't believe this. How many? Five, I think you get with it, yeah. Wait, I can't. So One. you don't get the charms with this, but you're getting five of your clasps instead. Um, and I've, 
I've done a bit of both with these. So I wanted to do, are you getting the silver ones and the gold ones in these kits? So I wanted to show yeah. a macrame make with both of them. Yeah. But you don't have to use them in macrame projects. You could use them for no. anything you wanted to. Well, I mean, let's show you because you've got, here we go. Natalie's used two carabiners into one necklace just there. Use them exclusively. Oh, lovely. As the pendants just here. And also as a clasp on the back of that necklace as well. Just there. Oh, so that's nice. literally just a little bit of chain. I didn't need anything for that. But I think it gives quite a nice layered look. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is the silver. We've also got them in the gold as well. The gold comes with the pink cord. Oh, look at those. So for the for the navy cord with the silver, I have made a little bracelet doing exactly the same with the square knots. Oh, yeah. And I've just added on um, some little, um, do you remember we did the um, like Morse code yeah. beads? So I've got some um, gorgeous uh, lapis there. So I just added them on and I have some little charms that I added too. You can just pop them on with pins and do exactly the same as you would. So beautiful, loving that. The carabiner link, which well, we actually launched, didn't we, not that long ago, if you remember, um, and they absolutely flew. Um, now these are, I'll show you the different varieties. In fact, would they be better on the tweezers? Let me see if I can pick them all up. So you get one rectangular one, just here. Then you get the bamboo. Can you see that there? Then you get this lovely beaded, de or twisted detail. Then you get a rectangular beaded detail. And then also, I don't know how to describe this one. Yeah, circular, but ridged. Yeah, like a ridged circle. These are silver plated. Because um, obviously if this was going to be, if they were solid 95, it would be much, yeah, it'd be waiting. much more considered. So, um, so silver plated might well even be the first time we've brought silver plated carabiners. I don't remember us actually having the base metals. Do you know this is probably the launch? In fact, it is the launch. Yeah. There you go, I've just had that confirmed. Yeah. The launch of your silver plated carabiners. So you get five, the phone lines have just lit up and you get that cobalt blue. I mean, we were talking, weren't we, about um, having, you know, like dexterity problems mm -hmm. and we talked about the magnetic clasps earlier. These are really good because all you need to do is just push, push it, it to kind of open it and they are quite chunky and yeah. they've got, you know, a, a good weight to them. They're not like fiddly little delicate things. No. They're this statement and that's why I've used them not just as clasps but also features because I think they're, they're bold and um, they're really lovely. I agree. If you think a carabiner works a bit like a fire door, it, it automatically closes once again. Yeah. You literally push it. Um, yeah, so easy to work with. And yeah, a carabiner clip was originally invented, I think I'm right, for like sort of your climbing, climbing, climbing and outdoor yeah. pursuits and things like that. Easy access. Which means you've got that but very strong. as well. Yeah, absolutely. First time we've ever actually brought them to you in the silver plate. So you're getting all um, five of them um, with that lovely cobalt blue. And the cord's lovely because you've got yeah. that twist to Should it we as well. Should we make a cord? make a cord? Wow. Wow. $9.99. That's £2 per clasp, which is silver plated, and your cord for free. A load of cord for free. 10 metres of cord for free. <laughs> wow. Please say there's quantity, Roscoe. There's a hundred of everything, he says. The gold-plated version's coming up just next. Yeah, we brought, we launched the carabiners. They were a deal of the day, weren't they? Deal of the day. Um, and we had a couple of different designs and they absolutely flew. Um, because all of a sudden it was a case of, ah, I don't need to solder. You know, uh, um, like you said, they're a lot, uh, a lot more, um, they're easier to work with. Um, we launched those, they flew. First time ever in Natalie's projects that we bring them to you in the base metal. I'd, I'd quite happily pay 9 99 for one of those. I, you know, it, again, we talk about, you know, if you're selling your jewellery, you're easy. I mean, I'm, if you just wanted to use one like I've shown in a bracelet, yep. you're only going to need to use one in the bracelet. Yeah, they're lovely charm so carriers. You've got, you've got five. Yeah, our sister channels relaunched the Malte collection which is effectively like a carabiner. It's a huggy earring, 
but you loop on the charms oh, okay. and they're interchangeable. Oh, so they were nice. so popular the first time around, they've actually recommissioned it um, with different designs. I think they've included things like enamel and everything. Now, you could treat these in a similar way, couldn't you? Yeah. In a very similar way. Nine pounds and 99 pence only, jewelry makers. Again, make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. They're absolutely flying. We have got the gold color, which comes with pink. Oh, nice for Mother's Day. Oh, it's the most beautiful color. Honestly, I think it's my favorite color cord I've ever worked with. Yeah, that, it is lovely. Is like, it is lovely. Like a blush kind of rose color. It's yeah, it's a dusky. Yeah, it's dusky stunning. rose. Really um, that's coming up as well, everybody. So again, make sure you're checking out. We had 100, but Mavis, Jacqueline, Louise, Pat, Cynthia, Irene, Marion, Mary and Jerry, Janet, Catherine, Linda, Neil and Linda, uh, Barbara, Carol, Dorothy, Sarah, Linda, Linda, Trishiel, Christine, Vanessa, Jennifer, Joe. Um, yeah, the core screen's gone crazy. What's lovely about the cord as well is it's got that silkiness to it. So it will lock and hold your knot but also it's got that, that movement to it so it will slip into place. Yeah. Also, it's it's nylon, isn't it? So you can um, use um, heat yeah. to kind of singe those end, uh, ends of your, your cord to, to secure it in place. So you could use glue if you preferred, or you could use a lighter or um, like a thread zapper. Yeah, it won't fray, will it? No. It won't fray. Um, amazing, right, let's bring you the gold. Oh, here's the pink that Natalie's talking about. It is beautiful. So on that necklace there, I've just done a spiral knot. I've not added anything to it, just done a spiral knot. Um, and you could have added um, one of the clasps to open at the back, but I've just done um, a little sliding knot clasp for that as well. Um, and again, I've just added some chain onto it because you're getting five of those, those really lovely um, carrier charms. So I thought, why not make two necklaces yeah absolutely <laughs> which uh, you could wear together and light them up as well if yeah. you wanted to well you know they're, they're, they're charms they're clasps they're lots of different things that's the joy um, of a carabiner so you can see the different designs they're the same designs as what you had in the silver plated but this time in gold and then you can see that absolutely beautiful um, dusky pink it's a like, gorgeous colour it really really is loving that now um, we've got a hundred You saw how fast the first one sold? We'll do it in one price crash. Nine pounds and 99 pence only. That's amazing. That's two pound per carabiner and your cord for free. That's a great price for the cord. Also, I know um, a lot of little ones have been off on their half term this week. It is half term for lots of people next week as well. But over the Easter holidays, I think macrame is a really good um thing to do with young people yes it keeps them entertained it keeps them occupied there's no sharp things no yeah. tools just give them a little bit of thread get them get them going with this um and yeah like was it jan from this morning um, yeah who she was entered the wall of fame and she had uh, uh three Doing Making them jewelry. Yeah, get them Absolutely. On this. I tell you what, if I have to play one more game of Hungry Hippos, <laughs> uh, <laughs> one more game of Hungry Hippos, that's what I've played repeatedly this week. Well, there's five there. You could yeah. make at least five there you bracelets. Go. There you go. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence for the gold plate. It's unusual for us to actually have this qu uh, this quantity for gold. So I reckon for the, on that basis alone, lots of people are getting involved on this one. There's something really rich about it. Um, you mentioned earlier on about the Solomon's Bar. Um, can I show everybody what you mean by Solomon's Bar, which is like the sliding knot? Yeah, absolutely. It's a macrame clasp, isn't it, effectively? Yeah. So if you were to do it on a necklace, what you would need to do is you would need to make sure that your necklace is long enough when it's open to fit it fully on your head yeah i've made this so it, it, it's bust size essentially so i can display it um you can do um you could do a button type clasp and you could do your oh, yeah. you could do your square knots um around your loop so i could attach a button onto one end and i could do my square knots all around the loop um in fact this would be an example of how else you could do this um, so if you wanted to have it open up and close um, you can do it like so let me just push this through so all I've done here is I've used um, essentially the charm as the button sorry my nails aren't great there we go 
So all I've got there is I've made a little loop. Can we? Okay, so I've made a little loop here and I've just done the square knot just to neaten it up and then my button's just going to slide on in like that. Oh, what a good idea. Whereas if you want to do the Solomon's bar, all what I usually do, and again, it's all in the PDF, what I tend to do is once I've finished my uh, necklace or my bracelet or whatever I'm working on, I use the corner of my yeah. macrame board and I will put the ends of my bracelet through the corners so you can imagine these are the holding cords going one way my bracelets at the front there and then the other holding cords are just going to come along the back then I'm going to secure it into the corner and then I'm just going to do the square knots just over there and then what that will allow it to do is if you want to take one of the bracelets off sure it will enable your bracelet to stretch out as long as you've got so i've got these I've, you could add little beads on as little finishing touches as well there if you wanted to um just to neaten it up all i've done is this bracelet will now open up as wide as those little um those little beads or those little knots those stoppers are and then when i'm coming to close it all i'm doing is just pulling it so you'll see it will go as small as the bracelet is kind of woven there yep. with the square knots and the side of my clasp. So you can see this is absolutely tiny. This will fit a little baby wrist mm. or you can open it up as wide as you need it to be. So it's a good it's a good thing to gift because it's one size fits all. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Just don't do it too tight, isn't it? So it can still slide. Yeah, and the good thing about macrame is if you don't want to wear any metals, you don't have to. No. You can make your clasp using that cord. Um, Amazing. So that's that. Loving that. <laughs> Absolutely loving that. And again, it's all in. If you've got any of the projects this hour, then it's all in Natalie's um, instructions. If you don't know how to get hold of those, it's very simple. Upon dispatch of your order, go to your order, your order history, and then it'll say download content. If you press that, um, you can either print it off, save it to your desktop, whichever you wish. Um, okay, I think we've got time for one finale deal. Ooh, let's do it. Um, pardon? So, what did you say? Pig bales? That's not what I saw. Okay, okay, okay. Bear with. <laughs> Although we always need peg bales, don't we? Yeah. So always need them. In fact, I'm actually getting quite short of my peg bales right now. Yeah, so a peg I'm bale saying. is effectively stunning silver peg with a loop which you glue into your gemstones, be that drill, half drilled or normal. It doesn't really matter, does yeah. it? Now, you get a pack of five of them. Have we got a photo? Oh, it's coming. There you go. Oh, the little oh, flower nice. ones too. They look like little ballerinas. Oh, they do. <laughs> little tutus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with their arms in the air. I can see that now. What's lovely is you're always going to have the, the movement as well when you use a peg bail on you. You're going to have the kind of, is the word undulation? Is that the word? Yeah. So it's, is that right? <laughs> Am I well, just making that's it That's undulation. Okay, so it's going to move because yeah. you've got that kind of, you know, that free hanging. Yeah. Yeah. I so, get it. Adam, you can't see the, you can't see the ballerina, can you? Look, ignore the bale, ignore the bale. Imagine her arms are reaching up to the bale. She's got a little skirt She's got on. a little skirt. She's, She's like this. She's got one leg. She's got one leg up. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. It, it is just coffee, I've got, I promise. No, I see it now as well. Um, you get five of them, 925 sterling silver as well. Literally just secure it into either half drill, gemstone, or fully drilled, whichever, yeah. it works. Little bit um, of glue. Little bit of glue, leave it overnight. Yeah, a little bit of hypo cement glue is probably what I'd use. Me too. And then you could you could you could make them as earrings, you could have them as a pendant. Oh, they're oh, very sweet. They're lovely. Very oh, sweet. They're, they're far more delicate than I've anticipated them to be. Oh, they're really lovely. Aren't they nice? Again. And it's just it's all about there's nothing wrong with a wrap loop or, you know, just like a an eye loop. Um, but when you actually secure them into a little peg bale like this, it's just it's professional jewellery, isn't it? Um, we're at five pounds each. There's a big amount of sterling silver. You've got a fluted bale there as well. Um, as the, if I tilt it that way, you can see there's like a little three dimensional, uh, three dimensional skirt. She's very much like a ballerina, isn't she? Do you know what I love about them? They're the ultimate cheap jewelry. 
So I can just pick up a bead or a pearl, yeah. a little bit of glue, yeah. stick it in, and I'll be like, I've made that. And yeah. what have I done? I've literally just dipped a bit of glue on it. <laughs> no, most of my jewellery is cheap jewellery on that basis. Yeah, most of it, yeah. And yet it looks so professional. Well, it is. It's exactly what they would do in a professional jewellery house. Wow, £9.99 pence only. You get the little bead cap and you get that bale on top of it as well. Um, with, of course, the peg, which is what you secure. So, yeah, just using your hypo cement, that would be my recommendation as well. Um, just a little touch on your little peg bale. Secure it. Gravity always helps, doesn't it, too? Yeah. Leave it overnight, job done. You've just made professional jewellery. It is that simple. £2 each. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> And there's not a small amount of silver in these either. No. Um, it is our finale on auction of the day, jewellery makers. It's been a wonderful one, hasn't it? It's been a lovely day. It always goes so quick. Yeah, it does. Time it, flies when you're having fun. Though, it does. It? it really does. <laughs> Have we got quantity, Roscoe? 100, he says. 100 available. Uh, actually, he went, uh, we got 100. We got 100. Um, amazing deals, Roscoe, all day. It's been pretty incredible. Linda, London, well done to you. Cheryl, you've got yours. Carolyn, West Midlands. Carolyn, Devon, multi buying. David, multi buying. Samantha, multi buying. Jan, Fiona, Barbara, Bernadette, Christine, Sandra. There's loads of names. We had 100 available. Um, so, again, make sure that you are checking out your basket. Um, if there's a little bit of a queue on the call centre, to be fair, we, we have a. They've earned their crust today, haven't they? They've yeah. worked hard today of our call centre team. They really have. <laughs> oh, they thought Sunday was going to be an easy gig. Not today, quite clearly. Um, so thanks to our amazing call centre team. Stay where you are on those phone lines as well. Um, again, keep an eye on the website. There will be lots of today's deals um, uploaded to the website, so it's worthwhile taking a look at there. Um, especially keep an eye on the deal of the day. Is that still sold out? It was a sellout, yeah, sold out. Um, and the white pearls after, the beautiful ripple pearls, you can always wish list it, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so you can always wish list those. Um, also the shades of gray, that was incredible, that beautiful faceted. Yeah, the black series, amazing. You've got uh, those three millimeter jadets were amazing. There's been just so many. Your collection's been amazing. Natalie, when are you back? Uh, March the, I think it's the 16th. Could be the 17th. I think it's the 16th. Okay. Oh, it's with us. Is it? Yes. Oh, lovely. We were saying prior to the show that literally we've not done a show with you. No. Up until now. So that's wonderful. No, you can't get rid of me. No, we wouldn't want to. <laughs> I'm back with you on Wednesday morning. Have a wonder wonderful Sunday afternoon and I'll see you soon. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create.